Yeah, yeah. Keep it in there. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you can't be last night. Yeah, I'm already at the end. Ten bigs finally finds it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
Morning everybody and welcome to the final day here in Blackpool. Who's your money on? Grosvenor Sport put on the book this morning and uh, we actually got the prices. There we go. Ludo, top of the tree, 3-1. to one. Matt Davenport, 13-2. to two. Callum Gordon, 8. Mikey Clark, 8. Glenn Gaines. Riggy, 9-1. to one. Stato, 10. Tell me why Stato gets a double. Hey, 210,000, what the line is, 4K? You know, like two, two, four, fifty weeks. It wasn't Dan Chalk on twenty-five to one when the betting came out, was it? Ooh. Any shrewd punters out there mm, that have perhaps. dropped him down at twelves? Perhaps. Uh, Kev Orton at twenties. He's a Preston lad, so uh, anything can happen. They're the prices. <laughs> we're not doing it. We're not doing it. Even though we're on fire, we are not doing a treble today. We're on fire. We're one again in Blackpool. Uh, but they are there, and we'll just quickly chip the, stick the chip counts on for the rest of the stream and the rest of the tables. There's only two tables, 16 players left, down to a winner tonight. Whatever that will, whatever time that will be. But we stopped earlier yesterday, so the blinds are a bit smaller today. So the blinds are two four, and. Uh, Who's, who's going to do it? Out of them, 16 players. Who is going to do it? Good luck, everybody. Enjoy the stream. We are live until we crown a champ here in Blackpool. Woo -woo. Dan was 25, says Razor Kev. You were right. Dan was 25. Morning, logs. Morning, Carl. With the pocket jacks, my pick for today. I think a uh, good bit of value there. Lee, Lee, it's not about getting getting the overround at 100%. It's about having a bit of fun while you're watching the live stream. Hope you're well, Lee. Have you been playing cash this week? You normally play cash here in, uh, in Blackpool. I'm back, Gammon. I'm back, Gammon. Where have you been? Yeah, first hand looks like Ludo's already showing us how he's going to set the tone for today. Mm. He goes with a free bet with a King Jack and Tom Clack going to have a nice easy all in to start the day. Uh, I guess it actually we're really deep. I'm forgetting we're at the 4K level now. I'm so used to day three coming back at 10K big blind. We're at 4K. There is the shover nonetheless. Still happy to send in here as Tom. A 45 bigs and does do the trick versus Ludo, but maybe an indication of what we're going to see for the first few hours today. Ludo with all the chips, 636k, potential for him to get after it. Ah, I'll come back for the PLO later. Nice one, Lee. See you in the room later on this afternoon. Final day, seniors on, PLO on, closer on. Day two of the cup and the main event. Yeah, so nice feature table. Callum Gordon, Keith Johnson, Tom Clark, Dan Charlton, Ludo, Andrew Lewis, Glenn Gaines, Matthew Waterfall. <coughs> Even when you look down at Keith, really, even when you look down at Keith Johnson, he's still got 13 bigs. You know, he's still got plenty of time. Yeah. Couple of orbits, of course. Couple of orbits to play. Not to get involved with. Couple of orbits, and uh, as we know, Keith with the double. Absolutely anything can happen. Richie Burner has got some money on Dan Laidlaw. Nice one. Is he going to turn a deep run into a win? Got a second. Is that a second? Can he turn it into a win? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> off for Ludo. I think we're well aware how this is going to go. The first couple of hours opening this from plus two. 
into Keith Johnson's big. Short stake to start the day. Not going to defend. Seven for Dan. Good to see Dan Charlton running deep. Really good to see him. Wonder if he'll throw about the pocket fives today. <laughs> he started it. I know, yeah. He started, he started the carnage in Blackpool. <laughs> A7 suit here goes to open under the gun. Suited Jack in the big for Tom. Should be defended. Charlton. Nothing really going on from Tom. We've got some nice back doors here actually as Tom. Not at this stack depth. But maybe we won. We were like 10 BBs deep. I could think about a check raise. Not going to get that opportunity. Dan goes for the check back with middle pet. Queen of Hearts on the turn. And a card that I think could be, see some delay C bet in here from Dan. <coughs> Still can get value from some worse hands, but on the hunt for showdown. Once he checks again. Oh. Any overbets for Tom here, Tower? <laughs> this seems like a nice little overbet spot here with a Jack Fort. quite for the overbet but pot size it looks like 20 or k 22k so pot exactly does go for the big bet here lovely hand to choose with the four and jack in here that's tom dan checks back twice and does call this one off on the river with the a7 and it's good nice one dan dan charlton at 161 early, early stages of day three here in blackpool how are we doing curtis had a cheeky bet on stato at 10 to 1 Nice one. I think it's there. I think there were, I think there were some decent prices. It was a very good place. There really was. Morning, Roy. Throw a shout out for Keith Littlewood. Looks like chip leader in the day to into the cup. He is indeed Keith Littlewood in the cup. <clears throat> Cheers, Roy. Hope you have a good day. Got to send in me, uh, my team for the uh, four winners of the majors. I'll do that on a, on a couple of days off I've got in the next three and a half weeks, man. Get me involved, Roy. Three and a half oh, weeks. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm shocked now. Just, <laughs> Joe, Whoa, hang I'm, on a minute. Whoa. Go on, Mom. <laughs> no, I, I, I woke up this morning and I thought, bloody hell, I finished today and I got three weeks off. I've worked yeah. 17 days in the last 20, 22 days. Yeah. And I've got three weeks off. To, I don't know what I'm going to do. I feel like I'm, I've got a full time job. I'm not going to lie. I hope you text me and tell me you miss me. <laughs> three and a half weeks. You can text me. at the Irish yeah. Open. Looking forward to watching the live stream when you're on it again. Kings, have you? Did you see how many times you got Kings last year on the live stream? Did you watch it? Did you watch the live stream of the Irish Open last year? How many times did they win that? Yeah. Only, only once, <laughs> was it? Just the once, yeah. <laughs> 
Queen's yeah, what's just the one? He's like, he's going, you know, this is never over, right? <laughs> so, yeah, the next live stream for us is <laughs> Edinburgh. <laughs> Edinburgh, I think you KPT. Try and get the full schedule for Edinburgh as well. I don't think we've got it on the. Uh, we'll try and get, because I think it's a little bit, it's only a thousand pound main event. And we'll try and show you the schedule for Edinburgh. But it is all on the app. If you want to check the Poker Live app, which everybody should have, because eventually you are going to be able to buy in via the app. Ah, happy St. Patrick's Day. Where's the Guinness? Paddy's Day today. Everybody around the world, no matter where you are, there's an Irish bar. No matter what country you're going. In fact, you've been to Poland. Have you seen one? We need to find out. I don't think so. We need to find out. I don't think I did see an Irish bar in Poland. Bob's in, Bev in, in Krakow at the minute. Jamie Kirkbride says, see you at GUKPT Edinburgh lads coming all the way from Baku in Azerbaijan. Fantastic. Make sure you say hello to us, Jamie, when you do turn up. Azerbaijan. That's a new one. But, yeah, that's, Do you know what? That's, I'm, I'm trying to think of the Azerbaijan flag. I can't even think of it. Whoa, well, you, you know yeah, your flag. I know. I'm, I'm, I'd probably see it if it was visually. I'd go, that is it. But Has it got green in it? Yeah, I think it has. Greeny red. I I'm, think going, I'm going for a bit of green, bit of red, bit of white. I'm thinking of the cricket. Dave Nichols, we'll have a Guinness in Coventry to make up for it, absolutely. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. Everybody loves a good, everybody loves a good Irish bar. Tell you what, Mark Kelly's on St. Patrick's Day is the place to be. There'll be a thousand people in there now. Yeah. It'll be absolutely, we won't be able to get it. Absolutely rammed. Shenanigans on the seafront. Rammed. So busy. Where is Shenanigans? On the seafront. Is it Straight across from North Pier. So they've got the, they've got the, they've got the like green front, green and yellow fronted bar. Oh, here we go. Here comes a story. Here comes a story. <laughs> so, so uh, uh, yesterday, uh, walking back, yeah. walking back with Cara and Masseuse, walk her back past the Alton, past yeah. our hotel, about yeah. 10 minutes that way. I'm walking back by myself. Yeah. Cu couple of northern lasses walk, yeah. walk, past, walk towards me, past me. They go, do you know where Shenanigans is? And this is, you know, I'm at the Hilton. I'm past the Hilton. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said, sorry, I'm, I'm not from around here. I don't know where it is. I just carried on walking. But they were walking the other way. <laughs> North Pier. <laughs> North Pier. Tell them to get in a cab and go to North Pier. <laughs> He's literally straight across from North Pier. That will be absolutely buzzing today. Shenanigans. Yeah, shenanigans. <laughs> if, Lu if Ludo takes everybody out in the next eight hours, then we'll be at shenanigans. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, it'd be a great place to be. Great place to be, shenanigans. But happy Irish Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. Hope you all have a... Have a great day, and whatever the Guinness is flowing for you. There you are, are blue, red, green and white. We'll say hello for you for sure. Get me on the feature. Ah, oh, I think I know now. It's got like a half moon in the middle, isn't it? Ah, half moon. I think I know the flag. <laughs> <laughs> Looking forward to a great day's poker and banter. Money is on Dan and Matt, says Ian Roberts. Make the mod says he fell asleep at 8.45, give me the 9 o'clock giveaway. No, we didn't. We're done by then. Yep. We're down to 16 yesterday on two tables. So the stream stopped at 16 players because of the uh, 10 a.m. start with the turbo that was uh, added. So they stopped at uh, 16 players. So luckily, make the mod, you've still got a chance to win a couple of tokens. We've got a couple left for today. And we'll do them, do them before the final table. Uh, and all the tokens that have been won already have yeah. already been credited. Really? What a team. So they should already be in your account, guys. If you what a team. Them. We've got three tokens left. And they're the biggies. Well, two biggies. We've yeah. got a closer, a bounty hunter series main, and a 50 euro bounty hunter series ticket. It's fabulous. It's got we'll do the giveaways at some point today. Good morning, just waking up in Nottingham, day three of BV4K. What time do you think this will finish today? I reckon about 1, maybe. I reckon about 1am. 
Uh, obviously, it could be different if someone like Ludo went on a tear, knocking players out. We got down to five-handed, short on clock, if, uh, earlier than expected. Then obviously we'll knock a couple of hours off the day. But if I had to have an estimated time of finish, I am going to go with 1 a.m. Let us do it. Plenty going on in Blackpool. Though. Plenty. I heard you left after 15 minutes, good. Afternoon. I'm a bit rough. I drowned my sorrows after that first half at Valley Parade. Right, we heard you left. <laughs> and already in the pub at 20 past three. Do you know what? Somewhere in my locker as well, I've got... In your locker? Well... In, me, in, me, in, in the, in, in, in in the, the hypothetical locker or <laughs> yeah. actual locker? No, in my locker somewhere. I do have, I do have the old Paddy's Day bow tie and the hat and the, and the green jacket somewhere. It be, it be, it's in there somewhere. I never even thought about it this morning. It was back on the train at 20 to 4. <laughs> When do the schedules for each leg get released? Usually uh, a month or so before we head to that leg. Like we're yeah. off to um, Edinburgh next. Yeah, that that will be out probably as soon as we finish this leg. We could even yeah. actually get it out today. Uh, it's a pretty stacked field. Yeah. Asking uh, Dougie if there's any amateurs left in the field, but really hard to say these days. Had this conversation last time, the difference between an amateur, a pro, a recreational, a regular. But I'm guessing at this stage everyone can play regardless whether they're an amateur or not, like we know Keith Johnson doesn't play poker full time, has other avenues of income, but does very well at the poker table, plays very well, gets results, had a couple of trophies already in the last uh, three months of this year. So just because someone doesn't necessarily only play poker doesn't mean that they can't play. And I see some players that are recreationals and just play poker for fun that seem to play better than some people that may be irregular and just playing poker for a living. It's a hard one to answer as Andrew moves all in here with the ace jack over Ludo's plus two open and Ludo doubt he's going to be calling off a 19 with ace 10 off. I know he's got the chips but I don't think we just want to be leaking them this easy. Early position open, show on our direct left. 19 bigs, not going to be ace nine in here for Andrew. And we're going to have to let this one go. Okay, girl says, Brilliant, thank you. I'll be waiting for the loot and legs so I can book houses and hotels. You, you won't see me there. You won't see me there in Luton. Uh, Luton, 25th of April to the 5th of May. I have that leg off, so it will be tower. There'll be someone in the booth with him, but there is the dates for all the GUKPTs. And if you fancy something smaller, UKPL 560 main event buy-in. Those are the UKPL dates for the rest of the year. And that is what's going on for the rest of March. Don't forget, Easter Beast and the big 25.50 next weekend at the Vic Casino. <laughs> yeah, I'll be in Ireland, Johnny. I will be in Ireland for sure.
Seven four suited for Ludo. He's putting the big stack to work, raise and take. All good here, John Kelly. All good. Looking forward to Ireland. We'll have a few beers out there. I'm sure we'll have a night out as well. Uh, who is the clever money to win this, says Mackhams. Mackhams, uh, I tipped Tom Clack yesterday because I thought he'd be good value because he was, uh, well, not short, but for a day 370k in terms of chips is short. In terms of bigs, north for 40 is still plenty. But uh, I went with Tom as my tip yesterday, but... Ludo obviously going to be big favourite, but at three to one, I don't think it's any value at all, even with the chip stack that he has. Dan Laidlaw could be a good bet. Glenn Gaines, another one that plays very well. But with two tables left, it's a, a tough field as expected. I don't know too much about this man, Matthew Waterfall, just folding. I think first time he's made an appearance on the feature all week. And what a time! to do it when we're two tables out for the title. Uh, we will be covering out a table action. If there's any all in and calls, we'll be out there with a the camera and we can head over. However, we won't have live chip counts for the outer table until the end of each session. If you want to see the chip counts, we've still got 16 left. Those are the chip counts at the start of the day. So Ludo with a huge stack. Matt and Keith, bottom of the pack. There's so much play left in this one, as you can see from those stack sizes there. That was as of 20 minutes ago. Mr. Peeman says, afternoon, lads. Let's go, Riggy. Continue from Ludo with the deuces. And Callum with the King Jacker clubs. So I'm just going to let Ludo have it. Ludo chipping up. 6-6-6. Johnny Kelly says, can't see past Ludo, to be honest, especially with the chip stack, but have had two bets, Dan Laidlaw and Dan Cholton. Who deserves this the most, Joe? <laughs> Which one has run the worst at crucial times? God, that's a good question. Who deserves it the most? Hmm. I think little Dan. He's had a lot of runs, hasn't he? He's probably probably between eight and twelve over the last eighteen months, where he's been last two tables. And I can recall a fair amount of situations where the deck hasn't run for him. So I think little Dan overdue, perhaps. Seniors is going to be busy. Is it? They're everywhere. They're e oh, they're everywhere. They are everywhere. They're all sat down, ready, waiting, can't wait. He's buzzing in the bar. Get us to the seniors. Cool. It is busy out there. Fellas, Team Mikey today, says Carl Bellis. Imagine Mikey winning it. Would we see him again on the action tracker? Would that be it? Would, yeah. Would he be off, off to Vegas? Absolutely. Tour. He might do the tour. He might do the tour. He's won one before. He's, he's fight. 
I don't think you've ever seen it. His trophy from 2013 is actually in the glass cabinet that you walk past to make the teas. Is it? Yeah. You know when you make the teas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, that cabinet there, it, the, his trophy's in there. Oh, okay. From 2013, you have to have a look. And his dad's from tw 2009, eight. Still living off that brain, you know. <laughs> 2008 it was. <laughs> Good old wee brick. <laughs> But yeah, the, the trophies in there. There's a, there's a few trophies for local people that have, uh, that have won trophies around the country. They stuck it all into a cabinet here in Blackburn. <laughs> yeah, there's Judge at 25 and the Pigeon at 50s. The Pigeon. <laughs> the Silver Pigeon. Absolutely. What a name. What a name indeed. They done well the last 12 months on our streams. Yeah, when you went and got the tees, mm. I was mentioning it about mm. Keith. Someone asked me who's the pros, who's the recreationals, and I don't know with Keith. Mm. Only met Thomas Clark last year as well when we were in yep. Vegas. Part of the Grosvenor team that went out on the uh, road to Vegas last year. Met him, and he had a couple of decent scores. He had a, a 60,000 score as well. There's old people everywhere in here. It smells like mothballs and Old Spice. <laughs> you know Old Spices? Deodorant. Yeah, uh, aftershave, yeah. Yeah, I, I think they actually did it at deodorant as well, but mainly aftershave, the Old Spice. What's mothball? Mothballs is, it's a fragrance that you, me Auntie Hilda and my Uncle Tom, you, you walked in and it was like, what's that? Ooh. Fragrance from the seventies, like the old, the old people's yeah. perfume. Yeah, yeah, the old fusty smell. Yeah, <laughs> back in the seventies. Yeah, I've taken a view today. Which Dan is this on the feature? Dan Charlton. Dan Charlton, indeed. Dan Laidlaw is on the other what other table on the outer table. Fine flop. Check call from Glenn. They can have some leads on this four, but I don't think we ever get to because Ludo would just open close to any two on the button. So he still can have plenty of 4x. So just check it over to Ludo, see how he proceeds. We've already seen he's just getting aggro, aggro, aggro to start the day. Is he just going to fire a double barrel just with an overcard to the board here? He does decide to check. Oh! Whoa, Ludo. Queen of Hearts River. Might get paid as well, Tower. Mm. Might get paid here. Glenn always playing check now. Ludo gonna be wanting to go for value, and Glenn might have to call this off because a card that whether Ludo connects with it or not, probably one that he's gonna be barreling on when check two from Glenn, and when he's opening so wide on the button here, I think maybe sevens might just be too good to be folding. The thing is, we expect a lot of 10x to continue firing on turn. 
So once turn goes check check, basically saying that he's hit this queen on the river. That's the story he's trying to tell here to Glenn. But he has got Chunky Tower, 120% pop. It's a real tough one for Glenn Gaines when Ludo is capable of just having any two here. And we've got a pair. And it's a situation of him basically saying he's caught this queen on the river. He's going to pay him off. Can't fault it at all, Tower. No. Cannot fault it at all. Glenn Gaines sees the bad news. Takes it like a champ, though. Straight into the muck. No. Yeah. No emotion shown, just gets on with it. <coughs> Load up to 7.20. So early stages of the final day here in Blackpool. Is that a Macclesfield town top I see? It is. Can you ask him to zip his hoodie back up? <laughs> uh, he loves the old Mac. Big fan of Dan Charlton. He even travels round six, seven hundred fans in the in the well. stadium. <laughs> well yeah, that's about <laughs> right actually. <laughs> the Northern Counties lead, Macclesfield Town, he loves it. What's your opinion on the Man United Liverpool game? It all depends what teams they put out. I think Liverpool will have a week in teams just going for the league. It'll be 3 1 Liverpool. Do you think? I think Man United will have a full team out. I think Liverpool might play the kids again. A bit of rotation from Klopp because he's more concentrated on the winning the league while his last season. I'm going for Man United 1-0 win. Not didn't know each other, but we were chatting away on breaks and all that kind of stuff. But now they're now like 100%. I know how it works. That's when I first met you. Don't even go there, Gully. What was the treble yesterday? It come in again, obviously. But da, 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 da. MK Dons, Lincoln City, and West Brom. West Brom, two 0 West Brom came in. The other two flying out. And and if you're not going to Bradford City, when we put it on, because we were late coming in, so it was two thirty. While I was getting the teas, I had to mention it quick. He came in, I had to change Barnsley because Barnsley were gone to one to two for some reason. So we had to change them out and put Lincoln City in. And I even said Lincoln City could win 5 0. They won 5 0. Nobody was on it, not even me. <laughs> R.I.P. Steve Harley. Oh, Steve Harley's <laughs> passed away. <laughs> no way. <laughs> you might even know one of his children. Oh, I thought he was the bloke that made the jam. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you're not even kidding I'm either. I'm not. Well, I like to see any Hartley I've ever heard, so I just assumed it was a bloke that made the jams. <laughs> That's Steve Harley. Not Steve Hartley. Oh. <laughs> Hartley's jam. <laughs> Steve Hartley and Cockney Rebel. 70s band. Come up and see me. Make me smile. Oh, RIP Steve Hartley. Bless him. That would be played on radio. Won't be no jamming to it though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the man that made this jam. Yeah, he's on the brace. It's on the brace. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> All the one from the Yellow Pages. J. R. Hartley. <laughs> 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 
Bold from Callum Mott defending the 10 7. And uh, anyone, I warn you now, yeah. I'll let the people who have already posted it in the chat box get away with it. But if anyone asks how Spurs got on yesterday, I will be barring you from the chat for the rest of the day. Yes. I'm not having it. I know the result. You don't need to rub it in. <laughs> I can't believe Easty yesterday literally dropped into the chat for 15 seconds just to say hello because Spurs were lo losing three. That, that is ruthless. That is literally dropped in for 15 seconds <laughs> just to check I knew the Spurs score. Oh, poor old C. Steve Harley. Steve Harley, Cockney Rebel, big man in the 70s and 80s. Sevens for it. Then makes it eight K. Defending the big. So off to the flop. Can't see what Ludo's holdings are. They are in the box. But uh, might just be a reader error. Jack A2. Two spades. Yeah, I should be checking high frequency here as Dan. Plus one versus plus two. Want to be playing a lot of checks. Ludo. See what he does. Maybe I saved you, Dan. Maybe I saved you. I don't know. Could you have jammed if I keep it? Sounds like Jay's both teams to score bets yesterday. Don't, don't, Gully. To be fair, one actually come in because uh, Fleetwood equalised against Cholton, didn't they? So uh, oh, I actually got one of eight up. But the rest, I must have been on the same as you, Gully, because I, I had eight teams at half time, both teams to score. I think like two games were one nil, and the rest were nil nil. I got one up yesterday in the both teams to score, one of eight, and that was only because Fleetwood equalised against Cholton at the end. Otherwise, it would have been naught of eight. I weren't on towers, Treble. Tower, what major part did Steve Harley play 20 odd years ago? Mm, don't know. Was he in EastEnders? Did either of you have a flutter at the Cheltenham Festival? Yes, we did. Yes. Jay got the last two winners of the festival. The last two winners. Making him two from 48. <laughs> it's not bad though, two from 48. No, no absolutely. Better than not with 48. <laughs> Gully says he's winning the Sunday Millie and the stream free roll, so it may cut for missing Towers trouble yesterday. Good luck, Gully. Good luck. <clears throat> Plenty going on. Yeah, it weren't the best Cheltenham for me, Josh. Done. Done 24 horses. We only had two winners. It's a really bad week. I think Tao might have won a small. <laughs> Me? Uh, yeah, very small. Because they only had a couple of bets, really. <laughs> yeah, I saw it this morning, Rich Thomas. The old 20 minute tank from the live stream at the lodge. Is that a cash game? 
Uh, yeah, Tao would love that sitting on stream. We're about to go on break and uh, someone just takes 20 minutes. <laughs> 20 minutes. <laughs> King HC would open wow. Callum, makes it 8k. Just make sure you're on your bike. How is that even allowed? 20 minutes. You can't, your brain can't think of different scenarios at a poker table for 20 minutes. It's impossible. Absolutely impossible. <laughs> Brian Davis went with Skelton and Mullins at Chelney. You must have won a fortune. Go ahead, an 18 to 1 winner. That's, that's all right, Josh. So, double gut shot here for Tom and Callum with top pair. I'm definitely going to be getting to the turn. Tom going for race here with his gut shot. Callum not going to be going anywhere with the King 8 of clubs. Just going to be calling with position and heading to the turn. to see for Tom some of the value hands we're trying to represent on the flop now reduced in combos once his four pairs with his four six eight four suited now less likely to me opt to check I'm not going to be folding out Callum's over pairs not going to be folding out an eight with another barrel but may have this triple in mind the check raise bet bet Gonna use a time bank for this decision. <laughs> what I'm saying is, Frankie, you're gonna be here till seven in the morning, mate. Obviously, need to be thinking about hands that Callum will be continuing with once we call the check raise. And I guess once we check raise fairly small, less than three x out of position, Callum will have some stuff like a seven suited. Queen seven suited with like gut shot back door flush draw in there that we could potentially target with a second barrel that does slow down and check and Callum gonna check behind with the king eight trying to get to the river. River's the two of clubs with Callum in seat one. He's always been in seat one this week. Mm. shut down now Tom once we check turn very difficult to tell a credible story here tower once turn goes check check basically saying that we've turned a boat and we want to bet river maybe we'll have some like 8x that want to block but I think very difficult to bluff here now as Tom once we opt to slow down on the turn yeah it does give up and Callum can value bet here with the king eight but you know, check back king eight club's going to be good shows a 10 height I'm going to win with the King A suited. Steady start to day three. With the blinds very small. 16 players can be back. You Is Jack Five Kev still in? Yes, he is. He's on the outer table. Any actions on the outer table? We will bring it to you. Final day here in Blackpool. 
drop in for a great day. Keep with ace 10. Is this the hand on the button? Here's 10 of spades. This could be Keith's first bit of action of the day. It's everything but one chip. And we ended up being all in. And it's Keith Johnson. At 50s at risk, but he is in front. <laughs> so, Keith Johnson, ace 10, short stack against Glenn Gaines, King Queen. So, off we go. Does Keith? Well, <coughs> it didn't need to. It just needs to fade. But now he needs to fade any paint, any jack, any queen, any king. And it's now down to a jack for Broadway. First double up of the day, Keith Johnson. You get Keith chips. I tell you what. You'll need a bulldozer to get rid of him. You got some for five. Five hundred, yeah. That's right. It's just exploited two point five k. That's my age, basically. Exactly, mate. You know what I mean? That's my age. No one else. Pretty good with sleep and blame management. I'd like to see you turn up in phase three once. I'd like to see you turn up in phase three once, just with like a book. So <laughs> key is double. Fifty to one. I tell you what, give him another double. With the blinds like this, give him fifty bigs and try and take them off him. Glenn's been around a while. Jilo says, who is Glenn Gaines? Is he a new player? He's, he's been, been around, been around a few years, maybe the last six or seven years. <clears throat> Had a couple of nice, couple of nice scores in his time. Fourth in the old. 30-30 series in Glasgow. Big score of 62,000 in Tallinn two years ago. But uh, plenty of... Went to Vegas last year and I think he had about 15 caches in Vegas last year. Jay might know if he's a big cash player. He'll come back when he comes back for the tees. But he has been on the scene all year. This year, got plenty of scores. So about 15 scores already in 2024 so he's uh, more on the circuit than he ever does mr glenn gaines did you play cash man um i haven't seen him at cash table too often i think he's from down bracknell way isn't he bracknell where's is, that? is he not part of the royal oak crew i i don't know it could be bracknell hmm. where's bracknell north, is it london north london Nah, it's not Is it not London? London? It could be London. The Royal Oak will be watching, they could tell us. <clears throat> Layla's coming up with the Turks in after the United game. United! You said that, 
last time. Damn. I never saw you. Jeez, you were geez. driving down, wasn't yeah. you? They must. <laughs> oh, he's from Portsmouth. Cheers, Smiter. And Bracknell is sorry. He's Bracknell's in Surrey. I know the Royal Oak will be listening. Is that Andy Bradshaw? Thanks, <laughs> Is that Brad is on the outer table in the, in the cup? Yeah, it sounds <laughs> like it. Great. Oh, great. You're in for some good entertainment if you're in the cup and Andy Bradshaw's there, let me tell you. Seems like they're all laughing at the table. What's going on? <laughs> Load on down, mate. That's it. Yeah, it's going to be a free bet here from Dan. Off for just south of 30 to start the hand. Let's make it the 3x. Jack Nine suited at 30 effective. Not sure we get to continue. Does let it go. Now we're into the day tower. Nobody out. Nobody out yet. Not anybody. So only Bradshaw on the final table of the Irish Open in 2009. Was that the was that the Aces and was that was that Andy Bradshaw with the Aces? When he turned up late, pretty sure it was. If that was an Andy, yeah, that was an Andy. That was an Andy Bradshaw special. Turns up late. Turn, turned up late for the final table of the uh, Irish Open. Come running to the table. He said, "I can't believe it! I can't believe it! You you, you made me late. I'm late. I'm, I'm always late. I can't believe it! I'm all in. I'm all in. Short. I'm all in. Call Aces." <laughs> I was there. I was on the rail, actually. There's a surprise. I was on the rail. Yeah. I was working. I was working it back in the day, 2009, doing the blogging for it. It's seven off here for Dan. No, it wasn't live at the time. Then they were doing the TV production. There was no live stream then. Yeah, I like the fold here from Dan with Lugo on direct left. I think we just got to get this, let this go, and we would have been getting free bet as well. Ace five suited for Ludo on the button. I think one that already intention of doing some four bet jamming against these stack depths of Andrew and Glenn. Well, Andrew only actually had 17. Glenn with 35. 10 8 off. Could definitely defend and get in the mix. Seven four flop all hearts. <laughs> Top pair for Ludo Mono board. Let's go for one BD and we'll be working. Ludo crushing it at the moment, so I just winning these small pots chipped up to three quarters of a million now. Which is approaching. 20% of the chips in play, with 16 left. <laughs> We're going to head over to action? the outer table because we have got action. First action on the outer table on the final day in Blackpool. And it's Queen King 977. Who's doing the betting? Check. So Dan Laidlaw oh, was all in for 10k 
I will run you through a hand history that happened to leave him with the 10k. So Dan was all in for his last 10k, got all in two spots, checked it down, Dan out the door. But before that, if you have a little look at, uh, we just missed it, but Matt Davenport stack. Um, Dan opened 9 7 suited late position, Matt defended. Uh, um, Jack Kai, two clubs, one diamond. Mm -hmm. uh, Dan Bet, Matt called, come a diamond on the turn, eight of diamonds, I think, giving Dan the gut shot and the flush draw. Uh, Dan Bet, Matt called, river yeah. come a diamond. So Dan, 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 Dan backdoored the nine high flush. He went all in, but 10k chips. Mm. Matt called with Jack Deuce of diamonds for Ouch. top pair to flush draw, river Jack High flush. So that was the hand history. Nothing Dan can really do, just a call up of him and Matt Davenport back door in a flush. What can you do? That'll be Davenport with chips, then. That will be Davenport with chips. Unlucky Dan, Dan Laylor 16 for £3,320. An hour in, and we finally lose one down to 15. Afternoon, chaps. Bit of footy and poker this Sunday. Happy day, says Mark. Afternoon, Mark. Jack open from Ludo makes it 10k with a jack eight. And Matthew Waterfall haven't really seen him play a hand yet today, Tower. Can't recall Matt getting involved once. Maybe nope. when I popped out for five he did, but not uh, yet. I've not seen him get involved once yet today. Sometimes you can't when you're just getting dealt trash holdings. Another raise and take for Ludo up to 780 now. And Sterling just missed a penalty for Chelsea. Well, he's not very good then, is he? £3,320, same for 15th. And it wasn't like a party or anything, we just went. It was, um, I think it was actually Simon Dead and Stagda just to be. So Chris Brown was on, but nobody said Justin Bieber was on. And it, Justin Bieber just walks onto the stage. Right? And we were only, honestly, like two boots away from them. They were that close, weren't they? They were that close. That's you must have made I'm trying to remember what it was, it was, it was, it was like here. Yeah. Could just send this in, I think Keith has got around 17, 18 bigs. Our first double up. I don't really like him, but I'm saying it's quite funny. He's worth like 500 mils. And he's just walked into the stage and on the two of them. And it's got Alford, yeah, Stato's still in. I'm going to go for complete here, Callum. Never knew, man. Them guys might play Keep eight, nine, two, eight. Yeah. Off of of 18. Yeah, Last one to check. Don't want to raise this and get jammed on. So just going to head to the streets. I'm not sure one that Callum can do some shoving yeah, the yeah, tower yeah. position on the small uh, uh, south of 18, blind on blind. And now I'm going to let Keith realise yeah, equity of this 8 9 suit. It does block dummy and gut shot here, Keith. I'm going to stab for 5k. Please. Mm -hmm. Me and Jack Thor, here's the flock, Callum with their street. They've been in them. 50 big stato, good price to Scott Alford. You're not wrong. <clears throat> Second in the high roller to Andrew Getchy yesterday, uh, Thursday. Nice 
prizes are at the bottom of your screen. Scrolling across, everyone locked up £3,320. Machine Dunlaw, Dunlaid Law exit. Bit of a shame, love to see you done. It's an FT. And the final table this year in Coventry. <laughs> Why are you Sterling taking penalties with Palmer on? <laughs> he won't be taking any more if he's missed one. <coughs> Callum with a 10 7 on the button. Do expect open. Let's make it 10. Give it to Keith in the small blind. Says, I'm all in but one chip. Again. We've got one chip behind. Yeah. Down with the youngins these days, I'll keep <laughs> getting the, yeah, it, it through. It's yeah, actually a situation where we can leave one chip behind when we're on the ladder. up. The Ludo 780. Chip leader in the room. I tried. <laughs> yep, going to be opening this as Ludo. Suvid makes it 10k and potential one for Glenn here when Ludo's opening this much this is a nice hand to choose just removal to some of his strongest holdings if we want to just make this like 28 but just going to go with fold don't think we're ever flattened that maybe could be some ideas about going for a a little three bet there with the king queen off suit Dodgers up to fold, back round to Dan in the big, 10-8 off, getting four and a half to one on his money, he's in with a call. Base king seven flop, two diamonds. Second bet. Yeah, one that could potentially do some checking, but the way Ludo's playing tower, I do just expect him to bet range. And that's exactly what he's going to do. And Dan will get out of there with a 10-8. Another one goes Ludo's way. Is that him up over a 800? Nearly. Yep, very nearly. with the blinds at 5,000. And you know why he's stuck in his chips like that, don't you, Ludo? Because you don't you don't need to stack your chips. Because you can't do it in Vegas. <laughs> and he'll be in Vegas for six weeks <laughs> come the summer. I, I think it's probably because, Ta, uh, when you're chip leader, you don't need to stack your chips. You don't need to count your chips. So <laughs> you can look at the slave and you just got to be aware of everyone else's stack size. You know you've got like nearly 200 big, so it's pointless after every hand counting exactly how much we have when we can just look at the screen and be aware of everyone else's stack. Matthew is all in with the kings. Shoving for eight BBs here. King Jack off. Not going to be calling for Callum, I don't think. And just get out of the way. Keith Johnson, ace 10. He doubled up with ace 10. Yeah, and one that I think will be calling Tower. Eight bigs here. Do expect Matthew 
to shove some worse ASEX and stuff like King Queen, Queen Jack suited in there, Jack 10 suited. However, one thing I will say, this is the first time I can recall. I was just about to say the same. I'm not yeah. I'm not putting him in on putting him on anything less than ace queen. Yeah, it's the first time he's V pip today, Tower, so maybe yeah, yeah, something to is. take into account and maybe when right. someone is playing overly tight we do start going a few pips higher to what we call with, but either way, Keith does call it off with the ace ten and sees the bad news up against the Kings. Mm -hmm. Ace ten for Keith, who doubled up with ace ten. Might double up Matthew against Ace 10. Matthew with the Kings looking to win the first time he's been involved in. And the final 15 here in Blackpool off to the board. on the flop always happens there it is and down to two outs now Matt otherwise he's going to be out in 15th place Matt Matt Waterfall hey he's down and he's out <laughs> Kings against Ace 10 and who's on 50s anybody got 50s on Keith yeah. 180,000 now 35 bigs Anybody? Wow. Oh, he's here. Oh, brothers. <coughs> Chef Brad's been busy. Any, anything you missed in the last few days? Only Tower's trouble coming in. That's all. That's all you missed, really. Oh, and some great poker action. Yeah, there's been. We've had some fun streams, but a uh, couple last couple of nights, it's been absolute hysterics in the comms booth. <laughs> there's been some antics going on. People thought we were drunk the other night when oh, we, yeah. all we, we, we all we've been on was the tea. <laughs> there you go, Brad. It certainly did. Look at that. Nicola Griffiths bet on Keith at 50s. Like a baby last night. Sleep at least. <laughs> Queen nine of hearts here for Keith. Got some playable chips now. Can start doing some opening. I think this one is nice to open as well because Ludo's in the small blind and when Ludo's in the small it's the position he's less inclined to get after it from. So nice raise and take. How many ever slip did you get? Only eight. Keith Johnson. Almost quadruple in his chip stack that he started with today. And he was the 50 to one shot the outsider. What's PK got there? Looks like a Dalek. What's that? Look at him! That is good. Come on, son! <laughs> <laughs> oi, oi! <laughs> you did wait for a seat as well. Did you wait for a seat or anything? A lot of production going on for uh, social media. We'll get it out there on Grovenet, on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, everywhere else. <coughs> Look quite professional there, PK. Yeah. <laughs> Who is on the other table? We will tell you. On the outer table. Like, like if, if they didn't have them cameras in their hands, yeah. you'd think they'd be doing some interpretive dance, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, you would. The, the, the movements the boys had on them. <laughs> Practicing the sweetly cool down to the yeah, Blackpool the Tower next year. <laughs> Kev Orton, Michael Clark, Paul Rigg, Stato, Peter Wisnowski, and Matt Davenport. And also the Mad Turk as well. They're on the outer tables. You can dance. You can dance. I hope we get to hear it today. You can dance. Afternoon, Ian. Hope you are well. Good to see you. The other week. Ludo through betting the cut off open from Dan and said the orbit before when Dan had a7 off prefer to just see fall from him and reason why because Ludo is going to be doing a lot of this cut off versus button and Dan just with the four bet rip unfortunately not knowing what Eva had what's 
Both of your go to karaoke song. Who was the last time you did karaoke? It was actually here. Here in Blackpool. Oh no, it was Manchester. Manchester. Sorry. Same, same thing. With the team. Manchester. No, it actually weren't. It was in Manchester. Yeah. Um, went out with uh, Ryan Mandara. Yeah. His other half. Uh, a few of the dealers. Yeah. And we ended up in some karaoke bar in Manchester. Okay. And uh, I ended up doing, uh, I can't remember what song we done. But I ended up doing it with um, Ryan's missus, Emily. I think I think it was an Eminem song. An Eminem I think, song. I think I think it was love. Eminem I think on it, the karaoke. Yeah, I think it was love. So the, everybody yeah, can join in. Yeah, I think it was love the way you lie. I think that's what it was. No, I wasn't that was the, that was the last one I done. Tower. It's not my go-to, but that was the last time I done karaoke. Eminem and karaoke. Just before lockdown, this was. Okay. If I could, I'd do Dot Rotten on the karaoke. I can speak that quickly. Dot Rotten. Dot Rotten. Dot Rotten. Isn't she in EastEnders? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Knew you was going to say that. <laughs> Eight, ten, queen, flop. If I want to, I can get my words out very quickly. Yes, tell. I know you can. I know you can do the old rapping malarkey. <clears throat> I've seen, I've heard you run through the chip counts when there's 40 of them. <laughs> <laughs> Queen 10, 8, 2 clubs, top pair for Callum. Uh, Tom with middle pair, 8 of clubs, does seem like one that can do some checking, but it's just going to continue here what looks like a small size. Of course you did a C4. Of course you did. Well, won another two thousand, two and a half thousand package yesterday. Well done. Get a C4, whatever it takes you. Well done. Yeah, and decision now is Tom whether we want to get to showdown or whether we want to turn this into a free street bluff here, Tower. Make this decision on the turn. I think if we check, we're just never bluffing River. We're trying to show down, checking it behind. Still beat some worse 10x, worse 8x. Some club draws in there from the big. Four on the river, so Callum with Queens up here. Going to go for some value. Number 25k on the end. And Tom. Only really beating the like six, seven of clubs, four or five of clubs, seven, five of clubs, all this stuff. Not really beating too much else now once Callum does call on the flop. So I think we're probably going to see fold here, Tower. I think it'd be an optimistic call. Could we see jam, though? That is the question. We have this ace-king advantage that Callum does not. It does go with the fold option. The silver pigeon is running deep again. <coughs> Razor Kev blasts out rapper's delight. Really? I said a hip hop, hip hop, said a hip hip hop, do to the bang bang boogie and up to the boot, the boot, the boot, the boot. I wonder, man, you know, I like to sing it along. Come along. Great tune, that. Apparently, it's billed as the first rap song ever. That's what it's down to, so they say. Is it? Yeah. What about the Mumbo Jumbo? Mumbo number five, is it? That was 30 years later. Was it? Yeah. I thought that was like 70s. Mumbo number five? Yeah. Was t year what? When was when was Mumbo number five? 1999 or something like that? <laughs> and Rapper's Delight was 1978? I knew it was last century. <laughs> You had the Beastie Boys before that as well. All sorts going on. The next stop for the GKPT is Edinburgh. We'll show you the dates for the next year for all the GKPTs for the year, plus the 888 stops as well. Yeah, but look at this from Andrew. He's been snug as anything so far today, and then he just thinks, you know what? This guy, this Scottish fella on my right, he's opening too much. 
and I'm just going to take the Jack-10 off. I'm going to move him from here, 11 bigs, and hope it gets through. And Ludo with King-Queen. Going to be a, a fairly close one for him. Hijack versus Cutoff specifically. Glenn Gaines out of there with an unknown holding. Takes no time at all, Ludo, and you're going to see the good news. And Ludo could be up well over 800k, and we could be down to 13 players. So, Andrew, uh, Jack Chen, like Jay says, sat there all nice and snug. Got a ball? Yeah, yeah brings in the eight. Eights, tens, and jacks. More outs. Boom! <laughs> Thank you that eight. Dead there it on the it turn. Is. Andrew going to get the double. <laughs> you played the first time you played all day. Well, stick it in with ten jack off. Obviously, we're going to hit it straight. Nice one, Andrew. At least I'm still a chunk, so it doesn't really do much to his stack. No. Yeah, Andy Lewis, double up. There we go, Gully. Lou Baker, April 1999. Yes, what? And you said it was like 30 years before? Well, it's all right, and 21 years before. What? 1978 was Rapper's Delight. Oh, okay, I thought that was Rapper's Delight. It's Lou Baker, the Mumbo Jumbo number five? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Mumbo Jumbo number five. <laughs> I don't, I don't. <laughs> Mumbo Jumbo. A little bit of Monica in my life. Mumbo Jumbo number five. <laughs> <laughs> Riggy is still in, yes. The best kiss is never in doubt, so that must be a Stokey that's playing. Is Andy Lewis from uh, the Stoke area, Pesky? King for Ludo, legitimate hand. Opens the 10k. Callum with Queen Jack of Spades. Gonna get amongst it on the button. He'll make the call. Hey, it's Stu. Come to join us at the table with a decent hand. Ludo's ace king. Oh, I thought that was gonna be trouble uh, for me Tom. Me too. I thought he was gonna bet, raise it up and it could have been potential trouble for Tom Clack, but Fels finds a very well-timed defend. I just thought with Callum's call on the barn, we're more inclined to squeeze jam with the King-Queen for 19 bigs, but very well-timed flat. And now, going to get to head to the streets. And oh my word! Here's 10 Jack. Thomas Clack. And even Callum with a little smidge here. Middle pair, gut shot of his own, backdoor spades. Callum Gordon in one, 14 and a half to call, he certainly is calling. Yeah, now this is really interesting for Tom because freeway, I'm not sure if we want to trap here tower, but it's such a beautiful board and not really worried on any turn unless it's a board pair. But what I will say, once Ludo continues and Callum Flats unblocking all this ace X, two pair, ace jack, ace ten. Maybe we do just want to go for value straight off the bat, but it's just going to play the approach you expect on such a dry texture. Only real bad turns for us are the board pairs. Seven and a half turn. We might see some checking from Ludo now, Tower, once he does get called in two spots here. Eight, nine completing as well, but only should be in there for Tom Clack. And probably might even fold on flop with the reverse implied odds when it rolls a queen. And we're up against King X. But I think we want to be doing some checking as Ludo multi-way and does go with check. And Callum 
will be doing the same for the queen jack of spades just take a freebie to the river see if we can hit a king or potentially a jack i'd be really shocked if we saw anything else but check here as callum Delay check from Callum. <coughs> and nine of spades. Yeah, and now Tom just wants to go for value tower, nor Ludo or Callum should have any 8x. Once flop goes, bet Ludo, cool, cool. There's not really any 8x out there. I guess Ludo can have just some hands like pocket eights at C-bet range or some like random 8x because he's opening so wide that just back doors into a straight somehow but i think we just need to go for values oh, ourselves as tom it. does go with check i just don't think there's enough eights out there tower this is the problem callum never has one r3 calls flop ludo can have some but i just think all the two pairs are checking as well so checking all the way around I think maybe you want to do some leading as Tom and there's the there's the uh, rise smile Ludo shows the ace king Tom with the king queen which is good and Ludo losing minimum there tower mm. dodging bullets yep and the chip lead and you're dodging bullets like that <coughs> I'm betting the, the river to be fair as Thomas <laughs> Like because it's just so difficult for Ludo or Callum if they have two pair or even a set to value bet when Tom is defended from the big blind and he, he can still I guess he can't actually once he calls flop he hasn't actually got many eights has he Tom because as I said I think he fold eight nine and we're only technically up and down to the seven the cards that we like so and he's not gonna like over call jack eight or queen eight I guess ace eight suited is the only way that Tom gets there in the form of a straight, but maybe we want to do some leading. But I'm not sure. <coughs> Who's your money on Jay? Uh, I, you can't look past Ludo, obviously. Uh, he's big favourite, but I think the value maybe this morning was with Tom with his short stack. Yeah, difficult to find bluff handskin as well after we overcall that flop. Queen 10 might be one. I think Queen 10 is the one that we have. Now Tom just sending it in for 31 over the hijack opener, Glenn. This will be working. Fourteen left. Lost two. Dan Laidlaw and Matt Waterfall <clears throat> on our feet. You want one off each table? No, yeah. So two I tables and seven left. Break in 16 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> How are you doing, Ronnie? Notice it's the same bosses and same dealers everywhere you go. Can you please explain? They all travel around together. Yeah. They're freelance. <clears throat> they will travel to each stop, each casino, stay in the hotel for the week, come over to the casino, work for seven days, and head to the next stop. That's all it is. They're not set at one specific casino. Festival dealers. They will travel with the tour, and that's why you see the familiar faces all the time. I'm, I'm getting sick of seeing Frankie, to be fair. Last, <laughs> last three weeks, Tower. How many too coffees much. has he bought you? Too much. How many coffees? One? Zero. No. Zero. Zero. I haven't had a single coffee no from Frankie way. all week. And I'm, I must be about 4 nil up on the coffees with him. Wow. A good 4 nil up. Whoa. Uh, what time is the free roll today? 6 p.m. We'll give the password out around 3, 4 o'clock for yep. the usual. And we might even do a giveaway next session. Uh, 
Matt is Matt still in? Yes, Matt is not just still in. Matt has had a storming start. He does indeed. Won a huge one versus Dan Laidlaw. Flush over flush. He has. If you got Matt Davenport, I'm sure you the prices. Okay. I think he was something like, was he 13 to 2 or something like that? 6 to 1? Sevens. Something like that. Oh, that's, that's, that's a, what's better for man of straw? A good cup of tea or a good cup of coffee? Uh, 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 it depends how I'm feeling. If, if, I'm, if I've just woke up, I like a good tea. cup of coffee. If it's, yeah, yeah, I'm opposite. Yeah, if, it, if it's like later in the day, I like a cup of tea. So that's how it goes for me. And PK's on the outer table. Let's Ooh. have a butcher's what he's looking at. The Mad Turk stands up. Why is he standing up? It's all gone in on the flop and it's oh, top what two a cooler. there. What a cooler this is! He needs running nines and that is dead on the turn. Who's got the tens tower? Top two for the Mad Turk. Top set for Stato, is it? No. No, no, the Turk's gone. Is it Riggy? Riggy standing up. Oh, no, of course it is. Of course it's Matt Davenport. Of course it's the Dav. So, Matt. Oh. Taking out another today. <laughs> Took most of Dan Laidlaw's <laughs> chips and now busting the Mad Turk. The Mad Turk out in 14th place for £3,580. <laughs> Matt Davenport. Here's your money on the DAV. I couldn't agree more, Rich Thomas. You hit the nail on the head. He says the difference between an average coffee and a good coffee is way better than an average tea and a good tea, though, I'd say. Yes, totally agree. Totally agree. I'm a tea man in the morning and I like a coffee if I go out. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, out, like out, out, like you be, you be out, out at the bar. Give me a coffee, barman. It's St. Patrick's Day at the beginning today, but coffee. I like a nice coffee. Walking downtown every now and again, have a pit stop. Coffee. Walking downtown. I walk around town a lot in the sunshine. I don't walk around town in the rain. I can sit down and have a pit stop and have a coffee. I like it. I prefer a cocktail or a Guinness. Uh, uh, you want an Ono? Any Onos about? <laughs> oh, the Onos will be flowing when Jay's got his bracelet this summer. I really hope. When I when, when I when, when I remind him that he said if he gets a, if he gets a score seven figure score if he gets a seven figure score that Onos I said right you get them cocktails in he'll be like oh no <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, there'll be 1.3 mil up top, 980k for second. I'll purposely dust it off so I don't have to spend 20k on some cocktails. <laughs> ace nine for Tom. Opens hijack here and Dan Charlton with the ace jack. Can go both ways here. I think three bet going to be fine. Call going to be fine. One of the merits of call we do keep in a fair amount of dominating holdings. All this king jack, queen jack, jack ten suited, jack nine suited, and all the obvious ace x. It does go for aggressive route. Makes it 30k. That's going to be in the hand. You expect out Tom Clack going to be continuing here. You win. I was. I was. I was honest ish. Honest ish. <laughs> <laughs> I was I mean pretty anything good. More honest than you. More honest than you. Feel a change. I here comes Martin. Martin. Well, I did really okay. He asked me to mention it, so I should probably mention it. But yeah. last night, this yeah. man, Martin, you were very he nice. beat me at FIFA. The first loss I've taken on tour for six years goes to Martin the dealer. But, but, but to be fair, we played four games. I won 5 1, 4 1, lost 1 1 0. We scored in the 90th minute. I was all over him. All, I was all over him. And then he scored, he scored the sweatiest goal in the 90th minute. And I, and I went, let's have another one. And I won that one 4 1. Martin the dealer, dealing the cards right now. He gave me the first loss in six years against one of the staff. So. Congratulations to Martin.
Yeah, I reckon about 1 a.m. One Between 1 and 2. 1 a.m. sounds about right. And oh my word. This is good night for Dan Cholton. I just don't think even at 40 effective, 37 to be precise, that we can ever fold this hand versus Ludo specifically here, Tower. I may just go for the, the four bet send when it's back on him with the pocket tens here. Because Ludo's three bet range here gonna be super, super wide. We've got pocket tens. We can't really four bet to like 75K and then go to the flop out of position with like 0 0.6, 0 0.7 SPR. So I think the only option we have to is saying those two words and it's really unfortunate for Dan, it's just a cooler. And not only is it just a cooler, it's a cooler against the, the person that's supposed to be super wide in this spot. Yeah. And there we go, uh, tens against it. Jax. Oh, he taps the table, Dan Charlton. What can you do, Dan? Not much we can do. And the glasses are away. They're in the pocket. And this is going to lock it Ludo to 850k if he can hold. There's still two tens in the deck for Dan to find. It's not great. Tens versus Jack. <coughs> Excuse me. No help there. Dan Charlton, Judge Dredd, needing a 10. <clears throat> and it is not, it's an 8. We lose Dan Charlton. In 13th for 3,960 pounds. Yeah. 10s against Jacks, fist bumps all the table. Great to see him, good deep run from Dan Charlton. But Ludo stacking again. Yeah, just unfortunate. Actually, it's back to eight, yeah. Like Once you double like eight, yeah. yeah, and then it goes back down It's like eight, a tug yeah. of war between you two at the moment. It <laughs> gets more <laughs> chips the longer it will last. <laughs> The bookies love that. Yes, it was 25 to 12 was done. Set up central tower. Like we get tens versus jacks against yeah. anyone else in the table that deep. We, we don't get it in probably. But against Ludo when he's just free bet relentlessly, VP, V pipping relentlessly. It's just unfortunate that we've run into top end of his range. What can you do? Unlucky Dan Cholton. I'm sure we'll see him again this year. Yeah. Making another deep run. Well done, Dan. <coughs> Is the AA League running conjunction with the GUKPT or the UKPL? Um, so the way it works, the points for the GUKPT events, they you just go towards the NPL, whereas the UKPL events, the points that you earn from there go towards both leagues. They'll go towards the UKPL plus the NPL. And the NPL runs next leg is end of April, 17th to the 22nd of April in Manchester. But before that, we're in Edinburgh, 4th to the 14th, live streaming on the Wednesday the 10th. So the next live stream is Wednesday the 10th of April. One, two, three. And off. Three and a half weeks. What three we and a half weeks. What are we going to do? Three and a half weeks off. <clears throat> you never got the points in the National League for your min cash in the Voyager, says Razor Kev. Get on to PK with that. Ask him. King Jack for key completes in the small. Tom Clack with the King 10. Off of 31. Maybe one we do want to do some checking with. Stu Dawson is off to Vegas this year, so no Goliath. Well, that's bad timing, Stu. Yeah, why, why, why on earth would you book Vegas? Two weeks after the WSOP finishes. When you know when Goliath's on and you stick Vegas in instead. Yeah, what you, are you like, man? And you go in two weeks after the WSOP finishes. 
check, check, flop. You know, everybody's going to be in cough. <clears throat> in education uh, summer holidays seven of diamonds river <clears throat> this one going to be chopped up we have a go for value here with king high on the double paired board no one's ever got a seven or four can we ever target some queen high jack high stuff here I think that's what Tom's mulling over to her, perhaps and he is going to go for some value with the king high here love it not taking too long before calling as Keith, and they are going to chop this up. Chop it up, we're going to chop it up. No, you know, chop it up. Four minutes to go until the end of the first session. Twelve players left. Started the day with 16, lost Dan Laidlaw, Matt Waterfall, the Mad Turk, Yusel, Evan Oglou. And Dan Charlton has just departed on the feature. <laughs> Leicester just scored 2 1 back in it. Let's go, Leicester. A 40 yard own goal. <coughs> How good is that? A 40 yard own goal. That can't happen, can it? <coughs> King Queen for Callum opening the cut off. Probably this and one more hand. <laughs> A 40 yard own goal. I, I want to see that. <laughs> What was Keeper doing? Sat on, sat on the sidelines, drinking water or something. Must have chipped him. <clears throat> well, there you go, Stu, Stu Daughters. Are you sure you're not playing FIFA? <laughs> that, that's probably our jail loss yesterday. <clears throat> 40 yard on goal. He's, it was the sweatiest goal ever as well, he scored. <laughs> Tilted the life out of me, it did. <laughs> And I swear FIFA sometimes, they just let the other person win. Really? Like you, oh, you, you, like you go for on goal, <laughs> like their keeper turns into prime bloody Lev Yashin. And uh, then the one chance they have, your, your keeper turns into Massimo Taibi. It's like... <laughs> I have no idea who them two players are, but... You don't, you don't know who Lev Yashin is? Never heard of him. The, the, the riggy of the goalkeeper world. I've never ever heard of it. He used to wear the flat cap in gold. <coughs> flat cap? Yep. Lev Yashin. What's this, 1938? Around then, yes. <laughs> I wasn't there. <laughs> so Ludo going for the lead on the turn after picking up the <coughs> gut shot. And Callum oh, with dear. the top pair, decent kick up. Ludo now picking up showdown and Callum wants to be going for value here tower just making the assumption here that Ludo gonna value bet two pair plus on the river and just snap fall from Ludo even after the river in a pair knows where he's at one right. more hand of the session throw into the defender 40 yards out under pressure keeper on the edge of the box the defender blasts it past him <laughs> <laughs> I bet they, well, that's the keeper's fault, surely. <clears throat> Probably wasn't expecting a pass back. So there we go. Last le last hand of the session and then 20 minute break. So a 20 minute break after this hand. Glenn getting out of the way, drop down to 138 from his 280. He'll be looking forward to the break to re recoup and get his thoughts together. He's off. Callum's going to raise it up. Keith Johnson's had a good session, up to 184. Yeah, 
They're going to be folding this one though. We'll get out of there. Yeah, 31 bigs. They're all on break. Thomas Clatch called it. They're raising. All raising. Both options available. Maybe yeah. off of 30 here. We do just. Makes it 26. Okay, goes for the aggressive route. And uh, Callum could go for send here potentially to our 30. LP versus LP. Could definitely go for send. Pocket sevens for 30. Big blinds effective. Late position versus late position. Maybe slightly too much. Mm -hmm. I think it might be in there. Like we're always doing it with the with the nines, with the tens, and I think eights as well. So I don't think sevens are out the realm of possibility. To just say I'm all in here. It's Callum Gordon. Yeah, nice jam, Callum. Very well played, sir. That will lose Tom with the ace ten, and we yeah. are on a fifteen minute break. 20. See twenty minute break. See you in twenty. Say a jack or a six. No! Jeez! Wednesday we announced a million pound prize pool for the second year running at Goliath. We can now announce that there are 10,585 runners currently, meaning it's the biggest tournament we have ever held in Great Britain and anywhere else outside of Las Vegas. Ladies and gentlemen, you are now part of history. <laughs> the Goliath is the biggest it has ever, ever been, and people are still buying it.
collapse and Queen's full on the end. to 44 players as it speaks and there's 24 million going into one bag. Alex, what an unbelievable day you must have had. It was unreal. I started as a short stack and now I'm just leader. Yeah. yeah. I'll take it. Yeah. Jay, Jay, Jay said we, you were short. How short were you? I had 125k to start the day. Yeah. <laughs> did, what, what did you do with the bubble? Did you just sit and wait or did you just start? Yeah, I was short on the bubble to be fair. Yeah. And um, you sat and waited until the money went? Pretty much. I still still took some spots, but yeah, after the money went, it yeah, just, yeah, just couldn't lose a hand. <laughs> could, could you believe when we were on the bubble, 21 all in and calls <laughs> in two hands? I can't believe it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a huge amount of chips. Uh, what's the table been like in the last hour or so? Uh, yeah, all right. To be fair, I had a lot of big hands, so that helps. <laughs> so yeah. for me, it's been all right. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Well, we think you're chip leader. That'd be nice. We're pretty sure you are chip leader, but. Uh, Every credit for making day three of the biggest delight ever. Fingers crossed for tomorrow. Hopefully it goes well. Keep Thanks it going. Nice Cheers, one. Man. Alex, Alex Todd, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of chips. He has, I got, uh, an amount of chips that uh, you want for day three. We'll just have a quick word with, uh, with Paul. Paul, Paul Murphy, Goliath. Day three tomorrow. Yep. We just bagged up how many? 19 million, 25,000. Big, big stack. Nice stack. How's the day been? It's been good. Been getting nice cards. Yeah. Making good plays, so yeah. been happy. Yeah. Mix it, mixing it up. Uh, it's a lot. A lot of players. A lot of people just say recreational players. It's just you've, you. You're just taking flips a lot of the time, and you're just playing totally different. How have you found your table today? I've been on about five different tables. Oh, yeah. I've been moved around a lot. Yeah. Um, each has been completely different. Um, but I think the key's been adjusting to yeah. the players. Can you instantly spot somebody who just wants to cash to somebody who's a tour, tour reg or something like that? Yeah, I can. Especially when they stay at the table, I'm just folding the last 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's, always, that's always what you need. That's you, it, can, yeah. you, can, you can manipulate that. But 19 mil coming back to tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, biggest Goliath we've ever had. Yep. And we're down to 44. And then tomorrow we're going to crown a champion. We can dream, so. can't we? We can dream. We can dream. Hopefully, final table. Yeah. Paul, <laughs> many, many congratulations. 19 million. Uh, that Thank is you. just about it from the days. Full chip counts up on the website very, very soon. But what an amazing day. We have had 1,125 runners. We got in the money instantly. 21 all in and calls for two in two hands to burst the bubble. We burst the bubble and then they've gone down and down and we've finished day two with 44 runners. Tomorrow, we are going to crown a champion of the biggest Goliath ever, but who is it going to be? Join us tomorrow. Good luck everyone!
There is the call from Ariane. Yeah, you can't bad news. really fault him for it. So I think we knew on the turn it was only going to be a few rivers that. Takes out the second person on the final. <laughs> Look at that! It always happens, is it? The Queens! The set Queens! It's because all the other three have all gone. And it is not Queens full this time. Tens. Oh, and he took some straight in, straight in. He's not fearing anything, Tim. No. Oh, there he is. Oh, Tim <laughs> Slater. There's no help there. Well done, Eddie. And do you know what? He's shaking the hands of all the players. Oh, oh no, he hasn't as well. He's five, three for Tim Slater. And that was a terrible turn. And Tim Slater out flops. Not the start we wanted. Carl Spencer <laughs> fist bumps everybody. Well played, sir. What a good, good effort. With the sixes, big flip here for both players. Sixes holding at the moment. Here's on a ten needed, or oh, Tim Slater is out in fourth. And it's a nine, he is out in fourth. Another fantastic effort. Well done, Tim. Oh, that is not good. He's wow. dead on the flop. Six is about for the Kevin Allen. Well, we're down to Jack. Stu Rutter has just taken out Kev Allen, former champion of the grand final back in 2013. So the flop. Green, eight, two. That is that it. Is it. We have a champion. We have double champion. Go, Mr. go, go. Rutter. Get out of it. Get, Get out of it. Stu Rutter wins. Vic Meta yeah. second. Five. Fantastic, well done.
We are back, 12 players remaining. Ludo 860, Matt Davenport 58900, Briggs, Mikey Clark 77, local player, won a GKPT back in 2013. Wee Briggs, young lad. Stato. Um, is he, has he been in Jack Arcastle's wardrobe today? I've just seen. <laughs> I mean, it's actually the first time I've seen Mikey today. What has what, he got on? He's gone with the old. Uh, he's had a trim. He's got a new shirt on. Look at that. He's got the shirt on. It's ironed. Brian was up at 7 a.m. ironing the shirt. <laughs> Expecting a winner's picture today. <coughs> so let's do it. Back underway. Back underway. Let's do it again. 12 players. Who's got the most earnings? Ludo by a mile. On here, Matt Davenport and Riggy. Mikey Clark's won a GUKPT. Back in 2013. Kev Orton in the pink. So yeah, Riggy, decent, uh, decent resume. Used to play a lot online as well, did Riggy. Matt Davenport, as we know, leader. <coughs> Second in the NPL. Got quite a few earnings. Stato, massive run last year at the World Series. So there's plenty of good players in this one left. Was that all about 17th last year in the uh, World Series? Pretty sure he was. Certainly the final three tables, that is, was your 18th for $345,000. <coughs> Great run from Stato, really, really was. Andy Hume. So level three of the day, 12 players left. Final table is nine. When we get there eventually. And this is a good table. Chelsea down to 10 men now. Oh, Leicester down to 10 men, oh dear. Oh dear.
Stato raising to 12 with the blinds now at 6, 3 6. Matt Davenport calls out of the small blind with ace 9. Matt built his stack up to 560,000. The Jack King 4 flop. <coughs> with the bet let's go Stato 77 bigs short stack on the table is 37 bigs <coughs> Start to ace Jack raising up to 12. Mikey defending the big. Is he going to defend? Or not? Nope. Gets it out of the way. No 10 6 defend. If we were 10 7, he'd have defended. It's his favourite hand. penalty and a yellow card. The VAR gave the free kick outside so the referee then said it's a red card. How do you do that? Who's down to 10 men? Leicester City. But how do you change it from a red to a yellow from being one yard further back? That all makes sense. It's the rule isn't it? There's no, um, you're not allowed to you don't when, get when, when someone now when someone's the last man, what? they don't double punish you and get a red card. If the pen's given, you get a bit yellow. You don't get a red because then the team gets a penalty okay. and it's a red card, so no. you get a yellow. But if it's guy through one on one with the keeper outside the box and you yeah. take him out last man, then it's a red card. Okay. Double jeopardy. Well, there you go. From the chat box. Are we doing the closer ticket this this session? Uh, yeah. Any houses about? Yeah, the chance to go really big here is Riggy Tower. Really, really big. We can go here. Does go big 40k into 38 pot size from Riggy, nicely done. Oh, the jersey's out now. Stato, he's got the Mike Giusecki jersey on. Miami Dolphins former tight end, not with the Dolphins anymore. He's got Mike Giusecki. Uh, <clears throat> it's his final two table jersey. Oh, is it? That's what he was wearing in Vegas last year. It's only something to do with his brother-in-law because his brother-in-law is a massive Miami fan. <clears throat> so the 
free kick was given outside the edge of the box, so Sterling took it and nearly hit the Royal, the Royal Albert Hall and uh, he missed the penalty. He's having a good game, that Sterling. Kim Ten Seward for Matt in the hijack. Great start to the day for Matt Davenport. Opens the 12, Riggy in the small, Queen Jack of Spades, going to get involved. Eight nine off for Stato. One that may not defend four way, but is going to take the price. King I flop, King 310. Top two for Matt. Yeah, up and down for Riggy, back door flush draw to go alongside it. Mm. I <clears throat> do just think Matt wants to thin the field down here, still get value from some King X, 10X, some club draws, some Ace Jack, Queen Jack. Just going to be a bet here for Matt. Might size up on the flush board. Four way here, might go like closer to half. Like heads up, probably happy to go around third, but once we go four way, does go north of 40%. Mikey with gut shot, two players behind. Gonna go for raise here. And now Riggies. Like, ah! Oh, don't get the call with me up and down. Annoying one for Paul Rigg, but gonna have to fold the Queen Jack of Spades here. Mikey just raising in position here with the gutter ball. And Matt Davenport sitting there quietly with top two pair. <laughs> Matt Davenport's great, isn't he? What a great two years from Matt. Very nice bit of information though from that here tower because Riggy tanking for that long, mm -hmm. I'm probably going to think that Riggy's got a top pair there, like a king queen king jack. So might even think that we're accounting for mm. another king when Riggy tanks for that amount of time. Obviously, always continuing as Matt does so with the call. Mikey gonna need a jack. Queen of Clubs. Queen of Clubs on the tour. Yeah, and <coughs> not going to like that one as Matt. Some of Mikey's bluffs, the club draws, if he elected to raise like a ace of clubs, do now get there. And he's going to fire again here with the Queen. <laughs> 102k. Matt wow. just lets the King 10 go. Mikey Clark with the aggression gets Very it nice. done with the Queen 9. Very nice indeed, Mikey. <laughs> Let's go, Mikey. <laughs> is Tato wearing a Miami Dolphins shirt? Yes, he is. Tim, Tim Chung don't know Mikey Clark like we know Mikey Clark. <laughs> He is a loose cannon, he can be. He will just get after it, left, right, centre. Any hand, in with Queen 9 off on the button, plays his position, gets it done, and then gets some vitamin C in the system. But I don't think we actually ever expect raises there as Matt from Button specifically. Don't expect the player in position, Tim, 
to, to raise that spotlight. If you've got Kington there, if you've got pocket freeze, I'm guessing you're probably just flatting. I think I'd be flatting as well. Because when we do raise there, basically that's it. King 10 suited, pocket freeze. But then Mikey will have King 3 suited as well. That other players won't. Matt Davenport makes a big, big lay down early on in the session. <coughs> 12 players left. Mikey flopping and flushing now. And there we go. The better than fold. It's a 580. Mm. I said it'd be done at one. Two o'clock tower, but if Mikey Clark gets amongst it <laughs> like he started this session, we might be out of here by 11. <clears throat> I always remember one of the hands of Mikey Clark when he won his uh, Bolton GKPT years ago. Obviously, it wasn't live back in the day. But, uh, in fact, it might have been live without all cards back in the day. Was that the Royal Flush hand? Yeah, 10 Jack, Queen, King of Clubs on the board. Mikey had the ace, the other guy had the nine. And obviously all went in. Bottom end of the, of the straight flush and uh, the Royal for, for Mikey with the ace of clubs. Some picture, the the, uh, the winning picture. It even had a slim Dave Seeger on it. No, I'm telling you. No, it didn't. <laughs> I'm telling you. No, I'm not having it. <laughs> not seen Dave this week, actually. I haven't. I was just about to say that tower. Not seen Dave Seeger all week. Usually hear him. You do, <clears throat> and see him now, this. <laughs> But wherever he is, <laughs> oh, Dave is well. And Peter flopping top pair here, and looks like he's going to go from the dot for the donk from the small. Fights for 15. Mikey calls in position, the original opener from the hijack. Still the top pair. Two most unpopular teams just find it folding to the turn back. Three two Chelsea. No, that must have been the late winner. It's 10 7 Mikey's favourite hand, says Carl Bellis. No, 10 uh, 7. 10 7 split, I think his name online. I think. I think that's where the 10 7 relevance comes from. Isn't Toby Lewis 10 7 as well? Oh, I don't know. I'm sure Toby. Is 10 8? I'm, I'm, I thought well, it could be 10 8. <laughs> Toby Lewis is 10, 10 something. I thought Toby Lewis was 10 8. That might be 10 8, you might be right. <laughs> But yeah, his name online is 10 7 yeah, 10 8 clubs, thanks to Gibraltarian, Toby Lewis. Yeah, 8 10 clubs. King 10 off for the Rigmeister. Opens to 12. And Kev with the aces in the big. Sport in the exuberant pink hoodies today. Nice to see some brighter colours on a day three tower with the old yes. uh, attire that they people chose. They didn't get chose. the memo from last last live yeah. stream. <coughs> and kept three betting to thirty three k on the small size, but side, but we'll do the same 
job against the hand of Riggy. Gets it through. Good to see Kev still in. Had a bit of a mad 20 minutes back end of the day yesterday, and I think I said on screen. Needed the, the end of the yeah, day. needed the end of the day just to reset, get his head back together, and seems to be getting along nicely. Mm. I was seeing Kev know he can play well, but sometimes it's not the battle with the cards, it's the battle with your head at the poker table. Yeah. Yesterday we had a sort of a mad 10 15 minutes, and <laughs> good to get a good night's sleep, recoup, come back, play your game, go again. Can't wait for the chat to watch this session. Who haven't seen Mikey Clark play before? Because <laughs> a deal no as goes bit tight. That Matt, how often is he free betting a flush draw on the yeah. flop four ways? So once Mikey could have eight five of clubs there. He could have seven four of clubs. <laughs> yes. A couple of ducks in the big. Ooh. And goes with the three bet. From the big blind, making it 44k. Gonna be getting on Matt Davenport's nerves, is old Mikey Clark. And Matt just gonna have to fall with the Queen Nine. If you think one's playing the person's targeting you, do you eventually just start winding your your openings and just just like gets under your skin? Just gotta take it at this stage tower as Matt. Can't really do much with Queen Nine off. Can't just be rolling in random four bets with trash holdings. Uh, I could be up for it, Tim, actually. Football, Football? On, on Tuesday. Get away. You'll still be in bed. No, no it's like 7, 8 o'clock. I, I actually could be up for it, Tim. Uh, message me, mate. Message me, because I'm back in Birmingham. So I might actually have a little run out. There we go. Burn off all the burgers this week. <laughs> Love it. Fives in Blackpool. No three bet. <laughs> yeah, well, we're first in. We can't three bet when we're first in. Tonight. Oh yeah, well, sorry. That would be. I, I, I was looking at Kev. I looking at Kev thinking he got the fives. It wasn't Kev who got the five. Kev folded. That would be difficult. I would. Find a three bet first in. Right. And we got some outer table action occurring. Oh. And it's my pick, Tom Clack. The pigeon. And the silver pigeon, Keith Johnson. And Tom Clack, the player at risk. He has King 10, 40% job against the ace nine off of Keith Johnson. Gonna need to hit. And ace nine, still the same, King 10 needed. Oh, Whoa. dead on the dead. turn. <clears throat> So Tom Clack out wow. in 12th place, going to oh. take home £4,370. Great effort, Mr Thomas Clack. Another deep run. But uh, anybody on Keith Johnson at 50 to 1? 50 to 1. 50s. Are you mad? Uh, Mikey is just after it today, Tower. <laughs> he's just getting after it every single spot. <laughs> Matt's gonna think he's done something to upset him. Ace five off this time, makes it 36k, and eventually, like this is one that Matt like, might actually continue with. He goes with fold, but when Mikey's just going after him, after him, after him, I thought there might be a point where he takes a stand, but gonna let that one go as well. And Mikey up to nearly 100 BBs, just getting after it. Amazing. <coughs> Matt will think he's been picked up. He does. He does.
I'm back with the Jack. Jack Seven will be getting out of the way. Kev Orton. Just the ace. Probably get out of the way. A good race. <coughs> yep, yeah, looks like he's going to make it 12. Maybe a bit, on, a bit on the loose side here from Hijack, Ace 4 off at this stage. Uh, Mikey in with the King 3 suited from the car. Ricky with the Queen 3 not having none of it. Peter with the Jack 9 of clubs. Yeah, Should defend the big. Simple <coughs> defend. Time bank used. So it just been a snap call. Yeah. This is thinking of three bank. Nah. Raising up? No. Nah, just. I was thinking it's always a call. Always defend. I expect our up from Peter here. Mm. Like these Jack Nine suited can be used as three bets from the big, but we need to be like eighty plus bigs deep. Like at thirty five, we just want to defend and head to the streets. Yeah, just a weird use of a time bank, I thought. What a flop. Nine five two. Peter flops top pair. Yeah, we saw him donk the top pair earlier when he flopped top pair with Queen Jack. Let's see if he's gonna go for the donk again here after flopping top pair. Prefer to see check, but here we go. Does elect a donk and mm -hmm. seen two hands now that he's donked and both times been sat with top pair. Read into that what you will. Such a small sample size, but. Intriguing stuff makes it 25k. Kev with the ace four has a wheel draw and overcard. Still with Mikey behind him to worry about. He's just gonna let it go and looks like Mikey gonna float here with a king free suited. Yeah, got some cool. got some back doors. Four of spades would be nice. Well it's the eight of spades. So we've got the back door flush draw. With the king three. And then Peter's head obviously got to be thinking about Mikey's range. We just expect him to free bet tens plus facing Kev's button open, especially with how aggro he's been playing. So I don't think over pairs are every a worry here. So I think this is actually kind of nice from Peter. I wouldn't have donked the flop, but once we get here, firing again here on the turn. With our top pair, makes it 50k, and Mikey picks up the flush draw. Not floating flop to full turn tower. Absolutely not. Well, I've picked up the spade draw. Are we just calling? I think so. Once Peter double barrels so I'll just take our equity three to one price. King likely to be good as well. Obviously Spade gonna be good. But we know Mikey. He might just choose to go and get aggressive and send it with his flush draw and try and get Peter off a nine specifically. And it's just well, gonna go exactly with the jam. And now back over to Peter, who's gonna be in a really tough spot here with the Jack Nine suited. But what we got to think is, what does Mikey have here, Tower, for value? When you really think about it, I already said 10s through aces. He's not got any overpairs here. Would he really go for the jam with the set on the turn, or would he call again and get it on the river? He had fives or deuces here. Do we not think that Mikey would play flat? So, therefore, his value is basically going to be potentially... Whoa, Whoa Peter cool. calls it off. Peter calls it off with the jack nine. Didn't take too long. And Mikey... Gonna need a king or a spade, but Peter's set for a huge double up. This is nearly a hundred big blind pot here. And maybe one move too far from Mikey. He's been getting after it mm. since we got back, but maybe one step too far. But we can get there. Spade or a king needed. 
And it's not, it's the nine of diamonds. So trip nines on the river for Peter. A huge pot. Pete up to near 600. And mark it down to 50 bigs and 315,000. Big hand for Peter. How are we doing, Ewan? You and McNicholas in the chat. Good How are we doing, afternoon. Ewan? Where are you in the world these days? Vegas. Oh, in Vegas. I nice. So. Pretty sure. Has anybody had any good results? Oh, not Vegas. We was on holiday till yesterday. No. I knew you was going Vegas soon, you Holiday till yesterday. Very nice. Nice to take time out. Nice holiday. Needed now and again. When we're doing a giveaway, kid. Uh, should we do one in ten minutes? Ten minutes. Three o'clock. Three o'clock. Ten, ten minutes. minutes. Why not? You've got three tokens to give away. We'll uh, do one of them at three. Whose questions it? I don't know that either. Well, we got two to do today, so we'll do the start. Oh, it was three. Well, there is three, but we'll only do two giant tower things, because otherwise it's unfair. Okay. When, when one person has to answer two okay. questions, it's unfair. So we'll do a spot price that can drop at any minute today, yeah. and we'll do a J-Finks and a tower Finks, and it's a J-Finks, according to Klopp on top. There you go. Okay. So uh, we'll let Tower think of a question. Giveaway coming up at three o'clock. I have got 100 euro Bounty Hunter Series main event ticket worth... Whoa! 100 euro and it's a 250k guarantee that tournament that you would be playing wow so just one up for grabs we'll move to the giveaway at three o'clock going to be concentrating on the action as we go alongside it what was mikey supposed to be representing when he pushed on that flop says ian i guess it's only I, maybe some sets maybe fives and deuces that go with jam at some <coughs> frequency rather than flat and then maybe eight nine suited although only two combos from peter's perspective and then the other question would be does he ever do this with ace nine does he ever do this with king nine does he ever go for fin value with some of his strongest top pairs um but that's about it ian other than that there's not too much else like six seven suit it's just gonna flat when we have such a lock on the board and still get to put the chips in by the river with position but yeah, not too much there. Just going for the full throttle aggression. Stato in the cutoff. Couple of ladies. And King Queen off here for Kevin the Big. 
think when we're just happy to defend, like generally just happy to call this one from big blind, we'll do some free betting from other positions, but even facing cut off opening range, that we're going to open all this king jack, king 10, queen 10, queen 9 suit, a lot of hands in there that we can be dominating. You see the 2 3 6, 2 club board. Checked over to Stato here. With the Queens loving it for Stato. <clears throat> That's 11. Finds third and Kev going to call getting four to one with the two over cards and king of clubs in hand. Maybe some ideas as well calling from the big of having some leads on some like four or five of clubs turns. There's a three on the turn. Probably shoot, shoot down centrally for Kev. Yeah, Kev just going to be folding to the turn barrel. And I think uh, Stato definitely gets the better getting heads out just because at this stage Kev shouldn't be defending like king three off or downwards, he might have ace three off in there, but there's only really the suited three X that turn trips in this scenario, and we can still get a lot of value, I think, from Stato, from some six X holdings, charge some club draws. But it's gonna go for the sneaky check behind, and maybe some ideas of inducing some bluffs from Kev on the river. Could be from Stato here. Does look like our hand looks a lot like ace high slash king high now. Once we check back turn, and we are going to induce a bluff from Kev. And Stato always calling. It's just a question of whether do we ever get to raise for fin value here tower, facing half pot. Do we assume that Kev's going to go bigger with his three x or better? Or do we think he will have this size with some threes and some four or five? But I think if Stato comes to the conclusion that Kev never makes it this size with a three, he will go for a fin value raise. But always calling uh, Stato's tank here is just basically raise or call. Yeah, makes it 100. A snap fold from Kev Orton. <clears throat> Let's go for the fin value raise. Are your football boots in your mum's utility room? <laughs> <laughs> Same as your golf clubs. <laughs> uh, they're at home. They've only actually been used once. I bought them. It was actually, this is the story. So um, Tim Chung messaged me. We're in Leeds. We're in Leeds GUKPT. I said, I'm playing football next week. He goes, do you want to play? I was like, yeah, I'll come and play. Uh, and then went and played and it wrote me off. <laughs> it wrote me off. It just wrote me off. <laughs> Oh, uh, that action on the outer table because Andy Lewis, short stack, who's uh, who doubled up on the feature table earlier, has got ace 10, is in front. Well, it's against Ludo's ace 7. Oh. oh no, you don't want to see that. Oh, oh you see, them too. see you later. Wow. Out the door on the flop. Oh, imagine the oh, running 10s. No, no. <laughs> you just said he's out the door. Imagine the running 10s. Yeah. Next door oh, 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 oh. gets the video recording. Oh. Ludo takes another one, and he looks like he's going to be close to 900k now. Great run from Andrew Lewis out in 11th for £4,880. And we are down wow. to 10 players. God, imagine that. The <laughs> he's out the door, too. Oh, 10. 10. <laughs> imagine. So we're down to 10. And the Ricky, what a flop for him. Just the stones and Peter with the second nut flush draw here. Going to check it back, take a freebie. For the 10 turn, so Ricky, not the best card to see from him. Now a four-liner to a straight gets there and looks like Peter going to have a little stab on the turn. A nice little check from Riggy. Now are we going to go for the check raise straight off the bat? Yes, we are. And now Peter hates his life thinking, why on earth did I bet this turn? I could have checked, seen a free river, try and snag the spade off. It does make the call. Big river coming up. Oh! 
not what you want to see as Paul Rigg. Diamond on the end, now checks it over to Peter. And I think once Riggy checks here, I don't think he's ever ch check raising diamond draws. I think he's going to have an eight a lot of the time. So therefore, could have potentially gone for the bluff there as Peter, I think, Tower. But checks it behind and they're going to chop this one up. Alex Bill says some good action here. The last three, day three, was painful with all the last two tables tanking. It's part of the game these days, it happens. So guys, Tower's just gone to get some paper. When he returns, we will be doing a giveaway for a 100 euro Bounty Hunter Series main event token. What's going on out there? Sounds like a free for all at Williams. <laughs> I just had to go and have a look. It's the seniors though. They've got a three hour break. The seniors, you know how they like the breaks. They're off. God. And then the PLO starting and all sorts going on. I think the Ace King. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The card with the Ace King. Yeah, yeah. I think the Ace King did really have. Yeah, Ace King's But he was on the plane. He was on the pure bubble, wasn't it? Seniors, PLO, Cup Day 2, main event, all going on. All going on. All going on. Yeah, at least I got some free DP, Tim. <laughs> yeah, I was at, I was actually in hospital as well, like a couple of days later because like. What did you do? I just had like che I had really bad chest pains, but I think what it was, I took a bit of a knock to the chest and uh, oh, just uh, yeah. like so like just br obviously bruised with my breathing or something muscular. No, to do with the forty capsule full strength you smoke? Uh, no, no, nothing, no, no, nothing, <laughs> nothing to do with that. That's fine. That's fine. I, I've been with me on the pitch tower. That's, that's what I, I use for my breather. <laughs> A uh, free roll password we'll give out in this session, but probably closer to the back end of the session. We've got a giveaway coming up after this hand. Towers got his questions set and ready. Compete find the bluff here, Tower. <coughs> Very nice hand to use. Nice from Pete up. A lot of time. Would have gone bigger though. I think one that we do want to go larger with when we've got Jack of Spades in here and the four removal to some four or five. Blind on blind. Potentially could have gone with the big bet. 10k. Stato doesn't love it. Never shy to show his emotion when he's in the think tank on the river. It's just difficult because. Peter gets the value bet a six, he gets the value bet an eight, he gets the value bet a queen. It's it's difficult, it's sort of that no man's land area. Very difficult to know if we got the best of it or not. Does just choose the fold. <coughs> Are you ready? You got a question? Good question? Okay. Got a great question. He's got a great question. Uh, right guys, quick giveaway. Uh, it shouldn't last no longer than 10, 15 minutes. Uh, it's going to be a Jay Finks. Tal's going to ask me a question. I'll write it down. Closest to my answer will win a hundred euro token for online. One guess per account. Any multiple guesses, you will be disqualified and cannot win anything. And do not guess until I have wrote my answer down. Go on then. How many people were on Tower Stroll yesterday? No, I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. Zero. <laughs> <laughs> so, the question I'd like to know, or the answer to the question, is pretty. 
Lev Yashin. Oh, Lev Yashin. Who's Lev Yashin? Goalkeeper. What did he used to wear? Uh, a flat cap. He did. What I want to know... Please, what rating is he on FIFA? Oh, no, have you no idea? What I want to... <laughs> I can't change my question now, can I? <laughs> what I want to know is how many games did he play for Spartak Moscow? And you know a lot about Lev Yashin because you <laughs> because you got him on, on FIFA. I only know his. <laughs> How many games did he play for Spartak Moscow? In his whole career. And his career lasted 87 years. He wore a flat cap and everything. Come on, Ryan Dan. That's, don't, I, don't. I, I feel like it's a trick question. It's not a trick question at all. How many games did he play for Spartak Moscow okay. in his career? Off you go. You've got about five minutes. Get the guesses in. Closest to Jay's answer is going to be the winner of what? which one we're giving away? A uh, hundred uh, euro bounty. hundred euro bounty on Lev Yashin. So how many games did Lev Yashin play for Spartak Moscow? And he's the only person ever, the only goalkeeper ever to win the Ballon d'Or. I didn't think he ever played for Spartak Moscow, did he? <laughs> Well, it might have been Dynamo Moscow or something like that. No, don't tell me that. It's the same team. No, it's not. The Moscow team. It's played. not. In his old career. It's not. Is it not? It's not the same team. It's the same team. It's not the same team. Yeah, pretty, pretty it, sure it's, it's, it's not the same team, Tower. You've pretty asked sure me, this it's... This is all gone. This is, oh, no. this is literally all gone Pete Tong now. I thought it was Spartak Moscow. Is no, it, it's, Dynamo it Moscow? is, and they're completely different. This is, oh, oh, my no. God. You, You've got your answer now. Same thing. No, it's not the same thing. It's not the same thing, because I knew he played for Dynamo Moscow most of his career, so when you said Spartak Moscow, I based it on that. Stewards. This, this, is, this, is, this is ridiculous. My fault. I thought it was Spartak Moscow. My fault. Stop the quiz. He's got face on. He's got the face on. Stewards. He's got the face on. That was my fault. I thought it was Spartak Moscow. We're well, not Spartak Moscow. I know. No. Dynamo Moscow. Is that the same thing? Stop the quiz. Stop the quiz. Stop the quiz. No need. Every guess. You can do what you want. Stop the quiz. Stop. Stop the quiz. Stop guessing. Stop guessing. Stop guessing. Tower's bad. Wrong football team. Stop, stop the quiz. Stop guessing. Stop guessing. Next person to guess is not having a guess in the next one. Make the mod. Cut the question. Tower's fault. Apologies. I thought it was Sparta at Moscow. Well, it wasn't. It wasn't, but it was Dynamo Moscow before they changed to Sparta at Moscow. Yeah. So Sparta at Moscow came after. So I got the I got the team wrong. Yeah, you got the team wrong, and I'll even I'll even show them what I put. No, that's all right. It doesn't really matter. I went I went super low because I thought it was a trick question. Ah. I, I thought we'd played like one or two charity games. It right? was Dynamo Moscow zero for Sparta at Moscow because they were later. So apologies to that. Stop guessing! Stop guessing! <laughs> Whoever's still guessing, stop! <laughs> uh, apologies. Are we going to try again? Right, we'll try again. Uh, have you got a different question? I know, I've got, I had two questions uh, there, for you. There, 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 there we are. Three. <laughs> Uh, the correct answer for Dynamo Moscow was 326. He only played for one team all his, all his career. And it was Dynamo oh, Moscow, and... not Spartak Moscow. Tower's bad. Stop guessing! <laughs> Everyone's still guessing. The more you say stop guessing, the more they're going to guess. I think we just leave it. Give it five minutes to calm down. We'll and do then, the next question then, at quarter past three. And then we'll, 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 we'll come back to another question at quarter past three. Stop guessing. Okay. Back to the action. <sighs> what a <herb> Wally. <laughs> I thought it was Spartak Moscow. It was Dynamo Moscow back in the day. And it was. Cool. Anyway. Right, back into it. Any facts in the next question? No, yes, the correct, the correct facts in the next question. Right, we are ready. In 10 minutes time, we'll give away a £110, is it £110 token? 100, 100 euro token. 100 euro token. What did you guess, Scott? You might have won. 
Everyone's guessing three now. Everyone's seen the three. They're guessing three. I honestly, I honestly thought it was a trick question. I thought it was going to be Daniel super Moore, low. Yeah. Have we missed the password? Not yet. We've got the password coming up for the six o'clock free roll. That's on its way. Top pair for Riggy. Calls the sea better, Matt. King of Spades on the turn. Matt not going to choose the double barrel here. Just checks his option. Deuce on the river. <coughs> does go check check and really going to be best with a pair of sevens have I missed the password lads no you haven't the emperor we'll be giving it out at uh, some point in this session probably closer to the back end uh, but we, we might not give it out at all if tower can't come up with a legitimate question <laughs> hey, for the giveaway know, did you know Lev Gashi was also in the net for the uh, ice hockey team I didn't know that yeah, it was it uh, was uh, yeah, five minutes to go until the first giveaway. It's like a false start at Cheltenham. It was like a false start. <laughs> Every, all the flags are waving. Flags. <laughs> Stop guessing. Stop running. <laughs> Peter with the Jack Queen. I'm just going to put loads of lines in the chat, guys, so yeah. I, know, I know where I'm looking at the answers from. Oh, we know. There we go. <laughs> Aces for Matt Davenport. I'm going to be getting action here. Three bets to 35k at this stack depth. Queen Jack of Hearts is going nowhere. The question is, how many times did Tao say stop guessing in the last 10 minutes? <laughs> <laughs> Questions on its way in five minutes. We've never had that before. We've never had to pull the old quiz Stuart. because someone got the entire question wrong. It wasn't the entire question. It was the wrong football team. Yeah, well, that, oh, well, sorry. After we do the giveaway, I will show you uh, the free roll and how to find it on the app, guys. Yep. Uh, it's not the Poker Live app. You need the actual Grosvenor client, but you can download an app store on your phone. But best way to use it is on desktop, on your PC, on your laptop. Plenty going on on Grosvenor online as well. All weekend, we've got the closer on Monday. All the bounty series is going on. The one dollar into five, one pound into five, into thirty, into two hundred and fifty pound credits as well. Yeah, we're back now going for the big bet on the turn. Wants the seven pairs, and Peter just says, "Nice hand, gets yeah. out of there." Indeed, indeed, nice hand. Right, right. We'll pretend what just happened didn't happen. And uh, we're going to the first giveaway of Yay, the day, guys. Go gonna on, gonna quickly, quick, quickly run you down the rules. Uh, Tower's going to ask me a question, a legitimate question. It's always, always factual. It is. Uh, I will write my answer down on this piece of paper. Closest to my answer will win the hundred euro bounty hunter series token. One guess per account. Any multiple guesses, you will be disqualified. And do not guess until I have wrote my answer down. So, Tower. Yes. What have you got for me? Well, my second question is not as good as my first, but it's correct. 
All I want to know, can you please tell me how long is the M25 in miles? 10 seconds, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. How long is the M25 in miles for a £100 token for the series? Get your guesses in. Five minutes. There we go. How long is the M25, the longest orbital in the world? I'm, I'm surprised you didn't say how long is the M82, a road that doesn't <laughs> exist. I'm surprised we got a road that actually existed with that question. <laughs> How long is the M25? Get your guesses in as close to Jay's answer as possible. You will need. Uh, get yourself in. Well, we're watching the action from the final 10 here in Blackpool. How long is the M25? I think it was opened in 19... 86 I think this is for a hundred euro token guys one guess per account I just saw someone oh no Go you're on. banned it's, it's you're barred why are they do it do we do they think we don't check exactly you're barred in miles I'm guessing yep I did say miles go back and check it if you want to you don't want the correct answer, you want my answer. Uh, ace 10 free is the flop. Check to Reggie, the opener. Going to continue on the ace high board. For a hundred pound token to be used on grown up poker, how long is the M25 opened in 1986? It's nearly 40 years old, the M25, and not one day has it not had roadworks. <laughs> that would have been a better question. How, how many days of roadwork been on the M25? <laughs> One token, so it has to be the closest. Yep. <coughs> Matt with a nine five. He's going to be flowing against Riggy. He is, he's raised to 56 and snap fall from Riggy. Well played, Matt. So, how long is the M25? So, get your guess in sharp, but soon we will give you the correct answer, and then it's not what the correct answer is, it's what Jay's guess is. So you can Google it, if you want to. You can Google it, but don't put in multiple guesses, because you will get shouted at by the man to my left. Whatever Jay answers will be the score of the Man United game first. <laughs> two to three digits. <laughs> so you the correct answer. If anything is happening on the table, obviously we will bring it to you. 
in a way the tokens. Multiple guesses will be disqualified. Cheers, make the mod. Yeah, king Queen open from start who makes it 12k. Kev calls the King 8 in the big. <clears throat> 8 I flop, 8 7 2. Kev flops best and checks. Turn. He can definitely start doing some leading now. Yeah, which he's going to do. So while we're going for the guesses and we're looking at all the answers the correct answer for how long is the m25 the m25 was opened in 1986 by margaret thatcher and it was 10 times the cost of what it should have been but in length it is 117 miles 117 but that's not the answer we want we want the answer that Jay's written down. You've got about a minute. Did you get any tells? I don't think you did. Uh, no, golly. No. 117 miles round is the M25. The longest ring road in Europe. Do you think that's going to help with your answer? Pardon? Do you drive? Do you think he's got all the way around it? Mr. Question, Ian Needleman. How long does Jay think the M25 is? The correct answer is 117 mile. But did you get a tell on Jay? I don't think you did. One more hand. One more hand. And then we re reveal the winners. I'm going to go on a tea run. I'll bring back some teas Good and then I'm shout. going to give out the password like for that. the free roll. Like that. So we are. <coughs> we are looking for the closest two. Jay's answer not the correct answer. We can all Google the answer of the M25 being 117 miles round. The longest ring road in Europe. Uh, password will be given out in about 15 minutes. The yes. Emperor. Doesn't start till six, so you've got plenty of time. Yeah, six, seven suit for Matt opens in the cutoff here. Start going to defend the suit of 10 deuce. Similar stack size as these two. going to be match pot here just expect check bet fold round third hand done <laughs> and there we go so 10 seconds guys if you haven't had a guess yet you've got yeah, 10 seconds before the comp is closed. Mick the mod is ready to close the comp. How long is the M25 the longest ring road in Europe? 117 miles. We said that's a great answer. But it's what Jake thought. And he doesn't drive, if that makes a difference. He's probably been round it four times in an Uber. 10 seconds, five seconds, four, three, two, one. Stop guessing! <laughs> Competition. Competition, close, make them hard, close it, thank you very much indeed. So, Mr. J, I know you don't drive, but it doesn't really make a difference because you live near the M25, so how does the... Uh, I live in Birmingham. Oh, well, you did used to live near the M25. Uh, all I went with, yeah. uh, I remember the Reading <coughs> UKPT leg, I used to go from Hertfordshire to Reading. 
uh, and Junction 23 Enfield to Reading was about an hour. So oh. I, I thought that would be about four, like just under 50 miles, between 40 and 50 miles. And I thought like that part of the M25 round here to Reading is about a third of it. So oh. basically just times it by three and got 140. 140 miles, 140. good guessing. Cause, good cause guessing. I thought junk, junction 23 to where the, the, the junction is in Reading, I thought that would be about 45 miles. Oh. And then I thought that's about a third of the M25. I went with 140, slightly over, but that doesn't, doesn't mean a thing because someone, someone is going to win themselves. Who got the closest? A Bounty Hunter Series yes. main event seat. And that someone was is no one huh? because we got a tie. Oh, no way are we going to tie for this? <laughs> we have got no a way. tie. And the tie is between Mackham's Mackham, who guessed 141, and the Wanderer, 87. Ooh, well, I'm the kind of guy who likes to grow around. 139. The Wanderer. So he went, the Wanderer went with 139. Mackham's Mackham's went with 141. So we need <coughs> a red or black in the chat box, guys. First one in, red or black, you'll get precedence over that colour. And then on the flop, if it's your colour, you will win the token. So Mackham's Mackham or the Wanderer need a red or black from you in the chat hopefully before we get to this flop but doubt we're even going to get there <coughs> the Mackham's Mackham or the Wanderer Mackham's Mackham says red there we go so Mackham's is red Wanderer 87 is black Dan, no. Dan Mahoney getting involved on Facebook says nice red one as well <laughs> nice did man just call here with the Ace King setting the trap Blind on blind, just calling the ace king here. He must have known we were on need of the flop. It's a black flop. Eight, ten, ten, two black cards. The Wanderer. 87. Wanderer 87 on Twitch. You are the winner of the 100 euro seat. I need one thing from you, and that is your alias that you play under on Grover Poker. Well done, the Wanderer. Wanderer 87. They call me the Wanderer, yeah, the Wanderer. Yeah, now Matt just wanting to call. Not going to do any raising here, just aware this is a card that Peter will represent as the aggressor pre flop. Clop on top sums up Sunderland's luck at the moment, he says. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Have we got the Wanderer's name yet? Make the mods on it. Make the mods on it, is he? Awesome. And Gasman's put a bet on 3 1 United now, because of my guess. Come on, United! United. United up United. Mad for it. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm learning now. I know the old Manchester lingo after that free roll password. Uh, so, Matt takes it with the Ace King. Doesn't get any value on the river. I am going to get some refreshments when I come back. Yes. We will have a password. Make sure we're on it. I'm just actually checking that Tom's actually sent me the password before I... Uh... Oh, this is a fun one. Is it? This is a fun password. Okay. Is it rock? rock well, 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 all I'm going to say, Tower, yeah. if people want to try and have a guess before I get back, yeah. I'm quickly going to slide to the left and uh, go and get the tease. Okay, password given out for the free roll in about 10 minutes time. The Emperor of Boxing Truth can't wait. <clears throat> All the best, Mick. Enjoy your uh, pub poker, and we'll see you soon. <laughs> J 
cha-cha slide. I don't even know what it is, to be fair. Scotty, I have no idea what it is. We'll get the chip counts from the outer table at the next break or when we get to the FT. There will be a full chip count on its way soon. The Tony will, and the, in the Grosvenor client, will get you to it when Jay comes back. He'll show us what it is. But it's the live stream free run. That's what it'll be. It will be the live stream free roll. 113 playing the seniors. 113. They're down to five in the cup. Will McMurray has busted out in seventh. Eighth was Mark Whitney in the money. And sixth was Darren Naylor. Well done to Daz Naylor. The PLO bounty has started, but there's only ten runners in that. And the closer starts at seven. But 113 in the seniors. Amazing. Uh, yeah, ten minutes time. The Emperor of Boxing Truth. Ten minutes. You will get the password. It doesn't start till six. You've got two and a half hours. King Queen Vestato, the heart of Kev Orton, gets in and builds him up to 300,000. Four hearts on the board. Kev back up to 300,000, just shy of. Riding the game. Jack 8 for Matt in the cutoff. Two people have reg for the free roll already. No way have they guessed it. I don't even know what it is. Well, that's the truth. I have no idea who it is. Unbelievable if you've guessed it. That's amazing. What if it's the big one? Or the Pepsi Max? Can't find the tournament. Make sure all your filters are clicked to all. And at six o'clock, the live stream free roll. Jail run through how to find it. But make sure your filters are clicked because if you're not, if you can't find it, you've probably got your filters on. There.
if your filters aren't set to free rolls then you won't be able to find it so if you click all it's in the lobby live stream free roll six o'clock two people have guessed it already i can't believe it it was my clue what what what, 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 what I, I actually missed your clue i said i'm going to slide to the left and go and get the tees oh is that the guess i said i'm going to slide to the left and go and get the tees i gave a clue i missed that missed that i had a guess that is it cha cha slide it's not cha cha slide oh slide to the left <laughs> slide to the right Password after this hands. It's close. <coughs> Everybody do your thing. No? You don't know it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're under and fifty percent of the way there. God. That's there you go, Tower. Yeah, so Kevin the Calf opens the King Eight. Good grief, says Golden Jaguar Tower, singing the char char slide. I was doing the dance. <laughs> he was. I nearly slid out, slid out the booth. He nearly pushed me out of the booth. I was doing the dance. Uh, so this is just going to be check bet fold, and then we'll let you guys know the password. Won't just let you know the password. I'm going to try and pull it up as well yes. on the client. I did tell them that's exactly where because some people are struggling to find it. So that's what they're doing. They were struggling to find it. <laughs> you were. What? Is Peter just donked with four or five off? Hmm. Interesting, to say the least. Kev's going to stack up as well. We're going to get another one from Peter in this uh, scenario. If there's not, I do sort of seven on the river. Well, Kevin's going to make him pay for it. Yeah, what is this from Peter? Dunk in the flop, picks up the up and down, now checks. <laughs> Vanessa says, Tower, I love it when you sing. I oh, don't, Vanessa. Try sitting next to him, you got it right in the ear hole. <laughs> the cause of his up and down. Imagine if he just backdoors into this tower. This would be ill. <coughs> and it's six of hearts river and now we're just sat here with five eye. If we just check fold flop as we should be doing, we save ourselves a nice eight big blinds. Check, check, and King A going to be good for Kev. Uh, so, guys. Go on, Charles, how to get in? The Come on. free roll. So you, so, you need the client. You can go online, type in Grow in a Poker. There'll be a download for your desktop. Yeah. Uh, and then what you'll need to do, go to events. If you go to this arrow, you'll find National Poker League. And National Poker League, if you go to live event credit, you will find the GUKPT live stream six free roll. Are already in. And six are already in, and that is because they guessed the clue, which was slide to the left in the password. Cha cha. Don't know. Cha cha, apparently. Cha cha. Cha cha. Is that you bringing the tea? <laughs> <laughs> it's rosy, rosy. <laughs> cha cha is the password. I have no idea why cha cha is the password. But apparently it is. Uh, get yourself in, guys. 6 p.m. start that, so you've got plenty of time. And there's also an hour of late registration. Cha-cha. Go, go, go. Well done, everybody. Get yourselves in. Cha-cha. Credit to the two that got in straight away, though. Yeah. Well impressed. Well done, you two. The password is Chacha. Cheers, make the mod. Just before he heads off to the pub to play his local pub game of poker and beers. Question is, does he have more pints than winning hands? <laughs> I'd say I'd take the pints. <laughs> <laughs> If you'd done the double chance and threw in the cigarettes as well, it would definitely be the overs on pints and ciggies combined. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> I 
Now go to GrosvenorCasino.com yep. for the <coughs> poker site. Yeah, and uh, going to have some action here, Tower. Won't be getting in for 50 effective, but we'll be going free bet and expect to see call from Stato. Never folding, but don't think we're four betting the ace queen suited either. I think we're just happy to call and head to the streets with position. <coughs> nice meaty sizing from Matt. Veering towards 4x. And Stato just with what I think should be a call. To the flop, Ace Queen of Spades, Stato, Matt Davenport, Kings. Ace I flop, two spades. Pick your flops. Pick your flops. Well, Keith Littlewood just, I just heard Keith Littlewood. That had to be Keith, didn't no, it? That's it. We know what's happening now in the United game because Keith Littlewood's just gone ballistic. Overkill flop for Stato. Why is there an ace? Matt is thinking in his head, but he's still going to continue in terms of range here. Small size, what we should see. Goes for 48. So finding third exactly. 48 into 144, I think it was, was it? No, sorry, 48 into 136. So. <coughs> Slightly north of third. And Stato just always calling, never raising this one. And obviously never folding. So just going to call with position. And it is 1 0 to United. Who would have guessed it? Who would have thought? Yeah, that's going to be final score. <laughs> I said it was going to be 1 0 United. That's it. You might as well cash out now if you're on 1 0. Uh, yes, there is a delay on this, Russ. We're on a 20 minute delay. small size if you wanted to want to think about getting this in by the river so maybe go like third pot 80k ish which would set up like half pot river just over 60 percent river but it's going to mix in a deceptive check behind No, Ross, Keith is sat on the table on the other side of the comms booth. He's playing the cup. He's playing the cup. And the cup tables are literally outside the door where we're sat. So, yeah. And he's down to... I mean, he's chip leader, wasn't he? He was chip leader, wasn't he? So he's obviously shouting as they've scored in real time. And me and Tower are in it real time, coming through the comms booth door. Yep. check behind here but Stato just thinking what size to choose Matt doesn't look like he has too much here once he checks over to us twice it does look like he's done with the hand a lot of the time one C bet and just complete give up maybe we want to go small for that reason as Stato targets and things like some ace three ace four ace five suited some kings queens jacks tens oh well not tens but <coughs> kings queens jacks Goes for 78k. Yes, we are watching footage from 20 minutes ago. Nice, nice, nice fall from Matt. Yeah, that's that's the only way we can use all the three chat boxes, Russ. If we're on the delay, same as you lot out there. So we're on the delay, so we can use all the chat boxes. Other than that, we won't be able to do it. 
That's the only way we could do it. <coughs> so we're on 10. Started today with 16. Dan Laidlaw out first. Matt Waterfall, The Mad Turk, Yusel, Eminoglu, Dan Charlton, Thomas Clack. And last out was Andrew Lewis. Peter, a couple of aces. for Peter. It's about time Riggy doubled up. I agree, Russ. It is. Not had much, uh, not had much distribution today as the uh, the rigster. Ten nine zero from that raises to sixteen. Kev folds on the button. I think he can't do anything. Couple of napkins yet again. And this time Stato gets aces? Is it just aces everywhere at the moment? And Kings. This is amazing. I'm going to free bet here with Stato. Around the 60k mark. So as you expect to see at 50 effective. Closer to 55. 68. A bit more juice on it from Stato. Uh, Charlie Chase, Jay, do you play much online these days? No, none at all. Um, play uh, some on some apps and stuff, some some <coughs> private rooms with friends and whatnot, but not really uh, any any online. Last time I actually played online, a random ra random uh, Sunday, was in was in a was in an Uber on my way to a game. Uh, jumped in the fifty five dollar micro millions on stars. Uh, when that game finished, I was still playing it on my phone. And then was on my Uber back and ended up finishing it. Uh, there was uh, finishing it back in Birmingham. <laughs> back and, in the Uber. Uh, yeah, and finished uh, finished second for like thirty k in a fifty five dollar on stars. So <laughs> that was literally the last time I played online like four months ago when the Micro Millions was on. So but these days don't really get any time, mate. I don't think I'm good enough anyway to play like on the mainstream sites at decent buying levels. All the sickos are online these days. Likes a stato sitting there all the time in the 1k lobbies. Yeah, and Matt does just let it go. Thought about continuing that deep with a 10 9 suited. I'm just going to let Stato have that one. No action, action from the aces again. But will we 
get to a final this session. 30 minutes left of the clock before we head out on a break. And we do lose one more player. That mean that we have hit the final table. And I think so, I'll let my cup of tea is it. Yep. Big shout out to Morris Wiggum. Morris. He's, he's brought me in my favourite today, and I think I'm going to have one. What? Got donuts. You've got donuts? And a cup of tea. Get in Donut there. Donut and a cup of tea. Thanks, Morris. Cheers, buddy. Whoa, what? No, 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 no. I, I, I <laughs> slipped. My finger slipped. <laughs> you can't be doing my that. My finger slipped. You can't be doing that. It only done on oh, yeah, yeah, it yeah, was yeah, a slip of the right, finger. All right, all right. Thanks, Morris. Comes in, play the seniors. 120 in the seniors. Bonkers numbers. Whoa. Four left in the cup. Give you, give you, yeah. That's a huge turnout for yeah, the yeah. seniors. Good thing we're not in Leeds. There'll be queues out of the lift on the break going all the way out of the casino. <laughs> That's a huge turnout for the seniors tower. Yep. So, yeah, it can be likely that we're up against the king. But the times that we drill that five, we just get the absolute lot. And getting six to one on a call there. Just calling, seeing what the turn brings. And now, just going to be check folding once met, met with some, sorry, once met with another bet from Peter. Still on 10, final table when we get to 9. There will be a break, as always. Usually a 20 minute break whenever that happens. Martin's off, still re reveling in his 1 0 FIFA win last night. We played four games. He lost 4 1, 5 1, 4 1. And then he, he scored the scrappiest goal in the 90th minute after getting slaughtered for 90 minutes <laughs> and his keeper turning into prime Lev Yashin. <coughs> Ten three. Can't do anything with that. His distribution's been really poor on the feature. Ten left. Start all raising to eighteen. Six 
six, seven Jake Flock. Jack both catch a piece, both catch the kickers. Here's six for Matt. Starts over the A7. So a check call from Matt. I'll tell you what, an ace will be grim. So it's Queen of Hearts. Check for the stats up. And two for Hearts. Brings the back door. <coughs> stats up with the check mark. Might just go check, check. Don't mind a check, check from Stato here with the seven. as you like tower but <clears throat> we know Matt's never going to have a queen once he check calls flop but sometimes we do value cut ourselves versus the jack x but could be thinking about eking out some value from some worse 7x or 6x in there as stato here could be a tidy little value bet with the a7 but it's pretty close because Matt would also play jacks in this manner would Matt actually ever go for like a small block on the reel with a with a jack, like a quarter or third pot bet? Could be what Stato's thinking. So maybe thinking he's weighted towards these seven and six X, which we have the not seven. So he's going to find this razor thin value bet here with just the third pair. The password is char char. Char char. Some reason C H A C H A char char. Line. Maybe Rich, who does the passwords, likes his cup of teas. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Could be right. Still on 10. Trying to get to the FT. Get them out of there. Let's go, Stato. Let's go. He has chunks in his Miami Dolphins top. The Miami Dolphins jersey, the old tight end who was just signed for the Cincinnati Bengals. To be honest, there you go. I I don't know Cincinnati Bengals. I know the New York Giants. Yeah, Green, you were there. Green Bay Packers. Yeah, who were ru rubbish. Yeah. Chicago Bulls one. No, no. Chicago Bears. Chicago Bears. The Chicago Bulls are baseball. It could be ice hockey. <laughs> it's been, I think it's baseball. Been patient as Reggie. Yes. Does find the ladies now. Come on the West Ham. West. We like we like that we like that news, Chris. Why is that? Because they're playing Villa. And you're not from Aston Villa? Yes, but who are the, uh, who's battling for fourth with Tottenham? Oh, right, Aston Villa. Go on, then. It's five off here for Kev in the big. Riggy opening from Gun. Kev shows the ace. Riggy gets that one through. I thought you were just stalling, to be honest, then all of a sudden you sprung out of your box and went... Cheers, Aaron. Aaron Carroll says, Chicago Bulls is basketball. Well, PK's there with the camera. We might as well go and have a butchers. What's going on? Ooh. Oh, Shade turns up. <coughs> so all in free Ooh. from Glenn Gaines with his short stack, Ace King suited. Keith Johnson calls with the Queen 10. Oh, wow. And well, there's a Queen and a 10. Jack. So Jack needed for Broadway for Glenn Gaines. If it comes in here. Otherwise, we're at a final table. Oh. Jack. 
Thank you. It's not it's a nine. We need a jack. Any jacks about for Glen Gaines? No, it is not. It's another ten. Just fills up. Well played, Glen. Finishing in 10th place. <laughs> 5,620. But anybody got 50s on that, man? What's that? 250 and Wyatt's two columns. He's probably got nearly half a million now, Keith Anything Johnson. Anything else on this feature table, on this, on this hand, we will be letting you know. But I don't think we are. Done. Done. Clock's paused on the left. Ooh. Frankie's coming over. You're all at an FT. How long is the break, I hear you ask? 20 I, minutes. I don't know. Ish. Uh, we will be... <laughs> that's, will... that's the answer I got. What about it? <laughs> that's, what, that's the answer I got. I'm just giving the answer that I just got, Tower. So there we go. The 51 is, 50 to 1 is looking good. The final table will be about 20, 25 minutes away from now. So we'll let you know. We'll put the ticker in the bottom left-hand corner. And we will be back for Blackpool's GUKPT main event final table in about 25 minutes. See you then. Come on. Say a jack or a six. No! Wednesday we announced a million pound prize pool for the second year running at Goliath. We can now announce that there are 10,585 runners currently, meaning it's the biggest tournament we have ever held in Great Britain and anywhere else outside of Las Vegas. Ladies and gentlemen, you are now part of history. <laughs> the Goliath is the biggest it has ever, ever been, and people are still buying it.
these kings and clubs and queens fall on the end. to 44 players as it speaks and there's 24 million going into one bag. Alex, what an unbelievable day you must have had. It was unreal. I started as a short stack and now I'm just leader. Yeah. I'll take it. Yeah. Jay, Jay, Jay said we, you were short. How short were you? I had 125k to start the day. Yeah. <laughs> did, what, what did you do with the bubble? Did you just sit and wait or did you just start? Yeah, I was short on the bubble to be fair. Yeah. And um, you sat and waited until the money went? Pretty much. I still still took some spots, but yeah, after the money went, it yeah, just, yeah, just couldn't lose yeah. a hand. <laughs> could, could you believe when we were on the bubble, 21 all in and calls <laughs> in two hands? I can't believe it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a huge amount of chips. Uh, what's the table been like in the last hour or so? Um, yeah, all right, to be fair. I had a lot of big hands, so that helps. <laughs> so yeah. for me, it's been all right. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Well, we think you're chip leader. That'd be nice. We're pretty sure you are chip leader, but. Uh, Every credit for making day three of the biggest Goliath ever. Fingers crossed for tomorrow. Hopefully it goes well. Keep Thanks it going. Nice Cheers, one. Man. Alex, Alex Todd, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of chips. He has, I got, uh, an amount of chips that uh, you want for day three. We'll just have a quick word with, uh, with Paul. Paul, Paul Murphy, Goliath. Day three tomorrow. Yep. We just bagged up how many? 19 million, 25,000. Big, big stack. Nice stack. How's the day been? It's been good. Been getting nice cards. Yeah. And making good plays, so yeah. I've been happy. Yeah. Mix it, mixing it up. Uh, it's a lot, a lot of players, a lot of people just say recreational players. It's just, you've, you, you're just taking flips a lot of the time and you're just playing totally different. How have you found your table today? I've been on about five different tables. Oh, yeah. I've been moved around a lot. Yeah. Um, each has been completely different. Um, but I think the key's been adjusting to yeah. the players. Can you instantly spot somebody who just wants to cash to somebody who's a tour, tour reg or something like that? Yeah, I can. Especially when they stay at the table, I'm just folding the last 10 minutes. No. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's, always, that's always what you need. That's you, it, can, yeah. you, can, you can manipulate that. But 19 mil coming back to tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, biggest Goliath we've ever had. Yep. And we're down to 44 and then tomorrow we're going to crown a champion. We can dream, can't we? We can dream. We can dream. Hopefully final table. <laughs> Paul, many, many congratulations. 19 million. Uh, that Thank is you. just about it from the days. Full chip counts up on the website very, very soon. But what an amazing day. We have had 1,125 runners. We got in the money instantly. 21 all in and calls for two in two hands to burst the bubble. We burst the bubble and then they've gone down and down and we've finished day two with 44 runners. Tomorrow, we are going to crown a champion of the biggest Goliath ever. But who is it going to be? Join us tomorrow.
And there is the call from Ariane. Yeah, you can't bad news. really fault him for it. So I think we knew on the turn it was only going to be a few rivers that. Takes out the second person on the final. <laughs> Look at that! It always happens, is it? The Queens! The set Queens! It's because all the other three have all gone. And it is not Queens full this time. Ten slowing, he took some straight in, straight in, he's not fearing anything, Tim. No. Oh, there he is, oh, Tim <laughs> Slater. There's <laughs> no help there. Well done, and, it, and it, do you know what? He's shaking the hands of all the players. Oh, oh no, he hasn't as well, he's 5-3 for Tim Slater. Listen, that was a terrible turn. And Tim Slater out flops. Not the start we wanted. Carl Spencer fist bumps everybody. Well played, sir. What a good, good effort. Cool with the sixes, big flip here for both players. Sixes holding at the moment. Here's sort of 10 needed, or oh, Tim Slater is out in fourth. And it's a nine, he is out in fourth. Another fantastic effort. Well done, Tim. Oh, that is not good. He's wow. dead on the flop. Six is about for the Kevin Allen. Well, we're down to Jack. Stu Rutter has just taken out Kev Allen, former champion of the grand final back in 2013. So the flop. Green 8 2. That is yeah, it. We've got we a have champion. a champion. We have double champion. Go, 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 go. Get out of it. Get out of it. Stu Rutter wins. Vic Meta yeah. second. Bye. Fantastic, well done.
I don't want to say a jack or a six. No! Jeez! Gentlemen, on Wednesday we announced a million pound prize pool for the second year running at Goliath. We can now announce that there are 10,585 runners currently, meaning it's the biggest tournament we have ever held in Great Britain and anywhere else outside of Las Vegas. Ladies and gentlemen, you are now part of history. The Goliath is the biggest it has ever, ever been.
in the stream. <laughs> there we go, the shout in the stream. Let's go, he says. to 44 players as it speaks and there's 24 million going into one bag. Alex, what an unbelievable day you must have had. It was unreal. I started as a short stack and now I'm just leader. Yeah. Yeah, Jay, Jay, Jay said we, you were short. How short were you? I had 125k to start the day. Yeah. <laughs> did, what, what did you do with the bubble? Did you just sit and wait or did you just start? Yeah, I was short on the bubble, to be fair. Yeah. Um, and you sat and waited until the money went? Pretty much. I still still took some spots, but yeah, after the money went, it yeah. Just, yeah, just couldn't lose yeah. a hand. <laughs> could, could you believe when we were on the bubble, 21 all in and calls <laughs> in two hands? I can't believe it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a huge amount of chips. Uh, what's the table been like in the last hour or so? Uh, yeah, all right, to be fair. I had a lot of big hands, so that helps. <laughs> so yeah. for me, it's been all right. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Well, we think you're chip leader. That'd be nice. We're pretty sure you are chip leader. But uh, every credit for making day three of the biggest delight Thanks ever. A lot. Fingers crossed for tomorrow. Hopefully, as well. Keep Thanks it going. Right. Nice Cheers, one. Alex, Alex Todd, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of chips. He has, I got, uh, an amount of chips that uh, you want for day three. We'll just have a quick word with, uh, with Paul. Paul, Hi, yeah. Paul Murphy, Goliath. Day three tomorrow. Yep. We just bagged up how many? 19 million, 25,000. Big, big stack. Nice stack. How's the day been? It's been good. It's been getting nice cards. Yeah. And making good plays, so yeah. I've been happy. Yeah. Mix it, mixing it up. Uh, it's. A lot, of, a lot of players, a lot of people just say uh, recreational players. It's just you've, you, you're just taking flips a lot of the time, and you're just playing totally different. How have you found your tables today? I've been on about five different tables. Oh, yeah. I've been moved around a lot. Yeah. Um, each has been completely different. Um, but I think the key's been adjusting to yeah. the players. Can you instantly spot somebody who just wants to cash to somebody who's a tour, tour reg or something like that? Yeah, I can, especially when they stay at the table, I'm just folding the last 10 minutes. No. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's, always, that's always what you need. You, it, can, you, can, you can manipulate that, but 19 mil coming back to tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, biggest Goliath we've ever had. Yep. And we're down to 44, and then tomorrow we're going to crown a champion. We can I'm dream, excited. can't we? We can dream. Slide to be care, yeah. Get it in. Get it in, son. Slide them round. I'm about to eat a live stream chicken rice. Be the Bobby's policy chair, thank you. Set and ready, it's final table time here in Blackpool. Gonna be a long one, this is deep, deep. Deep, uh, deep, deep. I think deepest final table we have ever seen on a GUKPT yep. main event. So strap in, we got plenty of names and I will run you through the field and what they have done in poker over the years. Enjoy for the next few hours the final table in Blackers. Matt Davenport, 1.8 milli in live earnings. Heaps and heaps for him. Matt on a great run. You can pull the MPL up for him. Who is that? No way, that's his brother. Uh, who's that? Paul Rigg? That's not Paul Rigg. I'm not having it. Can we not just, when every time you win a title, can we not just up near yeah. the picture, please? Just as easy as that. Uh, Mikey Clark. Oh, he'll need a new one. He'll need a new one. <laughs> GUKBT Bolton champion. Was he old enough to play then? Why is he wearing the Sweden flag? That's what I'd like to know. I think it was like part of Euros were on or something. Oh, okay. I think. Pretty sure. So Mikey Clark. Uh, I couldn't find Peter oh. anywhere. Could oh. not find Peter anywhere. If anyone can get me to Peter's Hendon, that would be great. But Peter. I couldn't, couldn't find him anywhere. We've got Kev Howard, 120k best live cash, 439k in live earnings. The Stato. 
two million in live earnings. This is a stacked final table yeah. tower. 18th World Series main event last year. Yeah, that's where this come from, the 345k. Already a little to add to it because he, the I roller heads up this week. We got the silver pigeon, Keith Johnson, 1.1 million live earnings. Another one that needs his picture change. Who is that? Keith's younger brother. He's not still with that. Yeah, that's the brown pigeon, that is. <laughs> <laughs> Keith Johnson, uh, another one who's been on some form the last six months, so... 50 to one shot at the start of the day. Could he be turning that into a title? The man, Ludo, 3.6 million live earnings, winning this player on this final table in terms of live earnings. Very nice. And looking for his second GUKBT title. And finally, Callum Gordon, 181K, come onto the scene the last 12 months and has had some lovely results. <coughs> and if you recall, if we go down to last November, mm -hmm. you will see here that Callum finished second in the Blackpool main event, losing heads up to Ian, Ian Gascoigne. Gascoigne. Ian, yeah, remember Ian Gascoigne. And Callum actually got the most of it. There was a freeway deal dump, 73k. <laughs> That's all the players, guys. What they've earned, we are set and ready for a great final table. Let's go. Cam Callum, chop it again. Or even go one better and take it on his own. Cares will to stack up to 341,000. Gonna get loose here to start the FT. Six free clubs in the cutoff. Just to get involved, Mikey with Jack 10 and 16 big <coughs> lines in the small. Probably wants to be folding, but we know Mikey. If he fancies a hand, if he fancies making a move, he's got it in the lockup. Ace four off here for Ludo, straight off the bat tower. We've got a nice little free bet spot as the chip lead up. Ace four off from the big blind could potentially just make this like 70k as Ludo. 40 effective, seems like decent stack size to use. Maybe we want to drop lower and closer to 30, but still think Ludo will probably take this one right off the bat with the ace four off tower. Seems like a decent spot. And nope, just going to go with court. Head to the streets. As I say, tend to see it more around the 30 BB region. As chip lead up, thought Ludo might be making a stand straight away. It just plays cool, and we head to the King 9 Deuce Rainbow. The ace high is still good, however, Kev, Stone Cold bottom of range here with six high, maybe having one and done. <coughs> 18. That'll do it. Very nice indeed. <clears throat> Bang in the middle. And 46 bigs deep. Kev Orton. Cha cha is the password for the free roll. We've got an £110 token to give away very soon. Liverpool 2 1 up at half time. That turned on a set. Oh. West Ham finished 1 1. I thought they were winning 2 1. I, I thought they were 2 1 up, Ian. Someone in the chat put 2 1 West Ham about 45 minutes ago. <laughs> I started giving it the boom. <laughs> Who was on the wind up? West Ham. Ian Needleman's on the wind up, surely. We got told it was 2 1 an hour ago. It was chopped off. Oh. Jack 10 sewered for Stato. I think we've seen more than Stato on the feature table than anyone else the last sort of three months. Seems to always be here once again. Opening to 16. Kev with Ace King sewered in the hijack here. Starting the hand now with like 44 bigs. Should just see three bet. Makes it 45. And here we go. Off to the streets. Three bet coup. Stato, not going to be folding Jack-10 suited at this stack depth. Especially as cover and stack. Oh, 
where he takes Otawa. Maybe he is thinking about making the lay down. And he's just going to let the Jack-10 mm. suit it go. Not wanting to navigate out of position to Kev. Mm. Such a pretty holding. Unbelievable playability. And just going to choose to toss it into the marks and discipline there from Stato. I think you see a lot of people get involved with that hand. Just going to give that one to Kev, who did have the goods in the form of Ace-King suited. <coughs> so the final table of Blackpool's main event. Appearance for Callum this time. <laughs> Callum looking to go one better than last year. Comes so close to the trophy here in Blackpool. Second place finish up after a three way deal. Ian Gascoigne taking it eventually. He's 10 off for Ludo. One that could use. And use he shall. Makes it 54k. Back on Callum now. Much it was. Really annoying stack depth time. We had like 40 and just got clear as day jam. Can we still jam for 54? Just shy off, probably. When Ludo should have a lot of hands here. And obviously, block aces, kings. I think maybe we can just send for 54 here as Callum. Yep, all of it. The triangle is in. Ludo looks down, it's not false. I'm booked, Tim. I've done it on my break. I'm booked up for Football Tuesday. I will Are you be there. Playing? Yep. Oh, I'm glad you've got a week off. I'm an oh, there could be an hospital mm. visit Wednesday morning. Yeah, where you this, talked this, about your last three games. This is a problem, Tower. Oh, man. I'm just, I'm just you want me to be this sponge boy? Yeah, this is it. I can come down if yeah, you need yeah, me yeah. to. <laughs> <laughs> I do enjoy football. It's just I didn't, you didn't realise after not playing for 10 years yeah. how much you can't just go back onto a pitch and be fine and run around like you've been playing for the last 10 years every week. Twenty-two K from Mikey in the hijack, unknown holding, Keith in the big blind, eight nine suited. <laughs> oh, Keith not gonna defend. Mikey opening north of three X there, so maybe the sizing deterring Keith from calling, but 8-9 suited in the big, seemed like one that wants to get amongst it. Maybe once Mikey opens near to 3x, just allows Keith to fold. <laughs> Afternoon, Adam. Adam saw. How are you? How's the family? Two in a minute before our time. I think so. Well, we'll see you soon. Does Mikey look familiar? Well, he not from his picture on Hendon. <laughs> <laughs> At all. 
Not really first. picture on Ender, but uh, yes. Yeah. Mikey. Here's PK's brother. Uh, product, I'm a cherry man. Cherry's my favourite. I don't drink it that often either, but Cherry Coke's one of my favourite drinks of all time. Don't really drink fizzy that much, but a pound of cherries are good for you. When I do, uh, like real fruit, like a cherry coke. No, no, cherry coke's the same thing. Or is it hmm. same as carrot cake? Well, that's fair no. enough. Yeah, yeah. Some, sometimes I do two of me five a day in one sitting. Carrot cake, wash it down <laughs> with a can of cherry coke. <laughs> play, have, a fr play a fruit machine. Uh, that's three. Have a have a puff on the apple vape. Oh, that's three. <laughs> yeah, number four. While you're playing a fruit machine, there we go. That's four out of five. And then you do your spuds. Yep. <laughs> King Deuce for Keith completes Callum of Ace 8 in the big blind. Gonna bump it up. Keith just out of there. <clears throat> yeah. One of my favourite cypher, the old cherry car. I don't really drink too much fizzy these days. But I really rarely see you with fizzy yeah. drink, to be fair. But when I, when I fancy one, I like a cherry, a cherry Coke. <coughs> Your football stories and deep heat remind me of the cricket club changing room in the summer. The aroma of deep heat is strong after the game. <laughs> Curtis says, you know Stato's winning this because Curtis has had a bet on it and he's had 81 bets this week and all 81 have come in. <laughs> just every, everything he's put in the chat is just in, yeah. in, in. You must have won chunks on Ipswich Town yesterday. You must have. Six nil. Yeah, Peter with the fives. I like fold here from Peter. Still full ring, nine handed, but gonna open. Peter, the only player I couldn't find on the database at this final table. Wisenowski, I'm guessing from Poland. Ludo going to play cool. Ludo sitting with over a quarter of the chips in play, just to give you some perspective of how big his stack actually is at this point, when we're still left with nine players. Ten nine four, <coughs> five for Peter. Ludo nines for Ludo. Yeah, I think we're about supposed to do. I probably wouldn't have opened the fives in the first place at this stage of the tournament, but I think we should be doing a fair amount of checking here as Peter, regardless of holding. Ludo in with a call with position. King of Spades turn. from Ludo and that should be end of hand yeah the fives 87 into 124 any of Ludo's range should be in front or two thirds on the turn and the fives of Peter just going to have to get out of there as he does <coughs> so the free roll is at six 
Password is cha cha. Cha cha. All lowercase. I reckon about one. I'm going to stick with my 1 a.m. Uh, estimation. It's just the chips in play at the moment. Like, way to look at it another way. We're playing 4K, 8K. Usually we start day three at 6K, 12K. Yeah. So we're not even essentially at the start of day three yet uh, from where we'd usually be for a normal GUKPT main event. Uh, but we'll say about one in the morning. There is a situation where Ludo, for example, could go on an absolute tear cold deck a couple of the stacks suddenly we're down to five handed clock gets reduced ludo's got half the chips in play and it could be over by 11 10 o'clock but i think uh around 1 a.m sounds about right for what's left in play regarding chips and the blind structure ahead yeah, peter here I'd like to see fold it goes with limp with the pocket threes from gun Keith, 50 to one shot at the start of the day. Indeed. 50 to one. And then people said, maybe you got 53k, but give a double up. I'll tell you what, he has a chance. And he doubled up and doubled up. Is that 2-2? Two, two? I don't know. It sounds like 2-2 two, because two, I just said a come on come from Keith Littlewood. Unless he's just won the, the, the cup. Oh yeah, he's heads up in the cup, he's ain't he? He's heads up in the cup. He might have just won the cup. He, could, might, he might have just won the only oh, cup. Oh, he's not wearing that fancy dress as well, is he, oh, for the winner's picture? No. He's got the fancy dress on. And Kev, <coughs> with the ace 6 suited. Yeah, we're guessing Keith Littlewood's just won the cup, not 2-2 in the football. Yeah, there was a bit, just a bigger shout, that's all. We thought that's what it were. Thirty percent up from Keith. Kev okay, six suited. One's that three to a flush, three to a straight, and overcard here. Wouldn't be surprised if he continued, but could just get out of the way and let Kev have this. Uh, let Keith have this out of position. But I wouldn't be surprised if Kev out and continued. Does go with fold. Password for the free roll is Cha Cha. C H A C H A. We don't know why. Maybe that's what was on the radio when they were putting the uh, email together. Maybe. Char Char, spelt like this. Cha Cha. How many do you reckon are in now, Tower? 65. 88. 65. Did you know that? Because it was already there when I asked the question and I realised as I was asking the question I could actually see the answer. How do you find the free roll on the site, says Simon? Uh, best way to find it, Simon, if you go, start from the homepage, go to events. Uh, you need to scroll across here and you'll find live event credit. Click on that and you'll find it here. £300 free roll. 67 in now. Sean the 147's just jumped in. Sean the 147's play. What Sean? Who wants Sean? Oh, it's for Strictly Come Dancing that's in Blackpool at the tower. Maybe. Yes, Blackpool is very famous for the old ballroom dancing. 
most famous ballroom there is. Where is the ballroom? Uh, in the tower. In the, the tower. tower? Yeah. Oh, okay. On the second floor in the tower. Seven. Thanks everybody for putting in the chat. Chat chat. Ludo, 145 bigs with nine players left. Riggy on 14, had no distribution whatsoever today. keep saying it every time we have a dealer change. You can't. Well, you've lost for the first time ever. It's big news. Like ever. It was the most scrappiest 1-0 win ever. It shouldn't even count, to be fair. Shouldn't even count. I'm not having it. Can you play the free roll, free roll on your mobile? Uh, yes, I think you can. I think you can. I've not checked, but uh, I don't see why you shouldn't be able to. Oh! I don't think you can play password protected uh, events on a mobile device. I think that's the reason. If I'm wrong, I apologise. I think that's. I think that's the thing. You can't play a password protected tournament on. Oh yes, you can, sir Steve. Oh well, there you go then. Thank you. It has changed. You didn't. You didn't used to be able to. I know that much. You sure you, 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 you've you always been able to do it, Tal? You, yeah, you with your Absolutely. technology mind is yep. just... Yep, you found me out again. You <laughs> got me again. Always get you. You've got a chance to get me, though, because we've got one more giveaway coming up today. One more giveaway for today. And Stato with a couple of tens here. Callum opening hijack. Pocket tens for Stato. See either or here. Call or three bet. There's covering stack. Does just go with call. That'll lose Kev on the button. Change settings to all games registering within two hours, and it's there. Six o'clock. Thank you very much. Thanks, Julie. <coughs> and Callum gets there. Let's see if we can find the check here, though. Tower. Hijack versus cut off. Could definitely do some checking here. Good to have some top pairs in as well. It looks like it's just going to continue here. Small, 20% up on the Ace 9 Deuce. Very dry texture. Sorry, I thought it was 10k, it's 15k. So just shy of 30% from Callum. And Stato gonna have to call once here with 10s. Let's Which he does. <laughs> Ain't a hearts turn. Good for Callum. Yeah, now, now it gets quite awkward to fire another street here, Tower, and I think this is where we definitely, there we go, we want to start checking as Callum does check it over to Stato, who will probably do the same. Knuckle this back, just try and get to showdown with our pocket pair. for bet with intention of checking back river here 27k so 
preferred pot from Stato, and I'm guessing this small size is just a function of being able to check back river because Callum should always be playing in flow and checking it over to us. So there's the check call from Callum. And I do just expect all rivers other than a 10 tower to go check, check. Here's the king. Dirty river for Stato though, because I don't know. I, yeah, check, check. I was about to say because King, Queen, King, Jackal gets there now, but turn didn't go check, check. So that's out of there on the turn. So River's actually fine. And Callum takes a nice one up to 603. 75 bigs at this stage. Line to 4,000, 8,000. How can you access the free roll mobile device? Make sure that on your mobile device all is set when you open up the poker. And if you want to see, you can actually search it in search games. Go to the tournament section. And then if you want to press the search bar, just type in live or live stream free roll. And a lot of that halfway down to the live stream free roll if you want to search by my name type in live press search and apart from the live event credits that are there that are going on live event credits going on live and it's there it's UKPT live stream free roll 79 in at the moment 89 suited for Kev I'm gonna be opening Raises to 23 and Peter out of the way in the small blind uh, on the button over to Mikey in the small. <clears throat> Looks down and here's Chatoff. All in. Nice Ooh, and easy yeah, one. The triangle is there. We'll be working versus Kev. No, but not against Ludo. Whoa, that's grim. Not like this. Not against Ludo, it's not working. Like clearest day shove tower for Mikey and we just run into aces behind this absolute filth and uh, Kev can't call <laughs> ask for a count but never ever can call no, never. not sure making Martin work I said to Kev this morning make sure you make that Martin work after beating me one nil at FIFA last night <laughs> even, even, even if you're folding make him lean over and count them chips I want him uh, earning yeah. his dues today he's definitely not calling <laughs> Not sure why we uh, asked for a count. He could do. 89 suited, I suppose, maybe. He's a playable hand, but I'm not. says Ludo what you got behind <laughs> by about a million I know snap they eventually falls just Kev and Michael Clark Mikey from Blackpool he's won a GKPT before his dad Brian has won a GKPT before I think it's still the first still the same first father and son to win titles can he get out of this one do well, two tower, I'll tell you that. Oh, we've got outs. Yeah, direct out now. Two jacks to hit. We can see one's left in the deck. Can Mikey Clark find the one out up to keep the dream alive? Still the same scenario. Well, Mikey Clark will be leaving with £6,250. It's a queen, the wrong paint. Unlucky, Mikey Clark from Blackpool. Ace Jack against the boots of Ludo. So Mikey, £6,250. We're down to eight. Unlucky, Mike. Great effort. And well played. Nice 
When's the next giveaway? What should we say? Oh, five. Oh, five's good. Oh, five. We've only got one left tower, but it's the big E, it's the closer seat. Is there two tokens to give away for that one, or just uh, one? And we got a 50 euro as well, but I was going to do a spot prize a bit. Like Alright, that's fair enough then, you do a spot prize maybe with a 50. Close the ticket at 5.30. And the password, if you want to play it on the free roll, it is Cha Cha. I was in like the dance. Yeah, no, I just realised, Tower, the Wanderer never put anything in the chat regarding Alias. Oh, the Wanderer. We might have another token to give away. The Wanderer, you got five minutes. The Wanderer. You have got about five. What did you win? Uh, 100. About a 100 euro token. I've just hit Control F on uh, Twitch. Did not put his username in, so maybe guessed and tuned out. So, well, if he's not here in five minutes, if Mackham's Mackham's in the chat, you get it. Another sweat for the uh, Sunderland fan. He'll turn up in four minutes and in 58 seconds, won't he? <laughs> Where's the Wanderer? The Mackham's Mackham's ready. The Wanderer 87, are you still watching? Where was his guess on? Was it on Twitch? Yep, it was on Twitch and never put the alias in. So I'm going to give him five minutes. And if he's not here, Mackham's Mackham. Yep. By default. Yep. Well, because Sunderland never win out. <laughs> give the tokens to the people that watch after not just come for the giveaways put their guests in disappear yes, yes exactly exactly don't just guess and leave you're here for the free roll we want people who are watching all day long to be winning the, the free roll tickets four three suited <clears throat> for kev mudo 1.4 million hour tower good for over a third of the chips in play with eight remaining the free roll is on Grosvenor Poker. Aaron Ludo just going after Kev here. King 7 half. Kev way out of line with the open. He gets punished. Richie Burner watches all the time and still never won now. <laughs> up to no good and Ludo straight in with the punishment as the chip leader just taking the king blocker and using it I haven't got anything on the GUKPT account whispers and when Mick the mod tagged them Abba Canary they didn't reply yep so I'll give him till five past. I'll mention it again, and if not, we're just going to have to give it to Mackham's Mackham's as he was also one off with the guests. Just lost the red or black flip. Seven eight two for Callum. <clears throat> Opens. I'm not sure we get to open here as Callum Tower. Um, you've got Riggy sitting there with 10 BBs. You've got Ludo, who we's, we're aware is just getting after it. And again, like we're just going to get punished so often now. And Ludo, Ace 5 Ot just making it 68k. And this is going to be working. Callum can't do anything. But I think we want to fold this one here, Tower. Even Matt dropped down. The south of 30 now. 
but Riggy, the main factor sitting there with 10 bigs and even bigger factor actually should be that Ludo is just going to be taking any little spot he gets, any ace, any king, maybe even dipping into the suited queens, just going after it. Oh, well, Callum is going to come along here, Tower, with the 7-8 suited. Wants to see a flop against a near three and a half x three bet. Going to tangle with Ludo out of position here. <laughs> Queen seven three all diamonds. Redraw for Ludo. The column hits the flop. Really small size here from Ludo, should see on the mono in the three bet coup. Don't think we want to go no more than quarter. There it goes less than quarter, 20% <coughs> almost on the nose. And now this is the problem with Callum. Like, we're, we're out of position, we're going to be getting barrel sent in from Ludo. Very difficult to know where we're at because his three bet range is going to be insanely wide. And with a hand like 7-8 suited tower, we're going to have a lot of decisions like this. Mediocre holdings, middle pairs, gut shots, up and downs. Like, going to be in a lot of tough scenarios. And now Ludo just going to be double barrel in here. Tower on this deuce of hearts. Ace of diamonds in hand. Like Callum can't really have too many flushes with queen of diamonds on board. He has king jack of diamonds, king ten of diamonds, jack ten of diamonds, ten nine of diamonds. And that should be about it, because you don't expect him to even peel 10 nine of diamonds, actually. I know he's got 7-8 of hearts here, but so I probably wouldn't expect Callum to peel as wide yeah. as that once he opens under the gun and we free bet from LP. So, big turn bomb now from Ludo, and just putting on a big stack clinic here, Tower. That's what we're seeing. As Dan says, Ludo putting on a big stack clinic. Yeah, tough for Callum to be calling. Chips Spencer it off the cards. Off. Means one thing. Flick them in the muck. Yeah, and why I'm, I probably wouldn't open. And then I probably wouldn't call the free bet because mm. it's just so hard to navigate out of position versus a guy that's just going to be putting chips in with such a large proportion of his range. And credit to Ludo once again. Taking it down with the worst of it. And up to 1.5 milli, and there's a round of applause for Keith Littlewood down round. There we go. More well on Keith. Keith has been to the Keith double. Well done, Keith. Keith in the cup. Yeah, yeah. I'll send you Keith double. Oh, second. Andrew Aspinall was second. David Johnson was third. Andy Bradshaw was fourth. Laurinaeus Jukaitis was fifth, Darren Naylor was sixth, Will McMurray seventh, and Mark Whitney was eighth. <laughs> nice round of applause for Keith. Well done, Keith. Shame none of his uh, fellow Man United fans are doing that at uh, Old Trafford today. What's that? Round of applause. Round of applause. They're losing, aren't they? Or is it, is I think it, so. Or is it 1 1? No, no, no. 2 1 at half time. Yeah, I thought it was 2 1. 2 1 at half time. Just like West Ham, and then West Ham will short top. <laughs> <laughs> 45 minutes later, West Ham didn't win. <laughs> Ludo opening with the ace nine here, man. Everyone just aware. You just got to let Ludo run the show. King seven off for Callum. Word is cha 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 cha. I've got to think of a question for you. Go oh, heck. Might need some paper as well. That will do. That helps. Oh, we have paper. 
We've got 20 minutes. 20 minutes, 5.30 we said, and that's exactly when we're doing it. Five. How many games did Duncan Ferguson play for Lossy Mouth? <laughs> Spartak Moscow, Lev Yashin. Close. It's not close. Close. Dynamo I don't Moscow. even think Spartak Moscow was a was a was a team back then. It wasn't. It wasn't. I was thinking of the old European Cup. <laughs> old Lev Yashin. How do you play football in a flat cap? Uh, no response from Wanderer, and I can actually see who's watching on Twitch as well, and they're not in the chat. So, Macam's Macam, drop me your alias, and you are the winner of the 100 euro Bounty Hunter Series main event ticket. And that will be in your account on Monday. Macam, Macam, no S in the middle. Capital M. Nice one, Macam. Macam, Macam. Always nice that you think you haven't won anything and oh, you, you, yeah. you lost the flip for 100 euro token and then suddenly you get it back. And a bit of action here because Stato's up and down with a pair of sixes and Peter's flopped top pair with a nut kick up. Stato starts with check call, seems fairly standard. Heading to the turn. <coughs> Just the three of hearts. Looks like Peter going to send in another street here. Fairly small size, 35k. Slightly more than third. Stato still with his up and down here. Now getting this price, not going to be going anywhere. Nearly 4 to 1 on the call. Probably need like 20, 23, uh, 22, 23% equity here. And <coughs> if our 6 is live, our 9 is live, and our 4 is live, we're going to be getting the right price because we'd have 10 outs at 2.4% each. So, nice easy call to the river. It's a big brick. Deuce of hearts. And Stato checking again. And is Peter going to go for the third street here with the top pair, not kick up? Or is he going to just check it back and take what's in the middle here? Do open ourselves up sometimes to get him bluffed when we elect to go for the third street here. Fires for 50k. It was such a small size here. Once again, giving Stato over 4 to 1 on a call. But what on earth would he have as a bluff for this size? You just can't really find anything. You'd expect if he had like a 10 9 suited, a jack 9 suited, a jack 10 suited, that he'd elect for a bigger size when electing to triple here. So it does just look a lot like a value bet which Stato is going to pay and going to see the bad news. Peter gets some. Value on the end with the ace eight suited. Well played, Peter. Nice three streets there from him. And we don't know much about him. So, Peter, up to half a mil. 56,150 and the trophy. 42,080 pounds per second. Oh no. Oh no. What's happened now? Vanessa says J. Uh -oh. Dot, dot, dot. Uh oh. Oh no. What have I done? <laughs> <laughs> Passwords, cha cha. Small C, cha cha. Um, Peter, seen him limp already. Gonna go for a limp again. This time, King Seven suited. Sends it in. I just sub nine. I'm going to be getting this one through his pool rig. Vanessa has a question. Go on, Vanessa. I hope it's not how many appearances did Lev Yashin have for Spartak Moscow. <laughs> we know the answer. It's none. Any 
You want to tell me what app to download for the free roll? Grovna Poker. Grovna Poker. Go on to GrovnaCasino.com if you're on a laptop. Or, or uh, a, one other way of doing it, Jaila, you can just go onto your browser, your Safari on your on your phone, type in Grovna Casinos, uh, log in via there, and you can actually access uh, access the the client via a, uh, a browser. So if you go on like your Safari on your phone, type in Grovna Casinos, yeah. log in via the poker, and then you can get in that way as well. Aces for Stato. Nice. Meant to block me, because that has got aces. <laughs> Three bets to sixty two. <coughs> hand over. Three Password is Cha Cha. C H A C H A Cha Cha. Quite a good question as well. Okay. Quite right. a good question. Should they just give Ludo the trophy? He says, man of straw. Just give him the trophy. The rest of your chop the left. The rest we can go home. It's St Paddy's Day. We'll all go out. Uh, yes, Vanessa, exactly that. The 8-7 suited hand, like, at the start of a tournament, like, we'd open it from under the gun, but because we're on the final table and we're sat middle of the pack as Callumore, and uh, Riggy sat there with 12, Matt was sat there with South of 30, and the, the important factor as well, Ludo is just getting after it, and you can clearly see that as well, like just sat at the table, we can see that Ludo is putting pressure on. <coughs> he is good. Who was 50 to 1? Keith Johnson in seat number 1. The grey air millionaire. He had 53,000 at the start of the day. His first hand when he was all in at 43,000 and then he doubled up again and it's just continued from there. It's 10 for Callum. The one we can open. Or for 45. And always nice when Ludo's in the small as well tower to open because this is the position he's going to be less inclined for getting after it. Two, two. I, I think that, that <laughs> could be 2-2. Two, two. <laughs> That's definitely 2-2. Two, two. There's a massive cheer just gone up in the, in the casino. There's thousands of Man United fans here in Blackpool. And here we go, Tower. Riggy flops a nut flush draw. Callum Gordon with second pair here. And I'm assuming we're going to see Riggy check jam. And I'm guessing Callum is going to be check calling because Riggy can have King Jack, Jack 9. He can have some worse 10x. He can have flush draws. So 22k from Callum. I'm assuming it's going to be an all-in from Paul Rigg. And I'm guessing Callum always calling off here. He's asking for a count, but 
when Riggy's this short, should be check shoving a lot more than just the queen. And we're actually in great shape as well because the ace is locked. And there's the call, so Paul Rigg could be the second casualty here at the final table and he doesn't like what he sees because now knows he needs a spade. And there's only six of them left. Can he survive? All in for his 93. <clears throat> Local legend, Paul Rigg. Come on there, Riggy. Oh, the A's 10. Doesn't make a difference. Queen would be so fun. Oh, oof. Oh, it's a spade, a spade. For Riggy. Riggy finds the flush on the end. Big puff out of air. And back to 24 big blinds. Paul Rigg still in. I'm not sure about that question, Jyla. I don't play on it enough to actually know the ins and outs, whether it will open automatically when you go back to the app. Yeah, I like I like Fold here as Kev Tower. I know it sounds too tight, but I think seven's here. One that we could just be folding as Kev Howland at a final table specifically, facing an under the gun open from a range that should be really tight. Like Keith, Keith's at bottom here. Literally King Queen off his bottom for Keith. Don't open King Jack off, I don't think. Uh, but he's gonna get involved with the walking sticks. He's Ludo in with the ace nine suited on the button. And Matt not been able to get anything going so far this final table. It does defend the 4-3 off here. I'm surprised to see this four way. Four way to a flop. And Ludo flops best. Is King Six. <clears throat> Not sure what Kev's up to here, Tower. I can't really give you any explanation to why we would bet here as Kev. going to fold the ace nine suited mm. and it, that'll work it is going to work it's definitely going to work that one for Kev um, well I'm so surprised he bet tower because once we bet into three players there mm. like significant strength we're showing and it does pay dividends in the end going for the stab there with the seven so Kev gets two better hands out of there Ludo just folding top pair not putting a penny in with position getting three to one on a call did still have two players behind him, but I thought we'd be seeing one streak off to the turn for sure. Yeah. Didn't Sunday in the chat have 2-2? Two, two? 
Earlier. Uh, yeah. Sure oh, make, make, the mod. Curtis, it? make the mod. Make the mod. Make oh, the mod. Oh, he's gone to play both. Make the mod back 2 2. Back 2 2. Very nice, make the mod. I know he's not watching, this is in the pub. Curtis still back to it, no doubt. That's to what. Yeah. Curtis done a bet builder. He, he done a 2 2. He done McAllister to score. He done Salah to score. He done uh, Anthony to score. How many cards have there been? Do you think he had McTominay as well? Yeah, McTominay was in there. Wow. That's a start out of the way with the 10 9 off. Seventy one, hi guys to new to Twitch, loving the stream. Nice one, Evie. Welcome to Blackpool. Make sure you give us a follow, Evie. Absolutely. If you're watching on Twitch, you can subscribe, follow. Every time we go live, you'll get a notification. And it's a great time to tune in because we've got a giveaway in five minutes. And we're on the final table and crowning a champion sometime tonight. How does Matt do it all the time, says Stuart? We don't know. We do not know. We just don't know. <clears throat> nice little turn card for Keith. Does pick up flush draw and will draw. Off the flop went check, check. Okay, from Matt and Keith, always continuing. I could be wrong, but could could we ever think of raising in position with this hand, this particular combo? Maybe a bit far fetched, but if we're going to try and find bluffs, like can't just raise our value in position, need some bluffs as well. And this seems like a tidy little candidate to use as Keith. Should have been 3 2 United. Mm. Keith not calling him a jack height. That takes it. This is awful. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Man Manchester through and through, Marcus Rashford. Well, to be fair, Kev, you would have heard us from Essex with Keith Littlewood in this casino. Man, you just scored in the last minute. You, you would have heard Keith Littlewood from Essex. Yeah. Is it extra time and penalties today, or is it just like. Extra time pens, ain't it? Is it, or is it not a replay? I thought you, I thought you said well, don't they do replays anymore? What does it just go to? Oh no, that's the League Cup that just goes to pens, isn't it? I thought the FA Cup was just replay. Is it just a replay? <laughs> the, se the semi don't replay, does it? No, it's that's Wembley. Wembley. Yeah, it's that's Wembley. Yeah, extra time pens. Extra time and penalties. I think I'm going to do FA Cup replays then. Wow. I did not know that. Why would you get rid of replays? Why? Let's do about a small club, bring them back to your own ground. Yeah. Completing for 5k. Queen 3 off for Callum. One that we could potentially dip into. Get after it with. From the big hit. He's just going to check his option. Fixture congestion is the reason there's no more replays. Oh, okay. So basically they're looking after the top clubs. Oh, there was replays in the earlier legs, I see. Cheers, HSP. So 
Keith with a little stab with his pair of sixes. Count them out of there with queen high. So one more hand, guys, and then we're going to the final. One more hand. Tower thinks of the festival. Huzzah! Callum chooses to raise this one up, makes it 35k, and she's going to be in the hand, start on her and Bruce off. Cannot do anything. You didn't win the previous giveaway, Kev. My guess was 140. I went with 140. Where is Cal? Says Josh. Uh, Cal had to shoot home earlier in the week, got a call, uh, had to go back. I think uh, went to the hospital when the missus obviously got a baby on the way. Thankfully, Jen's all good, and uh, I think she got sent back home, so he's just at home with the, the other half. He's got a baby due very soon, and um, was here earlier in the week. Actually, final table of the Turbo, the one event, or two. He played a couple of events, but one of the events he did get to play, surprise, surprise, final tabled it and won it. I'm saying he was good. What a shock. He was good as an assistant coach, like a coach beside yeah. Gerald. Yeah. And he, he knew how to do his job. Yeah. And the minute he got the manager job, he wasn't manager. Because yeah. he's not got any authority in the dressing room. But he did Can all you right imagine him shifting? And then, shit. So a giveaway coming up after this hand, guys. £110 closer seat, up for grabs. How are you doing, Amir? Yeah, Ludo still smashing it from yesterday. Absolute monster chip stack. Playing the big stack very well at this final table. Opens the suit of Queen now, raises the 20. And Callum with fours on the button. Just probably want to fold these. And the payouts are at the bottom of your screen, scrolling along. And that was like free as well, yeah. Everyone agrees, Basically, they should have sacked the guy that signed the contract or something. They should have sacked something. With a bit of money to lost. Yeah. Kept defending the 9 at 5 is suited and nice looking flop for Ludo. Flop's a flush draw, but going to be hand over nonetheless. Do just expect Chet Bet fold. And then it's giveaway time. There's the check. Here comes the bet. There goes the fold. So, guys. Yes. What's happening? Final tower thinks of the festival. Da, da, da. I've got a 110 closer seat to give away. The biggie. Like save, it. save the best for the last. Close uh, on tomorrow at 7. And don't forget it's a two day event. 
two day event two day comp on Grosvenor Poker quick rundown of the rules if you're new to the stream uh, you get one guest per account any multiple guesses you will be disqualified uh, no they, they were miles off so I didn't even bother to be fair but uh, one guest per account if you guess twice you'll be disqualified thank you you were looking for Tower's answer closest to Tower's answer is going to win the token I'll ask him a question he will write it down you want closest to Tower's answer actually, you actually might need a big one um and do not guess until Tower has wrote his answer down. Wait until I say go, please. I don't want you giving him any clues because he can see the chat box. You can guess on Facebook, YouTube and Twitch. Wherever Mr. you want. Mr. Neil Jukes. Uh, so, Tower. Yes. In the United Kingdom. Yeah. Approximately. Yeah. How many people. Yeah. Have the surname. Yeah. Smith. Best friend. In the United Kingdom. Oh, a lot. Approximately. How many people have the surname Smith. So you got John, you got Steve. You got, you got Alan. Well, that's three. Yeah, that's three already. Wow. So. <laughs> How many Smiths? It used to be the most commonest name, but now it's probably not. Kevin, you got Kevin Smith. Kevin! Towers guesses in. You can go. God go, help you go. all. God help you all. Back to the action. Wow. I have no idea. Can't be that many. Not at all. <coughs> Can't be that many. So, get your guesses in. How many Smiths do I think there are in the United Kingdom? In the said? United Kingdom. In the UK. I know it used to be the most commonest name in the phone book when the phone book was like in the popular in the 70s and 80s. That's all I know, really. So, how many Smiths do I think there are in the United Kingdom? So scrolling down, by heck, that could be miles out here. We'll get out of the way. Kev with the King Jack on the button opens to 23 over to Ludo in the big. Queen 10 offsuit. I think one just happy to defend and head to post flop. Let's make the kill. Top pair for Kev. Ludo with the gut shot. Kev going to continue. Goes for 40%. Check raise with his gutter ball here, <clears throat> making it 63k. Oh, 
careful with top pair. Not going to be going anywhere. One that we're going to have to strap him. <coughs> going to be calling. Off to the turn. The question is, how many Smiths in the United Kingdom? How many people with a surname Smith in the United Kingdom? <coughs> we already went for a through. We, we rattled a few off your tower. Gave you a little yes, helping hand. at least five. I also forgot about John Jacob Jingleheimer. I forgot about him. That's not Smith. It is, ain't it? John Jacob, that one. You remember it? What? The, the song that goes, John Jacob, is it Jingleheimer Smith? I've never heard of that one. <laughs> never. John Jingleheimer, it's not a Smith. John Jacob Jingleheimer Smith, I'm sure there's a song that says if that. If you're having a guess, it's more than five. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. That's the clue. No, the clue is, it's more than five. Oh, there's the call from Kev. Head to the turn. Now, is it going to be shut down from Ludo or are we going to continue running it here with the Queen 10? Not the best turn to go after it on because do reduce some value combos that we would check raise on the flop. Would defend 9 deuce suited, would defend King deuce. But we'll also have some top pairs in there like King Queen, King Jack that we may elect to raise for value against Button specifically. Uh, the question is, how many Smiths in the United Kingdom? How many people with a surname Smith in the United Kingdom? How many do I think there are? The correct answer will be on its way soon. Is that a real song? Or, that's where it's from. Thanks, guys, chat box. Child of memory unlocked. It's from Recess. Recess? There's no wonder I didn't get it. So this, this hand's over, just all in Kev. Fold from Ludo, we're well, not all in. Gonna go for... And that's Smith. 100k, it's the same that's thing. That's not Smith. It's German Smith, isn't it? That's minus one, that's not Smith. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's where it's from, recess. I knew it's from somewhere. The question is, how many Smiths does Tower think there are in the UK? So I guess this is, this is on the old census then, is it? <laughs> So, the correct answer, yeah. uh, this is an approximation, including, uh, according to Google, is half a million. Any tells? Any tells? We'll give you about three more minutes, guys. Go on. You can still get a guess in if you haven't guessed as of yes, yet. Hello, Kendo. What, what a... Unbelievable memory unlocked. <laughs> what a niche reference. <laughs> uh, what, what other poker streams are talking about recess that was on Disney no, Channel? Like, like, no, no one, are they? Absolutely not. That's why we're the best. And we do still have one more spot prize to give away after this one is done, guys. But that can come at any point between now and one in the morning. You just have to stay tuned and hopefully you're watching. Recess was classic British culture, says Rory. I, I agree. It was it was the show when I was a kid. Really? The show that everyone watched, yeah. You remind me a bit of Mikey, actually, from Recess. Who? Mikey. Honestly, I don't know what you're on about. <laughs> Ludo pocket fires <laughs> just going to be. I have no idea what you're on about. Easy all in for Ludo. I think Riggy's sub 20. We have a pocket pair. Just so easy to move in. Easy decision. does get that one through because we didn't go post we'll give you one more hand guys and then I'm closing the giveaway and the password is cha cha for the six o'clock free roll 
tell what it's there for, Mikey? Yeah, Mikey was like the, the lovable one of the group. Like everyone loves him, always kind, but is it dim? He could eat like anything. Oh get in, that's me. Literally he that's could eat me. he could eat like anything, Tower. Oh, that's me. I and, know, and there, there was. A, and, and I know you said you come and play football. There's an episode where he goes in goal and he's like Lev Yashin Prime. <laughs> honestly, he's Lev Yashin Prime. There's an episode of Recess. Mikey's in goal and he turns into Prime Lev Yashin. <laughs> Pocket Queens for Callum. Yeah, it was great when we had Ludo in the booth. And that was Manchester this year. That was in Manchester. So we'll get your last guesses in. Break every level. Is that Lev Yashin in Spartak Mascro Prime or not? <laughs> <laughs> oh my word and this is the only way we're really going to get <coughs> all in and calls to our when we're this deep yeah. pre-flop yeah. when we get the classic setup, the classic. classic race ace king for Matt and we probably just send for 27 tower I don't think we're going to do any free bet not all in from out of position here as Matt Davenport's a huge flip coming up for these two we get it on a regular basis but we're now we've got it on the final table in Blackpool the best race there is, Callum Gordon, Queens, Matt Davenport, Ace King. It's the flip of flips. Wow. How many times do we see it? How many times do we see it? Here we go. Here we go. Callum Gordon. And Matt Davenport, what are they, top two or three in the leaderboard between they're, them? They're joint second. There's point one point between them. Really? Yep. Wow. Good start for Callum. Yep. Just fading this ace or king. Well, an ace or a king needed. An ace or a king needed for Matt Davenport or Callum Gordon is going to take him out. It's the five, it's as low as you get. Ace King, no good for Matt Davenport. Well played, Matt. And he shakes the hand of Callum Gordon and says, congratulations, Matt, 7,120 pounds. Well played, Matt. Another great run from Matt. Uh, right, guys, I'm giving you 10 seconds before we close the giveaway. If you haven't got a uh, guessing yet, all you need to do is guess how many Smiths Tower Fink are in the UK. Surname Smith, how many does Tower Fink are in the UK? That Liverpool are winning. Liverpool are winning? That Man United, aren't they? We were no shouting then, was they? Didn't hear anything. We are nout. Ewan says, first time I've seen Matt losing all in. <laughs> <laughs> so get your guests in we better, we better close the comp because it's uh, make the mods yep. in the pub getting drunk as soon as this first card comes off the top of the deck I'm putting close comp in the chat box yep five seconds four three two one get it closed there we go comp is closed no more so after this hand we will reveal the winner and then we will just concentrate on the final table. Oh, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Wait, wait. Got to feed the team. Oh, thanks to Kev Blow, by the way, for the donuts. There's one. Oh, the way, there's one missing. Well, well me. Don't look at me. Oh, oh, what was that? Don't be looking at me. Kev Blow turned up with donuts. Thanks, Kev. Is he still in the seniors? He won it two years ago. <laughs> Did you say clomp? Clomp. Close the clump. <laughs> <laughs> or did I say clump? One of us obviously said clump. Oh, I've typed it. Oh, you clump typed is clump. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's not even good with keyboards, this man. Forget about new technology. He can't even work a normal keyboard. <laughs> I was <laughs> typing over everything. Ace nine for Ludo opens to 20k. Keith in the big blind not going to be defending here. So, Tower. Yes. 
Smith's in the UK. Yes. Did you have any sort of inkling of where we'd start? I knew I knew they had a lot of names in the 70s and 80s with the old phone, because they used to be the most popular name in the phone book. When you, have you ever seen a phone directory? Telephone directory? Ever heard of them? I've heard of them. The yellow pages, they right? Used to, no, no, no. no. That, that was for businesses. Oh, OK. So to phone book, it used to be Smith's, and there used to be a lot of Smith's in there. used to be that most popular name and all that. Somebody on... Uh, Somebody on the uh, world, what were they doing? <coughs> anyway, so, I thought it was a lot then, but I didn't think it'd be a lot now compared to the population. So I went for like 1% of the population, which is about 60 mil, so that'd be 600,000, but then I didn't even think it was that many, so then I went a bit less. So I ended up with less than that, so I ended up with... 470,000 Smiths in the census. That wasn't bad. Yeah, great guess. Great guess. I was shocked when he wrote that down. I thought he'd go millions, I did. Honestly, I thought he'd go millions. I didn't think anybody's got <coughs> 1% of the, of the names in the country. But for 470k, great effort from the tower. And the main thing is, someone's going to be winning themselves. £110, close a ticket, and that someone... Who is it? Is. Is. Ian Roberts. Oh. Six bet Ian. Six bet Ian, 475k he guessed, he was 5k off. Ian Roberts, see you in the closer tomorrow well, night. Let us know how you get on. Give us your alias. I think I know Ian. Is that Blue Nosey Everton Blue, fan? Blue Monty and some numbers, I Blue believe. Blue Monty something. He'll put it in the chat for us. Well done, Ian. Well done, uh, Ian. We don't have any more Tower or J Finks for the day, but we have one spot prize for a 50 euro token that can drop at any time today yep. on stream. Awesome. As Peter opens the Ace Queen from plus two. Good stuff. What would you like? I'm your empty glass. Are you with the cheese? I'll tidy up after you. Are we in a break soon? Uh, no, we uh, because we come back with 40 minutes on the clock. Yeah. Uh, we played 40 minutes. We played another hour, which is this hour, ah, and then right. we're going to play another hour after. Right. Got so you. we're not going on break after this level. Get a nice long session in. That's what we want. Keep everyone tuned in in the chat. There we go. Um, Good job, you're in there. Uh, the correct answer for the Smiths was half a million. Tower put 470k. No idea where he found that one from. Ta da! Every blind squirrel and all that. All the blind squirrels. I still didn't get it correct. Nobody's got one spot on. 470,000, that's what we got. And that's what we guessed. He's gone with the empties. Good lad. Harry Turnbulls did put 500,000, you did, that was the correct answer, but that wasn't the answer we wanted. Blue Monty 2, cheers Ian. Last one morphed into the Vegas trip, did it really? Where were the lads, where were, where were, where were the lads pint in Vegas for it then? Oh, we the trip to Vegas on one of our quizzes. Oh. I don't know, thanks Jonathan. I don't very often get close. Like ever. <laughs> Never get close. So well done on the ticket, Ian. Blue Monty is going to be playing the closer. to play the free roll. <coughs> if you are going to play the free roll, good luck. Matt out in eighth. 
Ace King against Queens. It happens so many times on the live stream. Best race in the game. Callum Gordon coming off better that time. Casting the closer and then using for a crack at the Vegas game. Fantastic effort, Ian. I bet I've delivered 500. <laughs> I'll tell you what, would have done in my time, the old John Smiths. Big John, big bad John. Uh, the free roll password is cha cha, as in the chat chat slide, as in the chat chat dance. Famous to Blackpool, cha cha, C H A C H A. I don't think there's any caps. Chat cha. You can play it on your mobile device, you can play it on your laptop, play it on your iPhone, your iPad, whatever you want to play it on. Get yourself in, get yourself playing the live stream. Free roll starts at six. Here we go, flop. Just a royal redraw. For Stato. Down to the turn, down to the river. I know Kev's got called in, but I just overbet this. Overbet this. Click the tournaments in the search, right free roll to find the free rolls on the six o'clock one. The live stream free roll at six o'clock. Password chat chat. C H A C H A. Blinds up. happened we know what's just happened it's 3-3 three, three. <laughs> there must be a gazillion Man United fans watching the match in the bar area what a game though he's going to tell us here he comes with the news that it's definitely 3-3 three, three. Uh, it's definitely 3-3 <laughs> did you hear the cheer because I, I, as I was getting the tees Keith was there sitting there watching the football yeah. I go well done for winning the mini he goes, well, it could have been a perfect day, but it's looking like it's not going to go. Well, you never know. And then 10 seconds later, <laughs> boom. <laughs> boom. Oh, man. A lot of cheering going on there. Huge cheer in the club. A lot of Man United fans. Up the red, Stevie D. Shabba. Poker Kel, love the match and the live stream. Try to watch both. <laughs> we get the cheers, that's the thing, yeah. you see. We, we only get the cheers when Man United score. So there's been, there's been, there's been three goals in the game and we've not heard a thing. 
He's literally when Man United. To, to be honest, when we were on break and Liverpool uh, equalised 1 1, you cheered like no one's ever cheered before. You're the biggest person. Everyone turned around and looked at you. You were jumping around like, like you just won a million. Well, it feels like it. <coughs> what was it? 50 to 1 bet builder. Yep. Two quid or something. Yep. 100 pounds. Yep. Classic tower. There you go. And he's jumping around the casino. <laughs> we only needed one and it came in. Uh, password for the free roll at eight is char char. Char char. C H A C H A. I've got my nice cup of char char. <laughs> Your nice cup of Charlie. <coughs> Old Charlie Lee. <laughs> and good luck if you're playing the free roll. Good luck, everybody. Mikey Clark in ninth, Matt Davenport in eighth. <laughs> to the left, take it back now, y'all. <laughs> Everybody, clap your hands. I think this is one we go for the raise, not all in here, to our up with the 10 4 as Ludo. But, yeah, against Riggy stack size, obviously, don't want to jam. Uh, this is the polar spot. We'll have like the aces, the ace king, two, the kings, the queens, the jacks. And then we'll roll in some of this stuff as well. Want to be really polar in this spot as Ludo against Riggy stack size. Starting the hand with just 13, 14 bigs. Riggy going to come to the party with a 6-5. Something that is really intriguing on, on this board now, Tower. Like, Ludo's going to shove a lot of his ace -X. Like, he won't shove the strongest ones, but like the ace dudes, the ace three, the ace four. He's just going to set Riggy in. And same with a lot of the king X as well at this stack depth. from Riggy, aware of this, with his bottom pair, do expect him to be coming along for one more street, as he does. The Queen of Clubs turn. Now, another overcard, 2R6 to contend with, and Ludo picking up the gut shot here. Going to send in the double barrel with the 10-4. Which he does. And just gets Riggy off the six. Power poker. Dabba do, says Stephen Diamond. <laughs> How are you, Stevie? Yeah, it's more like, obviously, you're quite right. The old shabba. Hope things are good, pal. See you soon. Hopefully. Is that where Barney Rubble's from? Yabba dabba do. <laughs> Just going to give Keith the walk. You're in the Middle East, they can't watch the Flintstones, don't you? But I've never yeah, I, know, I knew the joke. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. Ha ha. Well, your joke, that, yeah? Your material? No. Nope. None of our material. None of that. Get yourself in the free roll. Get yourself on your the poker. Get yourself. Chances to win closer tickets. Ace 
King Suter for Ludo in the cutoff. It's just not fair when he's got all these chips and you dish him Ace King Suited. Time in, picks Ouch. the ace four off. I'm gonna yeah. run right into it. A Ludo here, raising the eyebrows, and Riggy with the ace four. Gonna to need to find a three out, or otherwise, we're gonna be down to six tower. We'll be down to six at six. Six at six. That could be a program somewhere. Has nobody ever picked up on that? <laughs> six at six. A couple of chop outs and some runners available for Riggy. But would love to just see a four roll off on this turn. Mm. Well, it's an ace. And it's a club. So, club. Three would chop. Ace would chop. Four would do it. And it's a queen. So, going to lose Riggy. From the tournament, great run from Paul Rigg out in seventh for eight thousand three hundred and eighty pounds, but well down done, Riggie. to six players now. Well done, the Rigster. Great effort, and we're on six. Quentin has found the free roll. Oh! That's United winning. <laughs> United have beat Liverpool 4 3. The screen. Absolute carnage in the car room. Wow. <laughs> God, there's a lot of shouting. I tell you what, that's just erupted. Bet Keith Littlewood. He goes, perfect day to me about 10 minutes ago when they're losing 2 1. He goes, shame it's not the perfect day. 10 minutes later, 4 3 United. <laughs> wow. Six seven suited from Ludo. Opens the 24k. Keith on the button, just gonna relinquish the fives. And Callum makes five suited in the small blind here. Oh, wow. We'll be continuing. Just whether he does want to get aggro versus Ludo. And this this isn't the worst three bet spot here, Tower. There's Callum, because Ludo from cutoff probably gonna be opening like 70% of range and only a small proportion of that will continue versus our free bet, but can just do this as Callum play flat with the ace five suited. And starting with ace ten in the big. And once again, really intricate spot sees how to proceed as Stato. I think just call is probably the way forward here, Tower. If we had like ten BBs less. Maybe we can work with Jam. And I think Defend maybe. No, he's going to go for the, the squeeze. He's going to get aggressive with the Ace 10 off, making it 100k. Seven suited at this stack depth, even with position here. And he's going to use a time bank over it, whether to continue or not. Stato just recognising that Ludo here going to be opening super wide. Expect Callum just to free bet his strong hands, never play any traps, so just using the ace 10 off and squeezing it out actually seems really good. If we had like 10 bigs less, I guess we can just play jam. That is going to squeeze for 25% of his stack. And say that, Tower. Uh, looks like Ludo has got ideas about coming along. Call him with the 6-7 of diamonds. Oh, in he comes. 
with a 6-7 suited and means we're going to be going to flop with like 1.3 SPR here now. Obviously as chip lead up, when we're this runaway chip leader we do get to continue wide up. 6-7 suited is in there. 70k. Looks like tiny continue here from Stato. Is that 50k? Around 20%? I'm sorry, 70k. So just south of third. And Ludo not going anywhere after flopping pair and some delicious backdoors. It does make the call. Let's pick up one of them back doors. Got shot on the turn now for Ludo to go with his pair of sixes. Really difficult for Stato to continue here, Tower, with another barrel. Once Ludo calls flop, we still do have all these nines through aces in our range for value, which would just shove turn. I prefer at least a bit more equity than just two overcards. Like maybe if this turn was a, a nine or a seven, giving us a smidge more equity in ter terms of a gut shot. And then I'll check it over to Ludo. And it's an interesting one for Ludo because I'm going to make the assumption that we've always got the best hand once Stato checks here because I just expect all of Stato's value to just move in on the turn. And it looks like Ludo comes to the same conclusion. And just sets it in with a 6 7 suited snap fold from Stato. Now, him, he sat with just sub 20. <clears throat> yeah, Keith Littlewood having a great day. Cup winner in poker and United won and beat Liverpool, the arch enemies. <coughs> Indeed, he is. What did he say to you? That be the icing on the cake. Three goals in extra time. That never happens. Forty minutes to go of this session. Twenty four. Yeah, Kev, don't think we get to defend this tower in this situation but we've seen Kev out and not afraid to get amongst it yeah happy to battle okay. and not going to be able to battle on this flop mm. nice Seabet candidate this as well king eight off king of spades eight of hearts seems like a very tidy one as Ludo I do just expect the continue so quite funny about this final table I actually can't recall a hand that Ludo's actually gone with check after being the opener. It just seems like he's had like 100% C bet or close to it this final table. He's relentlessly putting pressure on. And we have a Peter fan in the, in the, on YouTube. Where is he from? It's got to be Poland, right? Istvan? Where is Peter from? Says, hurrah, Why is he in Blackpool? 
as he as he lo as, as he changes location to Blackpool, does he live locally? Does he live in Manchester? As he qualified online. And Simon Prudis says, "What's at the back of Kev Stack? Looks like yellow chips, but surely all of those have been taken out of play by now." Um, it's something. I think it's medicine. He keeps smelling it. I think it's Vicks. All right. Yeah, he keeps uh, opening it and having a good whiff of it. So I think it's actually like Vicks. Guessing he's got a cold or something, but he keeps taking the top off, going, yeah. and then putting it back. So yeah. it's not chips. I think it's um, yeah, a tub of something. Tub of something. You smell. Tub of smelly stuff to clear the airways. I'm guessing. Uh, small C for Cha Cha. C H A C H A. Small C, all lowercase. He's not suited for Callum in the cut off. Callum runner up in this event last year, but did take the lion's share of the prize pool after a freeway chop. Losing to Ian Gascoigne, heads up. <coughs> Tiger bomb. There you go. just over of this session and then a well-earned break yeah long session this one two and a half hours as we come back from the FT for around 30 minutes to start and King 7 suited from Kev haven't seen much of this from him on the FT but straight away tower size is well out of whack here from Kev needs to be much larger we start the hand like 35 effective here. Like could could need to be at least 3x, minimum 75k here from Kev, because Callum just gets to continue basically the, all the hands he opens. We only really target like the, the raggy ace, ace X, the King X, raggy King X that aren't suited, but like any suited hand that Callum has opened, he now just gets to continue versus us as Kev. Like when free betting out of position, so important that we do size up, deter our opponent from coming along cheaply. <clears throat> now we get here, it does go check check on the flop. Eight of diamonds on the turn. I don't mind the free bet at all from Kev thinking seven. Might find its way in facing cut off. Just think size. Have to start betting now, bet. I think once it goes check check, could see the lay C bet here from Kev. Fold out some better king highs, fold out some ace highs, but not folding out ace high with the nut flush draw, that's for sure. Should be clear call from Callum with position. And an off so king for Kev Houghton. Kev Houghton with the off so king on the river. And now we're going to bet again. Yeah, 60 incoming, just on the third. in the pot, three betting pre, and then betting the turn, and the river, Callum with his ASI. <coughs> Callum with his ASI. Has to give it up, and Kev is second in chips to Ludo. Let's go Kev, Kev Horton. Is in the free roll. Oh, I was just about to show oh. something else. I was gonna. Go on, I was pulling up some ender mobs. The mobber. The mobber. There Who he is. Kev Allen. 
440k live earnings. He went missing for a few years, if I remember, Tower. Mm -hmm. This sort of period. Well, maybe he didn't. <laughs> I just I just recall not seeing him for like two... Oh, yeah, we were in lockdown, weren't we? That's probably why I didn't see him for two years. Did you see, did you see anybody <laughs> see me? Did you, did you see me? No? No? So that's Kev out and... Uh, I'll pull up everyone's Hendam as the final table plays out. But there's Kev, 439k in live earnings. And Bound. a picture that actually looks like him. Can everyone else take note? <laughs> everyone take note of Kev. He's yes, actually Keith. got an up-to-date picture. Keith. The second in chips now. Seven three off. Forget about blockers tower. Just going for power poker. And Kev gonna have a nice easy send here. Ten seconds. Second in chips, but Ace King suited here. Just too good to do anything but jam tower. Like what we're gonna we're gonna four bet to like two hundred and twenty K. I doubt it. So I think the only option we got as Kev is, is just to send here to our, I know it's a lot of BBs and we're sitting in chips, but when Ludo is going to be this wide, there's the all in from Kev. Going to be a snap foul from Ludo. Nice pick up from Kev. There we go. <coughs> Second in chips. Ludo getting after it there. Another man on this table with an unbelievable resume. Ludovic. Yeah, I, like. I like the online earnings as well. It's yeah, just amazing. it's nice, ain't it? Looking at the online. 4.1 milli. Ludo's biggest score. Where was it, Tower? 313k. How's your knowledge? 313? Yeah, Ludo's, that, big, that... Ludo's biggest score. Where was it? Vegas last year. It was the EPT. Was it? Yes, it was. EPT London in 2013. Well, it 19 to the world. Oh, yeah, because that was 300. What was his best score? Uh, three three hundred and thirteen thousand dollars. All oh, right, that's with the exchange rate. Right? I think you got about hundred and mm. oh, yeah. It didn't finish it. It didn't finish in the last three tables. It finished just in front of. <clears throat> What's my it's photo different. on Hendon, Bob? It's not happening. <laughs> it's not happening, Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> what you mean? I, you need to change yours I, as well. I haven't won anything. That's true. That's true. I'll tell you what, next good cash game session I have, I'll ask, the, I'll ask someone to take a picture of me with the <laughs> chips. <laughs> hey, Annette, what was Tyler's answer for the Smith surname? You had to go and eat your dinner. Uh, the correct answer was 500,000, and unbelievably, I guess 470. I'm sure he cheated somehow. <laughs> he had to have done. Gets it through. Uh, you have to email them, Mel. I guess that's that's that's, that's why nobody yeah, does it. That's why nobody does. If it was easy, and they made it easier to I'd put you a, a new picture on, everybody would do it. But you have to email them and send it to them, and they have to wait for them confirmation and send your picture and whatever. To, to be fair, if you're like a well-known player you will get your own one but it's usually a lot of them say have like the poker go emblem at the bottom right of them oh, just okay. they just obviously snapped it from there and mm. half an hour to go until the end of this session mm. we're going to 15 minute break or a 20 minute break or however, however long the break is yeah, free roll password is cha-cha cha-cha c-h-a-c-h-a 
I didn't like the slide. And I don't mean the Elter Skelter. <clears throat> Kev's got in distribution now. Here's Jack. And Flick's in a cool. Mixing it up. It's like he knows. Yeah, to be fair, we're not gonna we're not happy against Gun <laughs> Open from Stato off of this stack size. Twenty big should be pretty strong range to three back call this off tower. So I think the most viable option as Kev is just to play flat as he does with the ace jack of hots. Not a bad flop for uh, Andy Hume. Not just bad. Just, um, just a little above average. Yeah, pr pretty, pretty good tell. Not going to be reaction for Kev. Yeah, it should check it. Yeah, it should check as well. Gun versus plus one effective hijack six-handed, but Kev on our direct left. So now he does go with check. I'm going to get a little bit out of Kev with the ace jack of hearts. Easy fold for Callum. Mackham's Mackham won the M25, thinks. Yes. It was one off. 117 was the correct answer. Jay guessed 140. That was me lucky at Dan Peacock. <laughs> so, someone's just gone and looked at me end of my photo. It was. That was me lucky at. Yeah. Oh, he wasn't. Lost it. Bought a new one. Went to Mark Kelly's. Lost it. <laughs> I didn't lose that one. That was stolen. Someone nicked that out. <laughs> check, check, turn. Nine of clubs river. Flush does complete. The thing is, though, uh, like I think Stato still wants to go for value here because Kev's just going to knuckle back all his ASEX on this river, and Kev doesn't really have flushes here. Tower only some like minute combos: King Jack of clubs, Jack Ten of clubs, King Ten of clubs. That should it. That should be it. Uh, facing the gun open, so he's literally got three, maybe four combos of flushes here as Stato, and he's going to be a lot more weighted towards like ASEX kind of stuff. Queen X just going to continue barreling the turn, so I don't think we ever want to go for check raise here with Stato. And to be fair, actually, with what we're working with, just actually looked at the SPR, we've actually got just north of pot behind. I'm not sure if it will opt to go for the small size here. Just once Kev checked back turn, he's never got a queen here tower. And as I say, it's very difficult for him to have a flush. So I think this is the best way to go to Stato. Love this from him. Third pot size in. Really target these ASEX holdings. Very, very nice. We're on a delay, Peter. That's all the shouting in the uh, background. 20 minutes ago, Man United scored. <laughs> big fan of the size in here from uh, Stato Tower because I think a lot of people just see their hand and be like they want to go for the lot they recognise they got a round pot left and they're just like I'm all in but Stato just understanding the situation that Kev's not ever got a queen because he bets turn with that he hardly has any flushes because he calls our gun open on our direct left so a large proportion of his range is ASEX and this seems like the best size to really eke out a call from the ASEX holdings and Kev getting four to one. Gonna be difficult to get away from it, but obviously needs to be think about Stato's range after he elect to check call flop. Like not check call in flop with hand like kings or jacks and tens and then bet and river. And similar scenario to Kev with flushes, difficult for Stato to have too many flushes with specifically ace and queen of clubs on board. Into another time, mate. 
Jim Orton. I don't think he's folding tower when he's getting four to one, but as I say, it's very hard to think what stat he's got. Does he have a value bet ace 10, 10 of clubs? Is that ever a thing? Yeah, he makes the court. Sorry, screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. about it, but uh, see the bad news? Yeah, can't fault care for that one. No. Nope. At all tower, getting four to one, difficult to let it go once we check back turn. You're not in the squad again? <laughs> Yeah, we can hear the shouting live, obviously, when it came out on our stream. There were that many United fans in the card room. But uh, you've heard it twice now, Peter. <laughs> They've been winning 6-2 now. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like a right game, to be fair. 20 minutes to go until the end of this session. Line 6-12. 8-16 when we come back. 6-4 oh, clubs for Ludo. Opens to 24. Start with King 8 offsuit. Not sure if we're going to defend this one. Good luck, everybody, in the free roll. Password is cha cha, C H A C H A. Cha cha. Ooh, looks like he's going to have a double with the King 8 offsuit. Queen 9-2. I'm just going to be end of hand. As I said to her, I don't think I can't actually recall a pot when Ludo's been the aggressor. Heads up that he hasn't actually seen that. As expected, when we got the chip lead of this magnitude, it's just relentlessly keep putting chips in, applying the pressure, especially with how cagey it is between the rest of them now. The rest of the players, five or five to two or five, literally separated by no more than 15 bigs in the middle of that pack. And here comes the sea bet. 16k. Just going to be a fold from Stato. At least it should be. It is indeed. <coughs> Gov Shergill says, Man United are back. You heard it here first. Give him any contract you want. Rio Ferdinand is licking his lips. <laughs> They've won a game, have they? They've won one game. Can they catch you in uh, for, for Europe? Manchester United, are they in the European League? To be fair, now that um, Spurs and Villa have dropped points, they're actually not too far behind. Right, them. that's um, it. United are back then. Should have a. Yeah. There you go, you see. Could still win the league, though, Spurs. You never know, Tal. Uh, 2.68 million to one that Man United play Coventry in the semi final. Oh, against the draw as well for Coventry City. Why is it 2.86 million to one? Because Man United will play the weakest team. That's what he's saying. Uh, they always get a really weak team like Liverpool. And, oh, oh what, like, know, like, like, like Liverpool like, in yeah. the quarter final? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> what are you talking about, Dennis? <laughs> What is he going on about? Oh, oh, it is, it is. Man United versus Coventry and City versus Chelsea. Oh, oh there you go. There you go. He's going to start buying shares in Man United because they'll go up in the next three months. Well done, Coventry. You've got Man United at Wembley. Fantastic effort. 
So it's going to be a Man United Man City final. It's going to be nil nil and two nil Man City in the final. In it after extra time. There you go. You heard it here first. Got to admit, these quarterfinals have been great. Wonderful games of football. There you go. Oh, that was the answer to the Smith question. Cheers, Dennis. There's only half a million Smiths in the in the United Kingdom. Five hundred thousand Smiths in the United Kingdom. Once again, another Seabet getting through for Ludo, just chipping up nicely. He's hit the half the chips in play mark tower. Half the chips in play now for Ludo with six left. But still so deep. Yep. Usually when someone's got half the chips in play with six left, everyone's battling around ten bigs amongst themselves. But these aren't. There's a lot around 40 bigs. In fact, there's only one stack under 30 bigs at the minute. Jack 10 for Callum in the cutoff. <laughs> you be we got we got a bite. Got one on the hook, Smiters on the hook. You being serious, Jay Spurs can still win the league. Behave yourself. We got one. We got one bite from the chat box. I was expecting more, to be fair, but Smiter ne never lets me down. Jack 10 for Stato. Raises to 25. Kev out the way with a king six off suit. Over to Peter, who's been quiet the last hour and a half or so. Hasn't really been able to get involved. He's going to defend here from the big. With ace queen. I think Peter here could have definitely taken an aggressive approach. Stato opening off a 25 just north of. Could even have just gone for all in as Peter. Now we're going to have to play this one out of position. for the lead and it works out for him with ace of clubs in hand so still gets the pot could have definitely taken the aggressive route pre there with the ace queen but elected not to and just under 15 minutes to go guys and going to be a break and then be coming back at 8k 16k obviously finishing at 16 players yesterday this is this would usually be the first level of day three, 6k, 12k. That turned out was just the first level of the final table. Sorry, second level of the final table. Come back at 
Pete with the boots. We never got a reply to, uh, to Peter's friend who were cheering him up. Yeah, we, maybe he didn't speak English, but... We only want to see where he, where he was from and what, why is he in Blackpool, if he's won a package online or whatever he did. Uh, 30k from Peter, and Ludo's just got a lovely one to call in position. That is up against the boots. So, if Ludo catches a piece here, could be a big pop between these two. Mm. Not on that flop. Jack Queen King flop. End of hand. I could check here as Peter with the aces. Yeah, I think Peter's going to do the same. You know what they say, there's that song, isn't it? These boots are made for betting tower. That's how it goes, <laughs> isn't it? <clears throat> yeah, there's the fall from Ludo. So lucky we didn't catch a piece as we were up against the old aces of Peter. Peter back to half a milli. But look at this, like Stato short stack, 25 big. Someone with half the chips in play, usually when that happens, the other f six handed, the other five are just usually on absolute life support and yep. just seeing Stato on 25 bigs bottom of the pack just shows you how much play this actually has got left in it uh, the only situation when I can actually see this finishing earlier than predicted is if Ludo does maintain the chip lead and he does win all his all-ins to bust opponents then maybe we could get this done three hours earlier than expected <coughs> but if Ludo doesn't maintain that chip lead and the short stacks start doubling up with the bigs that are still in play I think this is going to be a very long evening ahead. Stato with the ace five out of the way. Free roll password is cha cha. Cha cha slide. Cha cha cha. Cha 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 cha. C H A C H A. Cha cha. Uh, three hands. Three hands. Ace queen. Yep. Then ace. Then aces. Yep. Then queens. Mm. They're not a bad three hands to be dealt in a row. Ladies for Peter makes it 25. Ludo 9 3 off here. It's going to be out of here, but we did see the mad one with the 7 3 earlier. This time does let that one go. Keith with a 7 off suit in the big here. Do just expect to see defend. Starting the hand with 28. Does defend. Peter fires with 35 on the button. About 10 probably. Keep goes with check call with his bottom pair. Oh, Barry on the turn for Keith Johnson. Beautiful sight to see. Just want to check it over to Peter. A card that will also hit Peter's range and some of the time when he has like this king queen, queen jack, king jack type stuff will be double barreling. Unfortunately for us, Peter sat there with the ladies. Jack of clubs on the river. This board has just got extremely wet here. Only eight now making a straight. I imagine a shove here from Peter if Keith led. I think it would be so tasty. And Keith not going for the lead. Happy to take his showdown on a very wet texture now. Any eight makes a straight. Backdoor clubs gets there. I'm just choosing to check and Peter checks back. So 
So heading to the break, as you can see that, seven minutes and counting. <coughs> so last echelons of this session and then there's a 15 minute break and then back to it any action before the break and we just head into the break with the six players that are left So for Kev opens in the hijack. And Callum with the Toby Lewis in the big. We all 10 8. 8 10 of clubs. We're going to see Toby when we get him back to Vegas again. Last time we saw him was on the final table of the main. We didn't get to see the final itself, but uh, finishing, was it 7th? 8th. 8th and 7th they finished, didn't they, Dean? And amazing. See that from Kev. And over. Five minutes and counted. And then a 15 minute break. So we'll come back at five past seven with the remaining six as it stands right now. Unless something happens in the next couple of hands, that's what it will be at the end of this sesh. Start of the day with 16. Keith with the Jack Nine. Keith started with 53,000 today. He dropped down to 43 after playing the blinds. He was all in. He doubled up. And then he doubled up again. And he's never looked back. He was 50 to 1. This morning was Keith on Grosvenor Sport. And he's still in with 33, 34 bigs. Then the Jack Nine off here on the button. Starting not defending the 5 3. with the last hand, might get one more in after this. We're down to six.
Peter, out of the way, Ludo's going to open. Which he does. That's quite a chunk. Is that 24? Oh, they're blind up to it. Uh, they were up 58 minutes ago. It's 58 minutes, 24. <laughs> <laughs> There's me with a 6-12. That's pretty chunky, that. It was a 4-8. <laughs> Everyone's only been opening 25k for the last hour. Yeah, it's a bit small, that one. <laughs> Confuse me. <laughs> Classic tower. King 7 off for Keith in the calf. He'll get out of the way. Is Peter not Ashley from Coronation Street? No idea. Don't watch Coronation Street, Christy. I can name you two characters from Coronation Street. Two. Gail Platt. Gail Platt. Who well, was not Gail Platt anymore, but it was Gail Platt originally. And Roy Cropper. And Roy Cropper. I don't know. Is Roy still in? The last hand of the session, guys, and then a 15-minute break. Back at five past se seven. One more hand. So far, we lost Mikey Clark first out in ninth, followed by Matthew Davenport out in eighth, and then Paul Rigg was the last casualty in seventh place. Six remain, final hand, and then a 15-minute break. So, Ludo, a6 off under the gun, any ace he is opening, pretty much any king as well from what we've seen with Ludo, but last hand before we go on a 15 minute break guys, going to be folding from Callum in the cut off, over to Stato on the button, an unknown holding, he's out of there, Kev will do the same, and Peter, Jack 10 off suit, I think one that he does want to defend, head to the streets with. Good evening, Chrissy. On, Good evening, Chrissy. On Twitch. Chrissy B C F C. You've tuned in just before we're about to go on a 15 minute break. Yep. Yeah. Got shot here for Peter. And I assume Ludo's just going to see bet as he has been doing relentlessly all final table so far. And Peter with his gut shot, assuming Ludo doesn't go an extortionate size in. Do expect to see him call once. end of the session between Ludo and Peter who calls a 16 with floating with a good shot and Ludo could find another barrel here tower that was in the hand does have the best of it anyway Double barrel, yeah. and there's hand done. We're back in 15 minutes, guys. See you at five past seven. See you soon. <laughs> many, many congratulations. 19 million. Uh, that is just about it from the days. Full chip counts up on the website very, very soon. But what an amazing day. We have had 1,125 runners. We got in the money instantly. 21 all in and calls for two in two hands to burst the bubble, we burst the bubble and then they've gone down and down and we've finished day two with 44 runners. Tomorrow, we are gonna crown a champion of the biggest Goliath ever, but who is it going to be? Join us tomorrow.
And there is the call from Ariane. Yeah, and can't really news. fault him for it. So I think we knew on the turn it was only going to be a few rivers that. Takes out the second person on the final. <laughs> Look at that! It always happens, is it? The Queens! The set Queens! It's because all the other three have all gone. And it is not Queens full this time. Tens. Oh, and he took some straight in, straight in. He's not fearing anything, Tim. No. Oh, there he is, oh, Tim <laughs> Slater. There's no help there. Well done, and it, and it, do you know what? He's shaking the hands of all the players. Oh, oh no, he hasn't as well. He's five three for Tim Slater. That was a terrible turn. And Tim Slater out flops. Not the start we wanted. Carl Spencer <laughs> fist bumps everybody. Well played, sir. What a good, good effort. Cool with the sixes, big flip here for both players. Sixes holding at the moment. Here's sort of 10 needed, or oh, Tim Slater is out in fourth. And it's a nine, he is out in fourth. Another fantastic effort. Well done, Tim. Oh, that is not good. He's wow. dead on the flop. Six is about for the Kevin Allen. Well, we're down to Jack. Stu Rutter has just taken out Kev Allen, former champion of the grand final back in 2013. So the flop. Green 8 2. That is that it. Is it. We've we got have a champion. champion. We have double champion. Go, Mr. go, Stu go. Rutter. Get out of here. Get, Get out of here. Stu Rutter wins. Vic Meta yeah. second. Five. Fantastic, well done.
Say a jack or six. No! Jeez. Wednesday we announced a million pound prize pool for the second year running at Goliath. We can now announce that there are 10,585 runners currently, meaning it's the biggest tournament we have ever held in Great Britain and anywhere else outside of Las Vegas. Ladies and gentlemen, you are now part of history. <laughs> the Goliath is the biggest it has ever, ever been, and people are still buying it. Absolutely. Ooh.
straight back to it. Straight in. 15 minute break. Last six. Final six here in Blackpool. Who wins it from here? Can anybody take it away from Ludo with his 2 million chip stack? Lines are 816. Hey John, John Cooper watching on YouTube. <coughs> and Callum opening here. Ace 5 suited. Like anyone else, probably would be folding this in the big bet as this runaway chip lead. I do get to defend from the big a lot wider. So Ludo is going to get involved with the 6 4. Here's 9 6 flop. Callum flopping best. Eight of clubs on the turn. Yeah, mixing in one of these top pair checkbacks with the ace five suited. Maybe try and induce some stuff from Ludo on the turn. Knows that Ludo's capable and may pounce on the weakness here. And we can just strap in and put on our call in shoes with position. <coughs> and here we go. Straight away, Ludo gets after it, goes from 98k, 98 into 88. So overbet here from Ludo, 110 percent just north of and Callum. It's uncomfortable tower, but we got a call. We got a great catcher as well. This is actually a really nice one to have. Blocking 5-7 and unblocking hearts and clubs and all this like Queen Jack, Jack 10 type stuff. So I think we've actually got a really clean catch here on most rivers as Callum. But we'll see how it plays out. Rivers are nine of spears, so pairs up. Oh, that's a great river for us as Callum because Ludo, you don't expect him to go this size with a nine on the turn. So this is just an absolute golden ribbon for us as Callum. But Ludo's probably going to shut down here on the 9 because we don't really have any 9x. I don't think they want to go 110% on the turn as Ludo. So maybe he's just going to shut down now. But such a good river for Callum to hero off on as well, Tower, as I say. Yeah. His hand blocking 5-7, unblocking hearts and clubs and all this Jack-10, Queen-Jack oh, type stuff. Oh, it's a jam! But Ludo does go for it. And Callum... In the bank here, gonna be a real tough one to call tower, but like I much prefer calling this than like a an ace queen with a club or an ace queen with a heart. I think this ace five of spades seems like a very nice catcher here for Callum. And you gotta remember we've checked back flop as well, tower. So from Ludo's perspective, our range doesn't look as strong as what it was. Like Ludo could be thinking we have stuff like king through tens. So maybe after the check back on the flop here from Callum, I think our hand might just be too good to be folding tower. This particular ace five suited as well. As I say, no heart, no club. Ludo can still have all this 10-7, jack-10, queen jack, queen 10. A lot in there. For Ludo's bluffs and I think the key element is would a nine really go this size on the turn so now Ludo's sort of value range on the river hands like nine eight nine six ace nine seems very condensed can still have the ten seven the seven five but I think this nine river is such a good river for us as Callum because I don't think that Ludo's going to choose 110 percent on the turn great call sir does find it yeah Ludo indeed. shows the 6-4 and Callum gonna be good with the ace five suited very well played <laughs> Callum Gordon check back flop induce from Ludo and pick that bluff off and just like that propels himself to second in chips and 50 big blinds and that's why he's in the second place in the MPL Callum Gordon and finishing second in this event in November Done a freeway chop, didn't get the trophy, got the most money. A very nice hero really? there. On and who the was end. fourth in that one? Who was fourth? Mm. Before the chop. 
I don't know. The man is just beating the pot. Was it Ludo? It was. Oh, I never knew that. The man is just beating that pot. Ludo makes so many FTs, they all blend in tower. <laughs> Ludo was fourth, they all, fell. they all went. Oh, do you know what? Shall we have a look at numbers? Ludo was fourth for 25,000. <laughs> It's Queen for Stato, raises to 32. It's four off for Ludo. <clears throat> Gonna let this one go. Raise and take for Stato. That's my brother. Which one? There's six of them. Probably not Ludo. I'm probably not Peter. Peter. And I'm probably not going to be Kev. And I wouldn't say it was Stato. I wouldn't say it was the Silver Pigeon either. No. So we've narrowed it down to you are Callum's brother. Well, it could be the dealers. <laughs> Never thought of that. Never thought of that. Could be. <laughs> Could be the dealer. Yeah, but yeah, but um. Yeah, I don't think. Once again, if we get to open this tower with Ludo on the button, and now Callum second in chips, having us covered in the big. But we've seen Kev likes a loose style. I just don't think it's going to be good for us long term. And Ludo just choosing to call the ace 10. Keep out the way in the small with the king 10. And over to Callum, 9 7 <coughs> offsuit here in the big blind. <coughs> Fairly close one. We'd fold 9 6 off, we'd call 9 8 off. 9 7 might just be the margin. Who's going to get involved? <laughs> Clock time. Eight, eight, king, two spades. And two snap checks over to Ludo with the ace ten on the button here. Those have ten of spades in hand. Checks it back. Queen of Spades on the turn. So the flush draw is out there. Ludo. And here's 10. Maybe one we check and just take our equity to the river. I'm going to be a bit wary of Kev once Kev checks twice. Still, he can have some hands that. Like some King X that checks the in position player that checks once the flush completes on the turn. That is just going to fire out and we'll get two very quick folds. Didn't even get a chance to put the chips in the middle when they'd already made up the mind.
Team Jack Baluda in the cough. Opens the 32. Dipping into a suited queen, just making it 90k. And to be fair, Keith has been so snug this whole final table that sometimes it is good to just use your image to your advantage. And knows that Ludo's going to be opening super wide and just using a free bet hit. Aware that he's going to get the respect he deserves because hasn't been getting out of line, hasn't been getting involved in pots at this FT and... Now just finding a little spot here. It chooses the queen five suited. But Ludo wants the battle with the king jack off suit. Does have the best of it. Here we go. Two to eight flop. <clears throat> Great flop for Keith. As the aggressor here tower. Never any do sex out there for Ludo. Maybe ace do suited. But just the board where... We just get to put chips in, don't have to go large. That's Goes for the little 40k, just shy of 20%. Very good for difficult for Ludo to do anything here but fold, but he's getting that price. Six and a half to one, <coughs> wants to see if he can snag a king or a jack, and actually does have the best hand. Something to point out as well. Yeah, but Keith now on this seven of clubs turn. Picking up the back door flush draw. Working with about 0.9 SPR. Is he just going to use the overpair advantage here? Send in another barrel. He is. And that will be the end of Ludo. Well played, Keith Johnson. Gets Ludo off the best hand. Very nice, Keith. Up to 560 at 16k, big blind. Who's got Keith at 50 to 1? 50s. Who's got Keith? Ludo was obviously favourites. We're well, going to see what they were when they all came in. Who's still left? Ludo's still in at threes. Callum Gordon at eights. Peter at eights. Kev Alton was twenties. Stato was tens. Kev Alton at twenties. And Keith at fifty to one. Who was on it? Four for Stato. Seventeen bigs. He's in the oh, eight of course, so he's in the small. Okay. Ten seconds. He says all of it. All of it. Uh, no. No thanks. He says not the king goose. Two of diamonds. And Martin Helmuth, back Kev, Ludo, Callum, and Matt Davenport. So still got three left in. Three still in. Callum the door course. Callum was, uh, took most money last year in November. 73k. in from under the gun. Ready, 
Makes it 32 and should just see a call here from Callum with Ace Queen. Don't think we want to be doing any free band versus the chip leader here. And we're sitting so comfortably second in chips. It seemed like a, a spot we do just want to be calling, especially when we expect Ludo to be opening pretty much all Ace X and keep all these dominated ones in there. King 4 suited for Stato on the button. Can't do anything with our stack. Flop, heads up. Ludo and Callum. King out of clock. King Jack five. Both pick up regions. Should go check, 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 which he does. Callum checks on the ten on the turn. Gives Broadway for Callum. Yeah, Ludo got one now that should just be checking. catching a pair and a Broadway draw to go with it. Goes with check call. Yeah, if they chop it, Sam, the trophy is paid, uh, the winner on the book is paid out for the player that lifts the trophy. Yep. So either an ICM straight chop and finish, it's whoever has the ICM most, or chop it and play on for a certain amount of money, it's the person that wins the trophy, as Jay says. Chop it up. Ludo's not going to realise how lucky he actually got. But we all need that little bit of fortune every now and again for these kind of pots. Callum's, Callum's just going to call and he's going to think, you know what, how lucky did you get? No, no. Really, he's call. Yeah. Call. <laughs> So let's chop it up. We're gonna chop it up. <laughs> Don't you know we'll chop it up? Yeah. <laughs> Why are you not raising? You got the notes. <laughs> There's no point. They all, they all, they both knew. They both knew. They were chopping it up. I'm not saying it should be a force. I'm not saying it should. Frank is here. You can ask him. You don't get penalised in a GKPT at all. No, no, we're not. We're not. We're not. <laughs> <laughs> Not raising the nuts. Set, if you're not raising the nuts, you're only penalising yourself. I That's what I think. No, I don't know. I never checked the nuts. I bet he raised and I called the nuts. You are. Yeah, you're allowed to call with the nuts. You're only penalising yourself. <coughs> you certainly ain't no situation where... You call because you want to see what it's looking for. Ryan says should be a good final table to watch. We've been been at it for nearly four hours at this FT. Yeah, we have indeed. Started around four o'clock. 
we're on six. We are on six. Putting the pressure up. King I flock, King three five. Yeah, it seems like a good one to continue as Ludo. what I'm expecting. Yeah. <laughs> Are there cash game streams at every GUKBT fan? Uh, only uh, Coventry uh, at the moment. I might try and get a PLO on in Luton for later in the year, but yeah. uh, every Wednesday now it's the mini mainstream. Yeah. Indeed it is. Yeah, I know. I know, Neil. Oh, Scott, he started well. Five under through nine. One back. Very nice indeed. He's not bad, that Roy Cyphers, is he? Unbelievable. He is not bad, that Roy Cyphers. He knows his onions when it comes to golf. Eight seven three for Ludo. Opens <coughs> the forty. 10-7 the diamonds for Callum in the big. Should be a defend. What's going on in there? I've no idea. Is it a party? It sounds like it. Where's our invite? Ah, the closer's just started. Ah. It's gone nuts in there. Oh, and Ludo could be getting some back off of Callum here. We've got top pair, not flush draw against top pair. Ludo with not kick up, having Callum out kicked. We're going to see some chips going here for Shaw Tower. And one that Callum, actually probably not, probably we shouldn't actually second in chips, but he's thinking about going for some raises with top pair. But I think against Ludo, we are just supposed to keep pot as small as possible and just call, not bloat this pot out of position potentially put us in, ourselves in a grim spot down the streets but forget that because Ludo not electing to see bet and Callum gets there the ten of spades for Callum there and now we will be seeing the check raise when we got such a strong hold in here as Callum is Ludo going to go for delay continue now if I'm Ludo I'm going to feel like my seven's the best hand and then redraw with a nut flush but once again, checks it back. And six of hearts. River. Now Callum going to go for his value. <coughs> and Ludo, when he calls, which he will do, he will love what he sees because when he sees the hand, he'll think, God, this could have been huge for this pot. This could have been huge. Lost minimum, agree. <laughs> Absolute min. Yeah. Callum just said that could have been huge. Yeah. 
good, but then I want to make sure you make it hard. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> Just not that one. <laughs> two outs. Two outs. You made sure, mate. Two outs. <laughs> it's supposed to come to ten of clubs. I'm unlucky. It's a one in three chance. I mean, the queen was quite a match. Chat to the series for Peter. I'm saying if you're, you're, you're heavily got his queen there, I'm pretty 50 care in the turn, thinking to myself, I'm going to get a queen here. I'm not sure if one we can have in them as well, Tara, if we, we are mixing in some strong hands once in a while off a 20. Whether we could actually limp this candidate here. But it's just going to go with open. Goes the 35k and Ludo with the ace do suited. One of these hands we can get aggro with. It's just going to play cool. Play the cool with the ace deuce. Keith will be out of the way. Should bin the ten deuce. Will bin the ten deuce. Don't think any shoulds about it. Starting with a six off, we'll do the same. Not going to defend this three way. <coughs> At least we shouldn't be, I don't think. Likely to be in a dominated spot. I know we can actually see he's got the best hand, but I think we want to fold. And does. Queen ace four. Two diamonds for Peter. Check raise here, Tower. I'd love to see it if Peter could find the check. Yes. Now Ludo bets we could potentially just go for the check raise here as Peter with a jack ten of diamonds. Ludo with the top pair, but might mix in a check Ludo himself. I mean, if we are trying to incorporate some check backs with top pair, this seems like one that we could use, but is just going to fry up with the ace. 38. There and now will Peter spring it? Here, Tower, because we still have all this aces, queens, ace, king, ace, queen as the pre-flop aggressor, but no, going to play the take the passive approach. Thought he was checking to go for the check raise there. I would have loved for him to take the initiative himself when Ludo's range is super wide. Maybe not as wide as usual because we've called an open, we haven't opened ourselves, but we'd have loved for Peter to take the aggressive route there with a jack 10 of diamonds tower. Thanks again. And Ludo picks up Will Draw. I'm going to check behind this time. And the Diamonds miss. Ludo not expecting Peter to be playing any fours. Yeah, and diff. Hmm. Looks like Peter going to bluff here now, and Ludo not fold in when we chop with all other ASEX Tower. Simple as that. One chipper for Ludo. Shouldn't take too much time with this one. Makes the call yeah. and feed it. Right. Grimace. Small, small check raise flop, jam turn. Could have been the avenue there for Peter Tower. I thought that was the avenue he was going to take when he went for the check on the flop. I think could have potentially won that pot. Ludo would have had a tough task calling off that line with Ace Deuce. Get some back. Back up to 1.7 milli. Peter is now the shorty. So the king for Ludo. Doesn't need an invitation to open this one. A6 
Finish at 32. Mel's in the money in the free roll. Good luck, Mel. Good luck. Awesome. Well done. Anybody else in the free roll, give us a shout. Well done, Mel. Pocket sixes for Stato. 16 bigs tower. Slightly less, actually. Uh, sorry, 16. Yeah, 16 bigs. Could just move in. There's Stato. Not sure what Peter's working with now, actually. I think Peter's about got, got about 11, okay. Yeah. But when Ludo's opening this wide, I think we can just do exactly that. So let's go for the effective all-in with the sixes. And we'll be working versus the King Lou suited of Ludo. Ravi, good afternoon Ravi, well, good evening now at 20 to 8. Yeah, I think he played that hand very well Ravi, the ace five suited. I just understanding that Ludo will take off a lot of the time when he senses weakness and then we've just got a very nice catch up. And we got a sweet run out as well to be fair, I think that nine on the river is a fantastic card to see just because of the turn sizing that was used by Ludo. A very fun poker <laughs> hand to cover. Uh, Going to be blind on blind action between Kev and Peter. 6-2 suited here for Kev. What I do expect him to complete. It just goes with Jam. Okay, Peter's actually got sub 10 now, so just taking the suited hand and putting the pressure on Peter. Peter can't call with the 8-3. Nice little pick up from Kev. Players left Blackpool main events. Keith Littlewood winning the cup this afternoon. <coughs> and then went to the bar to watch Man United beat Liverpool in extra time. Made his day. Pete, I've got a shove here, my friend. Hey, it's all right. We've got, a We've got an ace. Got a shove. We've got nine bigs. Got to shove. We've got a shove. Nope. We are making it up. Yeah, well, we're going to actually get the chance anyway. Because Ludo will send the King Six off, I expect tower. Right. And then he's gonna say, Why are you no shoving? Yeah. <laughs> it's actually worked out really well for us. We're actually Ludo wouldn't have called King Six without it, and now we get to be in front for the all in as Peter. With our eight big blinds. No. Gets rid of the ace. Should have jammed three. Should have called after Ludo bets. Ugh. Interesting video. Nailed it. Hmm. Hmm. On to the next. On to the next, please. Cards out. Oh. Peter just jams. He picks it up free. Yep. Once he limped, Ludo going to be shoving super wide. Going to have all the ASEX dominated. <coughs> well, not all of it. Most of the ASEX dominated. All the 7X dominated. That will shove. 
And uh, Peter could have potentially been doubling up there, Tower, but now he's sitting with eight big blinds. Just the eight bigs. Start over with the ace king, raising up. Makes it standard 32. Kev out of the way. Over to Peter. I'm gonna get up. What? What is going on? Why? What? What? <laughs> so we don't shove the a7 blind on blind, but we shove the queen nine suited for eight over stat who's opening the hijack. Maybe it looks prettier. I guess it does. If we're going on pretty equity, I guess you're right, Tower. Queen nine of clubs looks prettier. To be fair, he has been on the booze a lot today, Peter. He has been he has been necking them pints back. And he's, he, might, he might be having a little uh, a little top with it as well. And no help there, not even a club in sight. So going to need a queen or nine on turn or river. Well, we got chop outs. Four to chop. Four to chop. Queen to win. Nine to win. <laughs> oh, we're going to be losing Peter. Um, we do. Peter has just been eliminated for 10,380. Peter Wisnowski has just been eliminated in sixth. That was a really strange two hands tower. Yep. That was really strange. For Peter Wisnowski out in sixth. We're down to five players, so it will be 40 minute clock from here on out for the rest of the day. No. Very, very much doubt it. But there was a, an error. <laughs> Curtis, let's go, Stato. Of course, he's on Stato. Let's go, Stato. Let's go. Peter's satellite in, so not a bad return. That's Absolutely great. Absolutely not. Satellite into it. We said that. We said, we said we didn't have much of a hand in the mob. He must have satellited in or won a package and turned it into 10 grand. So very nice indeed. Yeah, it's a great run from Peter, nonetheless. Yep. He's, he's at a really tough final table at the end of the day. And when you're tired, when you're on the beers as well, it can be easy to just miss simple spots that usually we do subconsciously. There's Jack 3 off on the bottom from Ludo. Makes it 40k. Callum with 4-5. Connected in the big, but not going to let it... Not going to continue. Does let it go. See Callum Gordon in the background there. Look, separated by a point, point, point one nine. Sorry, point one nine. Not anymore. Yeah, not anymore. I think Callum will probably be jumping in front of Matt. Yep. But, but, but you, no, I'm not sure. Why? Matt, high roller, final table. Yes. Uh, come seventh in this. Yep. So mm. I'm not sure. Mm. Matt's had a good week as well. He has indeed. Yeah, high roller win, not final table. He won the high roller outright. No, no, that was last leg. Endrick won the Endrick, high roller. Yeah, 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 yeah. Won End, Endrick won this one. Points are already added for Coventry. That was last leg. Or Luton. Wherever we were. And started. And they took home three trophies in one week. Matt and Sinead. 7 5 off for Ludo. Mixing it in. Oh, go on, Stato. <laughs> Make it 100. My man's opening 7 5 off. Ludo is getting out of line. <laughs> 
It does all blend together. It does all blend together, HBS, honestly. The last sort of six weeks of events have been hectic. Uh, Peter went out with Queen Nine of Clubs versus Ace King. Like the two of you away with the studio line stuff in, in between events. <laughs> We're going to a big bag, we to a big box. <laughs> Get wheeled on the van. Drive down the road. Oh, we're in country. <laughs> nah, I shouldn't defend here as Kev. Kev's kept me guessing all FT Tower. Never know what he's gonna do. No. Nope. Sometimes You'll get involved with a hand that should probably be a fold, and other times he won't. They just like the live game, Kev. They just seem to get some live tells. Can read the game very well. Still kicking in the free roll. Good on you. Keep going. Shall we see who's kicking in the free roll tower? Go on then. Shall I have a little look who's kicking Yeah, about? give us a shout out. Come on, we'll give you some shout outs. Where's he gone? Yeah. There. How do you manage that? Come on, who's in the free roll? Oh, I need to do this now. Oh, you need to press all and all that. Yes, go. Watch. Who shall we watch? Chip leader. I'm not logged in, I'm not logged in. All right. Oh, we're down to the final 18. Golly, Maff's still in. No way, has he managed that? Yeah, God, must have run good. Who's berserk? I like that, berserk. A really bad donkey's getting on all right for a really bad donkey. Oh, hope you've not been on one of them on the beach. <laughs> I've never been on a donkey. Ever. I might have done when I was like three or four, like out of the memory, something I can't remember, but I don't actually have a memory of me ever on a donkey. <coughs> I've got loads of memory of me on a horse, but that's different. On a horse? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah. In, that's in the bookies. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's in the bookies. Yeah, I'm not, not talking about riding it. <laughs> really bad donkey, such a bad player, he's got lucky dozens of times. <laughs> Someone says in the old Facebook chat. And Callum opens 32 from cut off Ludo defends King 10 off suit. He could be Gordon himself. I've worked it out that that's Gordon Ebbs backwards. Ah! Aren't you smart? I'll tell you what. <laughs> that's a trip for Ludo. Going to be small size for Callum. Could even choose the one BB if we wanted to. Go slightly more. 20k into 88. <laughs> well done, Tell <Charlie. laughs> going for the raise right off the bat makes it 68 here <coughs> cheers Gordon evening Jane Tower always a great insight thank you very much indeed and Ian Needleman 17th to 17th nice one for Ludo yeah so annoying we can't see Callum's card yeah. but going to sweat this from Ludo's perspective raising here obviously for value with our trip kings we balance this out to our like it's, it's difficult on first glance to think of hands that we'd find as bluffs to balance out of our value on this board but hands that we choose would be stuff like 8-6 of diamonds 8-9 of clubs 6-5 of spades these, these type of hands that are wrapped around that 7 
with free to flush, free to straight possibilities. And that's where our bluffs are going to derive from. And then for value, it's going to be the King X and then maybe some strong 7X in there as well. Uh, facing the LP open from Callum. So stuff like A7, Queen 7 might find its way in as well. Uh, but now back to the turn. Just going to go for a second street here with the King 10 as Ludo. Maybe the Queen Jack's actually a really nice one to raise as well. So if we ever have Queen Jack suited, removal to the stronger Queen X and still free to flush, free to straight type hand. So maybe that's one that will find its way in there as well some of the time. 87k on the turn. 87 into 224 from Ludo. I'm like 40% up. Jellos. What are we calling? He could have, but he'll also have tens, jacks, queens, aces, some seven x, seven x of clubs now I think as well. He won't have the case king. Oh, he's in trouble, Callum here now. If he does have tens through aces, he is in big, big trouble. If he does have one of these hands, the tens through aces. <clears throat> comes down to size. That Ludo wants to go for with the King King Ten. <laughs> One thing I will say though, if Callum does have hands like tens through aces a lot of the time, everyone shuts down on this river. No one finds a bluff on this river. When the king pairs and our opponent can still plausibly have the king X as the opener, it's just shut down central for everyone. It's very difficult for someone to ever find a bluff in this given situation. Because once we check raise flop, say if we were bluffing, let's say we had 10-8 of clubs, we check raise flop, Callum calls, we turn equity, we barrel again, Callum calls and this king comes on the river. Are we really following through when Callum can definitely be sitting here with a king himself? And that's one thing I would say about the spot. We don't know what Callum had, but Ludo not getting any payment on the river. I think she, uh, I think yeah. I think big, big. I'm not sure shove. I don't think we can shove for two x, but I think uh, big, big is the way to go there. Just because of all the tens and aces, still going to have a nice, healthy 24 combos of of calls there. Yeah, that's true. Says P Vaz Nunes, but Ludo is not someone. Now we're doing Paul. He is a beast. Oh, yeah. things are well, Paul. I just forgot something. It's what? Sunday in Blackpool. Yeah. And what happens on Sunday in Blackpool? Don't know. Ro roast dinner. Oh, yeah. And I've totally forgot. And it's got to be past the time now, isn't it? I don't know. What time does it finish? I have no idea. You better go and ask. I was just thinking. I forgot the roast dinner. The roast dinner, man. I remember sitting in the booth Friday thinking I got my roast on Sunday. <laughs> you better go and ask. Sure, someone in the chat will know what time they stop serving the roast in Blackpool. Yes, King for Kev. Yeah, free bet getting through. Yeah, I got Chef Luck in the golf. Man of straw.
He's one back, I believe. Coventry at 66 is when they were 2 1 down. What in the 88th minute? How did you manage that one? They won 3k. Wow. Nice game, quietly. Lovely stuff. Well, he's obviously not, is he? <laughs> he's not, yeah, he's obviously not getting it quietly. <laughs> <laughs> 66 is 2 1 down in the 88th minute. Oh, 9 4 off for Ludo. He just does not care. Opens the button, gets it through. How are we doing, Brooksy? Evening in the hat. I have one question and one question only. Is Joe Saunders still in? <laughs> we, we need a button on this stream deck just to say no. <laughs> and it will always be no. That will always be the answer. It is Sunday, though. Uh, Joe, you might find him in the one cent rebuy if it's been running for less than half an hour. You might find him in that field. But good evening, mate. Thanks for tuning in. Been a while. I'm sure I'll be down that way soon. And I'll get to see you. Sixes for Kev. Making it 35. Suited Queen for Stato in the big. Do expect to see defend at the suited variety. The Silver Pigeon is a solid player. He is You're not wrong. <laughs> super solid, Keith Johnson, and picks his spots meticulously. We yep. saw the Queen Fiver clubs against Ludo about 20 minutes ago. Sitting there all snug, not getting out of line, and then. Just picked the spot, ironed some chips, keeps his head above water. It was even like this morning, there was no panic. He came in with 53,000. He lost the blinds, he was down to 43, and picked his spot, I'm all in. And that was it. He never looked back since. <coughs> he is the 11 euro dollar party poker crusher. I remember those days, JK. <laughs> the old Ocean's 11. This one. And Stato in the small here. Don't think we get to mess about tower 24 to start the hand. Think it's just always send. And going for the half stack. Well, yep. Just in case Kev goes all in and Ludo does the same. To be fair, I doubt we'd uh, fold. 
Jacks anyway, as Stato They're always doing this instead of saying the words all in. And Ludo can't do anything to base do Seward. Five. Keith Johnson in one, Callum Gordon in two, Stato in four, Andy Hume. Five is Kev, o Kev Outen. And seven or eight is Ludo. I bet a lot of money went on Ludo this morning. I bet it's, I think you remember, it was, it, was, it, was a, it was a decent price. What, was he a good price? What was he, seven to two? Three and a half to one, maybe? One of the, I think one of the biggest backed players today was Dan Charlton. He was one of the big, <coughs> biggest backed players. He went from 25 to 12. Dan went out in 13th. for Ludo, A7 for Kev. Uh, 50 to 1 was seat 1, Keith Johnson. He had 53,000 coming into day 3 with 16 players left. And he's now on the FT with just under half a million. to 108 and Kevin calls with a seven of clubs. Ten nine three. That should be handover. Unless Kev wants to get through it. Fiver from uh, from the free row. Well done, Scotty. Are you coming to the casino, your local or not? Now, Mikey Clark is out. Mikey first out on the final table. He a needleman from short stack. Locked up a fiver in the free roll, just doubled up with aces, as you do. Easy game, easy game, you lot. It's easy, this game. Oh, jeez, got 
knives and forks and spoons and all sorts going on here. Stato raising, Ludo in the tank. Cool. Makes the call with King Deuce out of the smoke. <coughs> Keith in one gets out of the way, heads up to the flop. King five deuce Ludo just smashing the flop again. Hitting the lot. <clears throat> Standard C bet from Stato. Look at this flop for Ludo. Top and bottom. On the beat legal. He's finding a raise as well. Should be hand over. Stato 393,000 with the blinds at 20k now. Just gone up. 40 minute clock now till the end. Still on five. <coughs> Ludo with the Queen Five opening again. So Callum with the A9 just decides to uh, get out of the way on the big Ludo opening with the Queen 5 on the button. Again, with the aces again, lost to a flush, came 12, got a five pound ticket, nice one, Ian Needleman, another ticket, fives into 30s, into 250 pounds with a live credit, it's the way to do it. What did I miss, Tower? I see Tim Chung put, what is going on? Uh, just Ludo. Oh, just Ludo. Just, just, just Ludo, just flopping top and bottom with King Deuce. Out in 12th. Who's left in the uh, in the free roll? We'll have a look very shortly. In between hands. And Ludo putting to work <laughs> basically what he said in Manchester for six hours. Tower. Mm. ICM's not. ICM's nothing. ICM's not real. I play my own game. I put the pressure on on final tables. And people can't deal with it. That's what he said. 
theory goes out the window. He said it after about eight mad routes, though, to be fair. <laughs> Only eight. <laughs> Funny enough, seen the hunt in the free roll. How's he doing? Well done to Peter for finishing sixth out of a satellite win. Well done to him. same hand as Ian tell you what well done free rollers that's what I can say well done for supporting Grosvenor they do throw quite a bit of money at us every leg yeah they do well done to Tom and the team so we've won spot prize as well but we've got plenty of time left this evening so yeah. just look at the chips that are in play I know there's only five left but a long long day ahead of us so we'll have plenty of time to get the last 50 euro token out. And Ooh, Kev here, nice, nice from Kev, very nice. Like it. Yeah, I'll go off to not, high low. Yeah. Knows Ludo's opening super wide. Well played, Kev Alton. I think that'll fall on the trot from Ludo. Opening. Callum, she won that big pot, facing Ludo to double up, but done a few chips back since then. Ace eight off here for Stato on the button, off the 20, not open. Get out and out of the way. And all in for Ludo, nice easy one, always nice when you get an easy decision. Point three now, really putting some leeway between him and the rest of the field. In an unbelievable situation here. <laughs> if they stop now with ICM, would Ludo get more than 56k? <laughs> For Stato. Yeah, Callum Gordon's playing fantastically. <coughs> I think someone that's really come on, I'm not sure if he's improving his game or working on his game, but it seems like he is away from the tables. And I think someone that's improved a lot and getting the results and deserved as well. Every time I see him on the table, he's solid. Doesn't get out of line, picks his spots very carefully, capable of well, will make a move from time to time. And David Shaw says, ha, huh, shocker to see Ludo at an FT. <laughs> He's playing well. He's played so well. Been big stack for a lot over the last two days. 
And how are we doing? Stephen Heron. Hey, Bonds. Oi, oi, fellas. Keep up the good work on stream. Great stuff as always. Got you in the background behind all the Sunday tables. Top five stack in the warm up with 80 left. Might crack the wine open. <laughs> nice one, Bonds. Yeah. Good luck, Stephen. Good luck. It turns for Kev, opens in the cutoff. Over to Callum in the big blinds. Oh, here we go. We got one. We have got one. We have. So, going to be a jam for Callum for 22. <coughs> and then a call from Kev. Cool. Yeah. Another call with the tens. Another call with the tens. Here yep. we go. <laughs> Callum likes what he sees when he gets snapped like that. The flip situation. Yeah, yeah, but he's, he's got less. According to the screen, he has. Yeah. Can we just put it all in anyway? There we go. Off to the races. Callum, Ace, Jack, Kev, Tens. Best he could have seen with the Ace, Jack for Callum. Stop calling for chops, Lou. No, you can call for a chop. Wait, okay, I'm going for a fucking four, five, six, four. L Ludo says, let's jump it up. And there's a <laughs> Whoa, jack. Oh, a jack on the front for Callum Gordon. He propels to the lead. Just fade in a 10. A couple of runners in there. Straight possibilities through the back door. Two of hearts on the turn. We're down to two outs for Kev Outen. Needs a 10. And only a 10. It's another deuce. So here's Jack. Kev Outen in with the best of it. And finishing fifth for £13,870. Role play, Kev. And now Callum up to 51 BBs. Sitting prettily. 20 for Keith. 15 for Stato. Interesting video. It says, I'll bring the donuts and the pies to loot. And what pies does Tower like? All of them. <laughs> oh, quick, quickly turn the video back off by now. <laughs> Uh, I'll tell you what we did have in Scotland. The best pies I've tasted in a while. There was a chicken tikka pie. We had a lasagna pie. Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese, Jay snaffled. Uh, but I'm not being funny, the donami and chilli sauce pie in the Scotch pie. Just incredible. So nice. But basically, what everybody else says in the chat and Jay. All of them. Pies are pies. You just can't not like a pie. Hello, mate. Right, Kev taking home £13,870. Leave us with four. To be fair, I'm not keen on Frey Bentos. What? The Frey Frey Bentos? Was that not a uh, that tennis <laughs> player? Frey Bentos? The French bloke. <laughs> <laughs> Frey Bentos? I'm sure he was a tennis player. <laughs> Ray Bentos, the pain of tin. <laughs> never heard of it. Never heard of it. You never had a pain of tin? Never? Never had a pain of tin. Wow. Well, not surprised if he plays tennis. I've had, I've had a tin in a pie. You know the puck of pies you get? They come in that little tin, don't they? The puck of pies? The puck of pies. So you get in the little tin foil. Yeah, the, the, like the tin that it comes in. Half, half a tin. This comes in a candle with the lid on... Tin. This comes in a tin never, that you don't open. Never heard of it, Tower. Pie in a tin. No key fall in. Oh my oh, word! Oh, next hand! Gee, are Callum! We, are we gonna go. What a rush! Are we gonna go from five to three in two hats? Callum can't believe his luck. He looks down at the ladies. Keith's never opening, uh, never shoving aces or kings, so always the best hand. And Stato gets out yes, of there. out of the way. Keith Johnson now at risk. Here we go. Is this going to be two in two? Everyone that's on Keith at 50 to one is praying to see a Barry. What we're calling from last time, usually comes out seven two. Five, four, six, two diamonds. No, it's eight, seven, two. No ace <coughs> on that flop. So we're going to need to find it on turn or river. Running king 10 is a thing. So looking for that ace. 
I'm down to an ace. Do we see Barry? Do we see it or is Callum Gordon on that rush at the right time? Just taking out Kev Alton and now he's taking out Keith Johnson. Up to 1.4 milli, 70 BBs. Wow. Callum to scoop it all, says Liam Sheridan. I'm not good at geography, Mel. I'm good at flags. They're sort of different. She says, Joe, you're good at geography. Which country is the city Frey Bentos in? I'd say Spain. And that's what I'd go for. Nice one. Is it right? Is it wrong? What's that? What? You, you look at me like it's like I'm talking to you and it's just you're not <laughs> listening. Uruguay says Uruguay. Jamie in the chat. That's what it is. Uruguay. And Facebook is down. We'll get it back up and running, guys. Oh no. Just as it got juicy, Facebook packed up. It's the eight hour malarkey. We'll get it up straight away, instantly, within 10. It's Argentina. There you go. Facebook's back up, Gary. So Ludo going to check option. Facebook is back up. I think the chat was just guessing. Someone said Argentina. Uh, Jamie goes, it's not, it's Uruguay. Obviously knows the answer. Check, check, flop. Five of spades to turn. Stato checking again. Check, check, tower. Not sure. Stato gets the bluff on this river card. We're going to shove a lot of our ASEX now with the stacks what they are, three-handed, pre-flop. Looks like it's going to go for a 1BB bet on the river. And Ludo with the King-10, assuming that Stato might do some shoving with the King-Jack, the other not high hand, which would probably check out anyway, so kind of irrelevant, but looks like it's going to pay with the king height. And Stato... Shows the jack seven, Ludo good with the king ten. Takes a small one from him. That's a 50, 16 bigs. And uh, Man of Straw asks, has Callum Gordon ever won a GUKPT? He hasn't, but... November. November of last year. Look at, look at, look at Callum's results, just the last mm. four months, Tara. That's Absolute why he's second in the league. Catalogue of them. Uh, if we go back to November, 16th of November, he did actually take home lion's share of the prize pool, 73k, but there was a three-way deal done, and uh, they didn't play on, uh, I don't think, did they Did they play on for the trophy? Um, or I did think he Ian, didn't Ian want the trophy? Want the trophy. Yeah, I think, Can I please have the trophy? Yeah, I think that's please, how it please, 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 um, please. So another fact as well mm -hmm. um, about Callum is he has, uh, because the last tournament, on one bullet, comes second. He's on his first bullet in this main event. So over the last two Jack GUKPT Blackpool main events, yep. he's still yet to be knocked out. The last two GUKPT Blackpool oh. main events, he is still yet to be knocked out. Wow, that's some going in. He likes Blackpool. He does like Blackpool. I always say it's funny. People have their places, places that they do well. Ben mm. Windsor, the Vic, Toddy, Coventry. Everyone seems to have a casino that sort of sees them through. As Ludo opens in the small one, Callum not going to tangle with Ludo. Just want to base a lot on our play to see what happens with Stato and his 15 odd BBs. It's right on the border between Uruguay and Argentina, but classed as Uruguay. No idea why the pies are named after it, says Mel. And Scheffler, joint leader. Good news in the chat from Dan Peacock. Come on, the Scotty. 
Oi, oi. <laughs> Won't be a late night, Jay. Did you get your roast? No, I missed the roast boat, unfortunately, and always, always November. Missed it. He talked about it two minutes ago, and it was. He said it was too late to vote. Was it not on all night? No. He'll check in a bit, I'm sure. Walk back in with a great big roasty. To be fair, we're on break off this level tower, so we'll be grabbing 15 minutes. Ace Jack for Ludo. Frey Bento's pie is made in Scotland. Thanks for the information. Over to Stato. Oh my god, here we go again, Tower. Wow. Here wow, we go wow. again. This is all in and cool this time, though. And if the ace Jack Aludo can win a flip just like that, we'll be going the heads up. Crazy. And there's the jam. There's the call. Start who says, I have a pair. Ludo says, we're off to the races. Here we go again. And Callum sitting there quietly thinking, oh, oh, ladder possibility. Not just any ladder, big ladder as well at this stage. <coughs> Stato with the sevens. This is worth £10,000 to Callum if the ace jack can hold. Uh, ace jack can win. Well, the queen. 210 king flop brings in the queens. 20 ace, queen or a jack for Stato to fade. And doesn't, it's on the turn. We're now down to two outs to Stato and the Hume to survive, or we're going heads up. It's another ace. <laughs> Double barrel. Bit of overkill. Oh, oh. What has happened? Bump, 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 just like that. What has happened, Tower? This is, if you told me we'd be heads up at half eight, I would, I would have set a line at 11 o'clock to not be heads up. And we're, we're heads up at half eight. Mm -hmm. Look how deep it is. The, the big blind is 16k, I believe. Yep. 20k, sorry, we're at now. So. Well, I'm on to start off £29,500 as well. Can you just pull the stacks up for me, please, Tower, on your little gadget? Look at this for heads up. 66 big short stacks. 135 big blinds. Heads up. This could be a battle. Uh, just a 10 minute break, guys. Short and sweet. We're going to be back at just yeah. after 20 to 9. A uh, quick 10 minutes from us, and we will see you shortly. to 44 players as it speaks and there's 24 million going into one bag. Alex, what an unbelievable day you must have had. It was unreal. I started as a short stack and now I'm just leader. Yeah. Like yeah, J J J Jay said we, you were short. How short were you? I had 125k to start the day. Yeah. <laughs> did, what, what did you do with the bubble? Did you just sit and wait or did you just start? Yeah, I was short on the bubble, to be fair. Yeah. Um, and you just sat and waited until the money went? Pretty much. I still still took some spots, but yeah, after the money went, it yeah. Just, yeah, just couldn't lose yeah. a hand. <laughs> could, could you believe when we were on the bubble, 21 all in and called <laughs> in two hands? I can't believe it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a huge amount of chips. Uh, what's the table been like in the last hour or so? Uh, yeah, all right, to be fair. I had a lot of big hands, so that helps. <laughs> so yeah. for me, it's been all right. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Well, we think you're chip leader. That'd be nice. We're pretty sure you are chip leader. But uh, every credit for making day three of the biggest delight Thanks ever. A lot. Fingers crossed for tomorrow. Hopefully, as well. Keep Thanks it going. Nice Cheers, one. Man. Alex, Alex Todd, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of chips. He has, I got, uh, an amount of chips that uh, you want for day three. We'll just have a quick word with, uh, with Paul. Paul, oh, yeah. Paul Murphy, Goliath. Day three tomorrow. Yep. We just bagged up how many? 19 million, 25,000. Big, big stack. Nice stack. How's the day been? It's been good. It's been getting nice cards. Yeah. And making good plays, so yep. I've been happy. Yeah. Mixing, mixing it up. Uh, it's. A lot, of, a lot of players, a lot of people just say recreational players, it's just 
You've, you, you're just taking flips a lot of the time and you're just playing totally different. How have you found your tables today? Well, I've been on about five different tables. Oh, yeah. I've been moved around a lot. Yeah. Um, each has been completely different. Um, but I think the key's been adjusting to yeah. the players. Can you instantly spot somebody who just wants to cash to somebody who's a tour, tour reg or something like that? Yeah, I can. Especially when they stay at the table, I'm just folding the last ten minutes. No. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's, always, that's always what you need. You can, you, can, you can manipulate that. But 19 mil coming back to tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, biggest Goliath we've ever had. Yep. We're down to 44. And then tomorrow we're going to crown a champion. We can dream, can't we? We can dream. We can dream. Hopefully final table. Well, <laughs> many, many congratulations. 19 million. Uh, that Thank is you. just about it from the days. Full chip counts up on the website very, very soon. But what an amazing day. We have had 1,125 runners. We got in the money instantly. 21 all-in and calls for two in two hands to burst the bubble. We burst the bubble and then they've gone down and down and we've finished day two with 44 runners. Tomorrow, we are going to crown a champion of the biggest Goliath ever. But who is it going to be? Join us tomorrow. There is the call from Ariane. Yeah, you can't bad really news. fault him for it. So I think we knew on the turn it was only going to be a few rivers that. Takes out the second person on the final. <laughs> Look at that! It always <laughs> happened, is it? The Queens! The set of Queens! It's because all the other three have all gone. And it is not Queens full this time. Tens. Oh, and he took some straight in, straight in. He's not fearing anything, Tim. No. Oh, there he is, oh, Tim <laughs> Slater. There's no help there. Well done, and, he, and he, do you know what? He's shaking the hands of all the players. Oh, oh no, 
he hasn't as well. Ace five three for Tim Slater. So that is a terrible turn. And Tim Slater out flops. Not the start we wanted. Carl Spencer fist bumps everybody. Well played, sir. What a good, good effort. Cool with the sixes. Big flip here for both players. Sixes holding at the moment. Here's sort of 10 needed. Oh, Tim Slater is out in fourth. And it's a nine. He is out in fourth. Another fantastic effort. Well done, Tim. Oh, that is not good. He's wow. dead on the flop. Six is about for the Kevin Allen. Oh, we're down to Jack. Stu Rutter has just taken out Kev Allen, former champion of the grand final back in 2013. So the flop. Green, eight, two. That is that it. Is it. We have a champion. champion. Have double champion. Go, Mr. go, Stu go. Rutter. Get out of here. Get, Get out of here. Rudder wins, Vic Meta yeah. second, fantastic, well done. Heads up! I can't believe it, Tell. I honestly cannot believe that it. That went mad. Five, four, three. Was Just it? went bonkers. Lost three and five hands. Wait, have that stack depth? Three and five hands, and the average stack 65 bigs. Right. Woo! So, on the left, Callum Gordon, who chopped it last year. 
in November. On the right, the person who finished fourth in November, Ludo Gaelic. Ludo, two to one chip leader, but as Jay said, now we've gone five, four, three in the space of A five hands. Average stack is 100 B, more than 100 BBs right now. Average stack, more than 100 big blinds. But what ends up in right pool, enjoy. Enjoy. I'm going to do a spot prize after this hand as I got one more token. So everyone that's tuned back early for heads up on time at 20 to 9, like we said. Yep. You got a better chance. Go on then. Like it. And the people that will have the best chance are those that have been tuned in all day. As you know, the spot prizes is usually a question based on a hand that's occurred earlier on in the day. So fingers at the ready in the chat box. It will be a fastest fingers first. Best advice I can give is get over to Twitch as there is... About half a second difference comes through to our restream chat slightly quicker. But it's a toughie. This one is a, is a toughie. Oh, I'm bound to get this one then. You have to be proper tuned in to get this one. It is for a £50 ticket. It is for a £50 ticket. Just randomly giving away £50. <laughs> so top pair for Callum on the turn. And now it gets the fire. And Ludo out of the way. So, guys. I'm ready. For a 50 euro token. Yes. I don't want suits. I just want the hand. Dan Laidlaw. Busted today. Just shy of the final table on the outer table. But what hand was his bust out hand? What hand was his bust out hand? Oofed. Oofed. Not the big one he lost versus Matt Davenport before. He got it in for one BB. He left himself a chip back, the hand against Matt, and he had one big blind, and he got it in. But what was the hand? And look at <coughs> that. Of course, of course, of course, Simon Johnson is in straight away. Jack three. Jack three. Was it? First guess on YouTube. It See, YouTube, nine, seven. YouTube wins and not Twitch. And to be fair, look at this just below him on, on, on Twitch. Maroon Poker put Jack 3. Yeah, the Twitch is a, a, tenth, a tenth of a second. <gasps> Simon Johnson. A tenth of a second, Maroon Poker. That Simon is... Johnson. Jack 3. To be fair, if Simon Johnson was on Twitch, it would have been in, in before yeah. anyway. It would well, have been... Six tenths of a second. Uh, so well done to Simon Johnson. I had to get the final token out of the way. Didn't expect to get heads up this quickly. No. Uh, so well done to Simon Johnson. Drop me your <laughs> alias. I think I'm going to go for a cry. So, uh, yeah, literally, t it's a tenth of a second, Maroon Poker. We, we have everything all the time on our restream chat. And uh, Simon on YouTube was in just a pip before you. Literally a pip. Well done. Good evening, Dave Nichols back watching Heads Up Battle between these two superstars. The average stack, Dave, Heads Up is 105 bigs. 105 bigs. This could, this could be a monumental battle. This could be the longest Heads Up we have ever had to cover. And this could be great watch. And I'm glad you've tuned in to watch the final of Blackpool because this has been amazing. Uh, well done, Simon. Just need your alias, mate, and then I can get the spreadsheet sent off. All tokens in everyone's account tomorrow. Thank you for participating in the giveaways over the last five days and when we're back in Edinburgh in three weeks' time. There'll be more. No chance, Dave Nichols. The only way this has ended in 30 minutes, if it's something like kings into queens, aces into ace king, it's, it's going to have to be a set up pre flop or some sort of cooler post. It's the only way I can see this one ending within the hour. So 
So heads up poke up for those that don't play much poke up. You're going to be seeing a lot of flops. Button will be continuing almost any hand will have a few folds, although some will opt for the strategy to continue 100%. There will be a lot of limping on the button going on. Yeah. These are definitely a lot of limping going on. Lay the hands, go post. Both, both very competent going post. That is true, Dave Nichols. If Tao can win three trebles, <laughs> anything can happen. God, I, 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 I weren't going to ever mention the Tao's treble today, coming in yesterday, again. I weren't, I weren't going to mention it. <laughs> and AC2 with a Callum. In the big. Yep, seems good, goes for free bet. It's roundy outside. Oh, have you seen the side event? There was about 32 baby Guinnesses heading over <laughs> to one table. <laughs> to one table. <coughs> there were. I saw the order coming. And now Ludo with pocket eights. Very strong hand heads up. Pocket eights. Getting delta pair is huge tower. And just, just from a mathematical standpoint, you're, you're a 17 one shot, 17 to one shot to get mm -hmm. delta pair. So in a heads up situation, We've got a pair at 17 to one. Very difficult in a, from a mathematical standpoint for Callum to have one as well. Obviously it will happen every now and again, but won't see it too often. Heads up pair versus pair. Now Ludo goes for four bets to three, two, five with the pocket eights and Callum with the ace eight suited here. Gonna use a time bank. It's an awkward one here, Ace 8 suited, but at this stack depth, heads up, I'm not sure if we do get to call still tower. We'll see how Callum proceeds. <clears throat> Another bank used. Makes the call. After using a couple of time banks, it makes the call with ESA. And thank you, Simon. Got your alias. You're on the spreadsheet. Everything's set. Well done to everyone that won a token this week. Congratulations. Check. Not really the flop we're looking for is Callum. Not no. even a back door to go with it. King, queen, queen. Just to continue from Ludo. And that'll be end of hand and on to the next. <clears throat> oh, 7.30 as well. The Sunday Rose finished. Yep. Thanks for that, Tower. So, no, cheers, cheers for that, no, thanks. I'll just make any weekend f finish off in great style. Uh, well, that's, that's made me happy, that is, I'll tell you that. I'll tell you what will make me happy, if Scheffler can win the golf, that will make me happy. There you go. Well, well, check, check, I thought Ludell might have stuck in the bet, and now Callum takes the lead. Deuce. Are we checking again? Check. Yeah, we are. I've hit the ace, he says. Ludo finding out. He used a couple of time ranks calling with the eight, uh, with the ace eight. <clears throat> so they're having a great time in the closer. Can I please have 30 baby guineas? <laughs> Just 30, thanks. The poor valet had to go down to the cellar eight times to replace the baileys. <laughs> had to keep coming up and down, up and down.
Still doing the ace dude, 20 to call. The one that could get aggro. Three bet. Makes it 125. Yep, seems good. Yeah, we're not on the baby Guinness. It's the outside tables. You'd know with me and Dad Tower had 30 baby Guinness between the two of us, trust me. Absolutely. I think you'd have some sort of idea. And if you ordered 30 baby Guinness in Dublin, you'd have to win the Irish Open to pay for it. <laughs> Off. Just going to let that one go, raise and take. Heads up in the three roll is Chrissy. Was, was sitting out and I waited for him to come back. Good on you. Oh, bless. Face says that's you playing against. Thank you very much. Bad connection. Oh. And then you raised him. <laughs> we've, got, we've got we've got live stream action on the uh, on the heads up for the <laughs> for the free roll. <laughs> well done you two, and I'm glad you're in the chat watching. When they finished third in the PLO, and she got seven bounties. Russia. And a bit of action here, a bit of trouble for Callum. Top pair for Ludo. <coughs> Callum was second pair, so do expect to see bet from Ludo and call from Callum. Finds the big size in the tower 185 into 250. So three quarter pot. Callum with a king eight, gonna have to strap in. Can't be folding second pair just yet. Should be calling with position here. Whoa, that is some fold. The sensors there with second pair. That is, that is some fold tower. Heads up from Callum. I don't know how we can fold, why we would fold, but he's made the correct decision. And to be fair, like, it was a big size from Ludo, but if Ludo's aware we're folding second pair to one bet, he can just big bet every flop as a continue and gonna fold out a large proportion of what's in our range. I don't know if he picked up on something perhaps, because uh, was there any sort of fill there? Ladies and gentlemen, we have a big round of applause for your PLO party winner, Mohammed Fatih. 
it's too soon. Someone in the chat put, I wonder how Ludo feels when he looks down and he doesn't have an ace. We're not sure yet. <laughs> Making it 45. And Callum Jack five in the big cantangle. That's cool. Uh, Going to be defending probably like 80%, maybe 85 from the big. Let's swap the top pair here. Do Seward. And six on the turn. Just mm. one Callum leads. No. I, I could, could see lead here for Callum for sure, Tower. And, uh, I think we would have been getting a street from Ludo with ace height. Mm. Uh, I think Ludo now just going to be hunting for showdown a lot of the time. But no, he's going to put some chips in. And I'm guessing this is because he genuinely believes he's going to have the best hand enough of the time. Just <coughs> flushing out two live cards is a win in itself. Lots of 45 and Callum with the top pair here. Not going to be going anywhere. And we are heads up, so is there any raising going on here for Callum with this particular Jack 5 combo? I'm blocking hearts and uh, I'm blocking spades and diamonds. So it's just going to take the approach you expect. Plays cool. And do expect all rivers other than an ace to go check check here. Or well, does Ludo think about going for value now with a river deuce? But it doesn't really change much. We only jump in front of better race highs. So I think we're going to be checking. Does go for what I'm assuming he thinks is value. 75k. The, the only thing with this tower, we, we only really like Callum's probably going to free about ace 10, ace queen, ace king. Well, he is. So it's only ace 8, ace 7, ace 4, ace 5, that ace 3 that we now jump in front of as Ludo with this deuce on the river. So I'm actually not too sure about this one. I, I think check would have been the way to go. Callum's never folding a jack here might be thinking about raising potentially but mm. never ever folding jack five just thinking about whether he can go for some fin value raises here as callum gordon oh, what a guy plays well tower yeah. plays very <clears throat> very well and now ludo's wishing he did check back callum makes it three seven five very nice indeed just reading into Luzo sizing and never a jack or better and also flop going check check Ludo can still definitely have some 9x that would play in this manner. That's what I'd probably be thinking he has a lot of the time here as Callum, a 9. And goes for 375. Yeah, it doesn't get paid from the deuce. Ludo wishing he checked that one back. Yeah, it flicks them in the bin. Hey Rachel, watching on YouTube because you can't see Callum's cards on, on the, with the live icon on Facebook. Yeah, that's not nothing to do with us. We can't change. Speak to Mark. Where the live. Mark Zuckerberg, he'll, he'll fix it for you. <laughs> it will. We we can't do anything about that. The only thing we can do is turn it landscape and then it goes. That's what we've been told. Uh, so I'm glad you're on YouTube. And in through the window, in case we get a sudden ending. Or I have to leave. Just want to say thanks for a great stream over the past few days. Nice mixture of poker analysis, banter, giveaways, coffee and food deliveries and bad beat stories. <laughs> um, what about the Cockney rhyming slang? You can't leave that out. <laughs> that was a fixture of one day. That was quality. Quality gold. That was comedy gold, was that? <laughs> Coffee, 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 bad beat stories. <laughs> That's going to be up there as well. <laughs> oh, come drink, you've got a delivery. Why? I couldn't believe that when I left. <laughs> it was on its way to Coventry. God. And above average flop for Ludo. Trip 10's heads up. <clears throat> and Callum. 
Going to check back with the ace height. Intention of calling some turn leads. Eight of diamonds turn. from Ludo with his trips. Goes <laughs> for 85k. And I think we have to call once here as Callum with ace dues, but sorry make a tidy lay down earlier on. And this is heads up poker against a very aggressive opponent and like Ludo might just start stabbing his stuff like 6-7, 7-9, 9-6, Jack-9, diamond draws. A lot out there, so I agree with Callum that we need to call once here. <clears throat> Which he does. Uh, 60 diamonds. <clears throat> Completes the back door. Aaron can know the damage with that. Going to be one of these rivers we fold as well as Callum. Uh, very wet. One of the bluffs completing in terms of diamonds, hands like 9-7 getting there, or even uh, the 6-7 bluff and the 9-6 bluff jumping in front of us. So not one of these rivers that we're ever going to call on as Callum. this river way too low down gonna have better catchers there's the fold oh. <coughs> and thank you Ian Needleman says I gotta be honest with you two guys you're a great team together and for the people watching the stream at home you provide good entertainment and fill in the sometimes empty evenings for us at home cheers Thanks, Ian. Ian thank you very much indeed and Vanessa pipes up and towers singing <laughs> Thanks, Vanessa. <coughs> Gregory S. Kingsman watching on YouTube. Thanks, Tony and Jay. Definitely Charlie Lee. <laughs> better than the... De definitely Charlie Lee. <laughs> Someone in the chat put... Better than the Trying Series commentary. Well, thanks very much for saying. <laughs> thanks, Greg. Cheers, Greg. Means a lot. I bet there's no Cockney rhyming slang on the old Triton. Absolutely not. But go, and get, go and get the Charlies in. <laughs> Are you sure? Ludo? <coughs> Never leaves on without one. Is this allowed? Are you allowed to get that way? Is his heads up? Is it a thing? Expert wafflers. I agree, Jack. That's what we are. We think we know what we're talking about, but we don't. Jack 10 for Callum just seems like one that's going to call. <clears throat> Evening, Rachel. John Esp's daughter watching. Glad you're watching, Rach. No deal. There has not been a no. deal. check over to Ludo who just going to be wanting to go bet 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 pretty much here with aces I'm on with this deep as well maybe we can play some bigger bets on the flop tower like usually king six seven rainbow one we go around third but when we're working with this SPR maybe we might start going for some bigger bets just to get more chips in the middle yeah, and does exactly that not just bigger bet. How about over bet? One, two, five from Ludo. And Callum straight out of there with Jack 10. This is a heads up battle that will go down. We think if he carries on, he's one of the best in history. These two are superb. Playing so well, we know it's deep and it allows you to play, but.
cracking, cracking game. Yeah, and to be fair, Tal, we all know Ludo. We all know what Ludo's <coughs> done and what he's won across the world over his career. But Callum, very, very impressive whenever he's on the feature table. I can even just adjust in his game. I think sometimes I think he's a bit more on the solid side, the tighter side. But when we got short-handed, knows how to go through the gears, and now heads up seems like pretty clued up on ranges and how we should be playing heads up. So impressed with this lad for sure. And if he could turn this around as well, Tower. Imagine that that story going into this heads up battle with a two-to-one deficit against Ludo. Mm -hmm. No one's going to want to battle and turn it around. <laughs> 32. Honestly, somebody's just ordered 30 beer beginnings. This closer is being played like a £10 rebuy in the Fox and Duck. It's Queen for Ludo now. Has he just racked up these hands, saved them for heads up? I don't know. You can just write the. You just. You just. You can write any two cards down for Ludo, but make sure the first one's an ace. Okay. And that's it. in hand and Queen of Clubs seems like a nice combo to bet and good to see that also betting with a non-paired hand with the overbet size not just doing it with his value and it's going to be a call here from Callum <clears throat> eight of clubs turn and one that has a lot of interaction with calling Ranger Callum so do expect a check back from Ludo a lot of the time. However, we do have Ace of Hearts, Queen of Clubs, so could be some ideas of a double barrel here, Tower. And lining up the third on some club or heart rivers, but does go for the approach you expect, just checks it behind. Three pairing on the river. Seems like a nice clean one for Callum. Can we go for some value now? Perhaps for a small size, target some ace highs. Goes for the bigger size, two thirds pot here from Callum. The six seven just making an assumption that Ludo continues firing a ten, and I guess he can have some eight X in there, Ludo, that would call us off. But tidy little value bet once again from Callum. Seems to know exactly where he's at with Ludo in every single hand so far, Tower. Mm. Yep. <coughs> Scheffler's leading. Whoa, what? Let's go, Gary Thompson. No, Scheffler. Let's go, Gary Thompson. <laughs> nice one, Scheffler's leading. Doesn't seem like the best catchers, Ludo. Ace of hearts, queen of clubs. Blocking club draws, blocking heart draws. And the eight having a fair amount of interaction with calling range on flop. I guess stuff like four or five in there, four dues, five dues. But it looks like Ludo is going to call a lovely little bit of value from Callum on the end there. Terrific size to get the most from just a six. Well played, Callum Gordon, yet again. I told you. What, sir? I told you. I told you Charlie Lee was an ex Spurs player. That's where I got it from. Eh? Now Leighton Orient. FC Academy coach says Ian. What's that got to do with? Because that's why obviously it was in my head as Charlie Lee, not Rosie Lee. Because obviously when I was when I was like 14, 13, I used to know all the Spurs players, the Academy, the lot, and Charlie Lee 
He was at Spurs Academy, and then I remember he went to a League Two side or something like that. And that's obviously a crossover in the mind, and that's why I thought Charlie Lee was T and not Rosie Lee. But thank you, Ian Needleman. We've delved into some Wikipedia there just to get him out of it, let me tell you. Not having that. <coughs> Charlie Lee. He obviously never played it first team. Uh, he didn't, know. And, I, and I, it's all coming back to me now. It's actually all coming back to me. Oh, here we go. Go on. I actually went to school with him. What? I went to school with him. Did he ever make you a cup of tea? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He was a few years above me, but I actually went to school with him. He went, he went Sheridan's with me. Sheridan's in Odiston with me. Callum, just see bets for the A6, gets it done. Look at these blinds. 77 and 84 big blinds. Oh, thanks, Ian. It makes me feel a lot better that. I knew I weren't going mad. I knew it come from my head somewhere, even if it come out wrong. Fancy forgetting somebody you went to school with. What what's happening? Can we can we like how <laughs> how is Ludo getting this distribution heads up? It's not an ace. I, I guess it's not an ace. Uh, to be fair, he doesn't get any action. But <clears throat> now, this is going to be a good one, guys. Callum with a 9 6. Chop it up, give £20 to the waitresses, says Golazo. I'd actually prefer to sit here for a few hours and watch these two battle. It's not often we actually get a heads up this deep, and usually when we're heads up, usually like 60 to 80 bigs in play. This one, 200 bigs in play when started. The short stack 77 bigs. I know. <laughs> it's good to watch the battle as well. Evening, make the mod. No deals. No deals. Callum chopped it up in November. Ludo was fourth in November. And these two are battling heads up. I'm going. In March. I'm going. I'm not having it. Whoa, what is happening here? I'm not being funny, but this is just pick your own deck. Team Pro run good. Activated. <laughs> Team Pro wow. run good. Activated. You know when you can play good, and when you are good, and you can work out so much in your head to play, and then you get the cards as well. Just unstoppable force. Wow. Callum knows he's been in some battle when he watches this back. Callum is going to think, thinking, where are my hands? <laughs> this is twice aces. Feeling for you, Callum, when you watch it back. Queens once, ace queen twice. He's had some ace a few times. <coughs> Unbelievable. The boots this time. Ten seconds. That's 45k. Just a C bet from Ludo. 
with the aces. Size is down this time on this board. Dummy and gut shot from Callum. Doesn't even continue the dummy and gut are an overcard versus this size. Credit to Callum though, still getting away in spots where people would take one off. His cards are a joke. I get it, he's brilliant, but to run like him is ridiculous. Ludo has had aces more times in the last five minutes than I've had in five months, says Gov. <laughs> oh, how does he do it? King four for Callum. Raises on the button. Paul Fletcher in the chat says, another excellent couple of days in the booth, gents. Mrs. Fletcher's birthday today. Took priority today, but here for the Ludo, God run. Maguire still banging on about his aces. He can have a chat with him about Ludo's aces. Because he can't stop getting dealt them. There's Jack, eight, four. Two clubs. Callum flopping the best of it. And does have a stab. Ludo out of the way with a six height. It is rowdy in that card room. It is rowdy in that closer comp. the six deuce to 60. Callum with the three deuce suited. Should defend. Jack six five. Check. Two clubs. Interesting one because Ludo with middle pair. And Callum with dummy and gutter and backdoor diamonds. One that Callum could go for check raise with, I think, as well here. A three deuce of diamonds seems like a tidy little candidate to use. We're always folding out better hands. And equity to a gut shot and backdoor diamonds seems nice. Had good cash games in Coventry. Interesting. Always good whenever we go to Cov. And does find the check raise tower as predicted. A nice one to use. Ace of hearts on the turn. Well, this is where it gets tricky yep. as Callum, whether to shut down here or whether to continue with the bluff. Obviously, the diamonds are the cards that we're going to continue the barrel on, the four. Uh, but Ace of Hearts does elect to shut down here. And we'll see what Ludo does. Hitting the six on the flop with the old six deuce. <clears throat> Just starting to apply a little bit of pressure as well. Looks down at his stack, picks up the chips. And this should be end of hand. That's 345k. Yeah, now yeah. coming out of the way. Yep, end of hand, 2.4, 1.6. Don't forget, guys, we're finishing here, but still a few more bits coming up in March. 25.50 next week. Do we hit the thousand runners? We got 937 last time. It's a big ask. It is a big ask. A thousand, a thousand runners is a big ask, but we will see. And then uh, Easter Beast, that's going to be massive. Uh, whatever region you would like to play, we got the North 
East and Scottish series. We've got the Northern series. The Midlands. And the Southern. And all details online. <coughs> Callum opens the 50. Yeah, first place will be a lot of points. Relatively normal. Yes. Yeah, might close the gap on Cal. Yeah, and Ludo, 6-5 off here. Going to roll this one in, makes it 1-6-5. Callum shouldn't be going anywhere with King-10 heads up. Want to be calling this one and heading to the streets as he does. Yes, queen four flop, two downs. Yeah, and clear continue for Ludo. Once we free bet this hand, six high, can fold out a lot of better holdings. Also with diamond in hand, back door straight draw in there as well, but not going to be working for one bet. Callum with clear call with gut shot and king ten high still can be the best hand. Heads up as well, and we have position. Snags the best of it on the turn. Might do some checking now. Check. Check. Okay, I'm going to check back here. As I said, King-10 high heads up, still good enough to get to showdown with. Potentially still be the best of it. Eight on the river. And probably going to be going check, check here. Slightly too thin. Once again, I think if Ludo goes for value with a five, and Callum can take showdown with a second nut high hand after Ludo checks. So Callum does check. Another take for Ludo, up to 2.7, 1.4, that's where he started. <laughs> Two left, fantastic battle. What a fantastic battle. The blind's going to be going up in less than two minutes' time. Takes into the 30k level. Callum defends here with deuces from the big. Not the flop we're looking for. I, I, it did cross my mind, Ben. Oh, he says all in with the deuce, deuce. But it's a lot, isn't it? It's a lot. 55. It's a lot. 55 BBs, but as I say and spoke, pointed out earlier, 1 to 17 to get dealt a pair, uh, or 17 to 1 to get dealt a pair, it's it's hard to do, so very unlikely that two people are going to have a pair, so can can see the idea, but surely 55 is way too much. Yeah, 
just has to fall to the sea back there. Callum can't fault him. And Callum Ace Deuce off could have potentially taken this one. Got aggressive with it, but just going to play cool and see the flop. How much for the winner? 56k and change, Gary. 56k up top. 56, 150. the well dressed up gentleman who observes the table sometimes that would be Frankie that's Frankie one of the floor staff senior floor is that what he calls himself these days he's got all kinds of titles <laughs> I want to use senior floor but he likes to say you know what it's like old Frankie Ace on the river so gonna be chopping this up Uh, it's up to the players if they want to tip the dealers, Chris. Bet 65,000. Absolutely. Every tournament is exactly the same. Cannot be forced upon. At all. So still 40 bigs for Callum at 1.2 million. Lions racing up though, 30k BB now. <coughs> Cheltenham numbers were down by 10,000. What, per day or in total? What's the 
first time in Blackpool in March. We were here last year. Uh, just short of the guarantee, Chris. About 20 players short. So Callum chopped it in November, Ludo fourth in November. And Ludo's got a flop, six, seven, eight flop. Bottom end for Callum, top end for Ludo. I've never been to Cheltenham, I must admit. Never ever been to Cheltenham, so I don't know what the pricing's like. I can guess it's expensive because it's their their week to shine, isn't it? Their week to put on a show. Yeah, so Callum starts a check call. Three of spades on the turn. King nine. Ten seconds. Goes for another street. Callum can't go anywhere with a pair and an up and down here tower. Mm. Blocking the four five and the nine five as well. Hard for Ludo to have flopped the straight. So it should just be continuing. Way too tight to fold here. Wow, forget continue. I thought that was raised. I thought he was reaching deep into their tower. Oh, he's going deep into the hundreds, but just with the call as expected. Does have the best hand. Just got a fade, a five, nine, king or ten. A ten on the river. that probably want to be folding as Callum Tower. As I mentioned earlier in the heads up battle in our heads we should have river cards like we need some folds like rivers that in our head we're going to be folding, ones that connect a lot with Ludo's potential bluffs. We're never ahead of Ludo, any of Ludo's value with fives and now almost all of his bluffs get in there on the river in either the form of a flush or in the form of a 9x. Did Callum just jam? Whoa! Oh my word, <coughs> just taking the fibre hearts and using it, and Ludo going to be in a ridiculous spot here, Jack Nine in front of us, Flushes in front of us, Callum getting after it with the fives, Ten seconds. and this fibre hearts in here, one of the cards that Ludo would use to potentially bluff some of the combo draws, 5x of hearts up and down and flush draw, so... Blocking some of them. Can he make this river call to win the title? It's a sick spot because <clears throat> we don't beat anything that Callum jams for value. I think once Ludo chooses that size of nine, just calls for Callum. So he's repping Jack Nine, he's repping Flushes, and Ludo. Would he think that Callum is capable of making a move like this here, Tao? That is the question, because if Ludo comes to the conclusion that he doesn't think Callum would have a move like this in the locker, to call twice in position and then raise as a bluff on the river, and Ludo has called it off! Oh, champion! We have got a champion credit oh, oh. to Callum. Love the heart with the pocket fives, but it's second again for Callum Gordon. Wow. Ludo is our champion. Amazing. And we what are, are going to be going over Better to the off. floor. See we'll let minute. Tower get See out. Minute. See you in a minute. <coughs> but big thank you to everyone that's tuned in today. Great effort from everyone all week long. The floor staff, the dealers, the valets, 
everyone put in a shift. Uh, big thank you as well to the guys. You won't see PK day behind the scenes action tracking. PK doing all the all the checks to make sure the stream's working correctly. Thanks to those guys and a huge thank you to you guys in the chat box. Tao is just heading down to the field now and when he is there, we will be heading over for the trophy presentation and the interviews. But big thanks to all. Next stop, we are off to Edinburgh. As you can see there, Edinburgh, 4th to the 14th of April. Tower and I will be back for another five days of coverage. £1,000 buy in total for that one, so slightly smaller than the leg we just had, but hopefully plenty of you will be tuned in from that stop. If you are watching on YouTube or Twitch, please make sure, guys, you hit the follow, you hit the subscribe button, and you will get notified every time Tower and I go live and don't forget as well also give andy underscore card room a follow on twitter the man that makes all the tables all his software for the feature table all the set give him a follow on twitter there's the main man he's out on the floor just gotta wait for callum and we will be heading down for the interviews and trophy presentation Many, many, many congratulations. I know it's. Uh, uh, this is the first time you've lost in Blackpool in I two know, events. I was, I was saying that. It's amazing. <laughs> I would have loved to stay undefeated, but um, to get to heads up, can't complain. So, Absolutely not. still uh, happy. Last November, we chopped it. We took the biggest slice. Yeah. Uh, and second this time. At, yeah. uh, what a battle. That could have done. Honestly, that, watching that was just fantastic poker. What's it like playing? Uh, it was good fun. Like you said, it was uh, it was a battle. Like Ludo's like playing heads up against Ludo. I mean, can't have much much more of a challenge than that. Um, and obviously, history repeating itself because Ludo was there in November as well. So um, yeah, it was a good fun. And uh, yeah, the whole day was tough. Uh, it was a tough field. Uh, like obviously with uh, Andy and uh, Keith and everyone else as well. Um, yeah, so just really happy with how it went. Absolutely, and and obviously five to four to three to two, we weren't expecting that, but that's just the way it happens. And like you say, tough, tough, tough 16 to come back for day three. I, but in the end, how are you feeling? Yeah, delighted. Um, still waiting for a trophy, yeah. but um, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it'll come at some point. Um, but yeah, I can't complain. Second place is really good, so it very happy. Is. It certainly yeah. is, and the first time you've been defeated in Blackpool, but... Uh, <laughs> Fantastic effort, Callum Gordon, second yeah. place, fantastic, Thank fantastic you, effort. But the winner, <laughs> two in one year, Edinburgh and now Blackpool. Fourth last year when yeah. Callum chopped it, yeah. now you've got the trophy, how are you feeling son? Honestly, like it was amazing that Callum's done it again, I'm saying like, and he got to a stage where the both of us had the same stack. Yeah. So I went and said to myself, well played to him, if he, if he beats me heads up here, yeah. I'm saying it's very hard to defend it. I'm saying like, and he's never been knocked out in Blackpool. No. He's actually never been knocked no. out in the main event. <laughs> so like, I'm the first guy to knock him out and he's only ever done it in two bullets as well, one single bullet twice. So yeah. what a game he played again. Yeah. Callum, very tough opponent, so over the moon to win. Looking at the final 16 today, it, we knew it was going to be tough and, and it yeah. was, that's the way the final ran. Yeah. What was it like just sat there? Well. The first thing I done was look at the pricing and I went and said to myself before the pricing was out mm. I said I would probably be 3-1 to where I should probably be 5-1 to one, but yeah. I have got a lot of the chips in play but the, I thought the standout value was Keith Johnson yeah. he was 50-1 uh -huh. <laughs> I'm saying like see if you could get a good bet down on that I would have a grand on that or something I mean I'm saying that's a very good yeah. bet I'm saying like 50-1 to one. and Keith I'm saying like if he wins oh well he had ace queen against queens if he, if he strikes yeah. the ace mm. I'm saying like 
all of a sudden, all of a sudden yeah. I'm saying like anything can happen. Yeah, we get heads up. We're like 80 big shorts, like 100 bigs as you. That could mm -hmm. have been a monumental battle. It was a fantastic watch. -up. It was, but the main thing was, I think, the both of us played the heads up correctly. There was no yeah. limping or anything. So if you're going to enter a pot, you're in position. You want to open the pot. You want to build the pot when you're in position, regardless what your two cards are. That's what heads up plays all all about. Yeah. I'm saying so. Like Callum played a great strategy, heads up, and I played the exact same strategy. It was a with, a, with obviously building the pot a wee bit more because I'm in position yeah, yeah. so I want to inflate the pot a tiny bit more I'm surprised Callum didn't decide to change his yeah. like sizing because mm -hmm. you really want to inflate it a tiny bit at least yeah you know I mean well, it's a fantastic watch and the second trophy so many 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 congratulations where's Frankie here he is we're going to hand over the trophy for the second time ladies and gentlemen a big round of applause please for the winner of the GKPT Blackpool Mr Ludo Gailey <laughs> Absolutely outstanding. The Grosvenor Pro has got himself a second, second mm -hmm. title. We will see you again for sure, that is. But uh, that trophy is for you. And Jay, please, finish us off. Oh, great interviews there from both the guys. Uh, we'll just wait for Tower to get back with me to close up shop for the festival, guys. Here he is. What are we going to do? Oh. Do. Well, we've got uh, we've got we've got to take it all down. We've got to get it up to uh, to Edinburgh in three weeks' time, so we might as well do it now. So we'll be done for around about twelve-ish, and then we'll have to have a two or three. Yeah, we, we, I don't know. What shall we do? I don't know. Three weeks off. You weren't expecting that, kid. Uh, I weren't. I weren't. Uh, it's the first time I think ever I've been more than two hours out of a finish time and uh, I think it just come down to Ludo yeah. just having all well, the Well, the five to four to three to yeah. two was mad, wasn't it? Yeah, so uh, well off with the prediction, but I think uh, with what the chips in play when we were five-handed, that yeah. could have gone on. If if the flip between Kev and Ludo goes the other way, we could still be five-handed now. That That's the thing, how it can change just in an all-in, but done for the festival and been a great festival, great performance by Ludo, second GUKPT title for him now. And uh, should we do it all again in three weeks, I guess? We have got, believe it, what, whoa, what, whoa, whoa, we're forgetting the main thing. Thomas Treble came in! You was on it as well, weren't you, pal? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, cheers. We'll forget that. I, I, don't, I don't mind if the, if, if Scheffler wins the golf, then I'm all good. But. Thanks to everybody out there. You guys have been amazing, and thanks for the great comments in the chat honestly it means so much to the team that you guys really really enjoy tuning in every week for uh, for the for the cockney rhyming slang the face off that we had and we uh, found was, out was that fun. charlie was was the main man in the cups of tea but he wasn't and <laughs> it was so much fun over the weekend thanks ever so much to you guys for watching and as jay said it's a three and a half week break uh, until we go up to edinburgh Make sure you tune in because uh, the streaming goes to Edinburgh. There it is, 4th till the 14th, but we're on live for the next leg of the GUKPT on the 10th, which is the Wednesday. Come and join us. Thanks to everybody for watching. Thanks to all the team in the background for all the hard work. It's been a great watch. And uh, well done to Ludo Gaelic for his second title of the GUKPT. Well done, Ludo. Uh, from the tower and all the team on a fantastic event here in Blackpool. See ya. Three and a half weeks, Edinburgh. Ta-ta. Good night.